she had i think it was the uh, king's queens or something so. okay so ace high ace high all that yes and you're our queen oh my god my ladies my queens i love this event i love my women coming playing poker because at the moment it's like small community women but it's growing 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 i love seeing women playing i love being see, uh, seeing women hitting the final tables you know and uh, it's probably is that your first big win or you were pretty good winning before tournaments well actually i had a third place in the norwegian championship in 2019 in dublin dublin yes yes <laughs> So it was good to finally take the first place. Yes, yeah. absolutely. And you deserve it. You're an amazing woman. You're an amazing player. Yes. Oh, we just had so many time together, you know, with all the ladies. And because we're such a small community here, we just know each other and we just love, we respect each other. And especially when we yesterday all met at the poker tables, only ladies, that was the yeah. best event, yeah. I think. Absolutely. So much fun. I'm definitely coming back. Yes. And see you in Bratislava in November. Hopefully, yes. <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much. And once again, congratulations, our queen. <laughs>
We are live here at the Pertamaso Casino Malta 2023. My name is Anastasia and I'm joined by Beate from Norway, the winner of the ladies' event. You just were crowned. You're a queen of all ladies in this room. Congratulations. Thank you so much. We're so happy you, you are the winner, really, because remember yesterday I was talking to you and I said, come on, let's do it. Hit the final table, smash it. And you're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it was, it was a lot of fun. It was so much fun. Oh, yeah, ladies, I, I was playing as well to support my ladies. We had so many giggles, so many, like, remember, if the man coming around just joining the poker area, hey, get out, yeah. it's women only. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it was a lot of fun, but it's not only that, it's poker. You need to be concentrated, you need to think a lot and be a little bit serious, I guess. Yeah, uh, absolutely. And uh, like thinking about the strategy and what to do now. And I was really short for a long time and I was just struggling to hang in there. I, I remember that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it was just like, so what do I do now to try to build up the stack again? Yeah. yeah, but I did it. But you know, I was also playing, as I said, and at some point when I got busted from the tournament, I just said, I give up. I will never understand women's logics. I just can't do this, really. Mm. It's so hard to play against women. You don't know what like what's going on in their heads. Yeah, I don't, th I don't think about it like that. I think no. it's the same. You have to play the person, not the gender. Yeah, true, but <laughs> sometimes they're calling you with such a crazy hands, which you think like a normal world, they would fall. But that's the latest event. <laughs> Yeah, well, everybody has to play their own game, I'm thinking. Absolutely, yes. And do you remember your last hand? Uh, I think uh, I had um, ace two, um, uh, suited, clubs. and uh, Very pretty hand. Yeah, it was a good yeah. hand. Especially when it's heads up, it's, it's mm -hmm. like nuts. And uh, she didn't have much left, so um, I raised pre-flop and she called. And um, after the flop, I raced again and she went all in and uh, I called. And nobody, you done the right nobody, thing? Yeah, nobody hit anything on the table okay. and she had, I think it was the uh, king's queen or so something. So. Okay, so ace high. Ace high. Hold it. Yes. And you're our queen. Oh my God. My ladies, my queens. I love this event. I love my women coming playing poker because at the moment it's like small community women, but it's growing, growing, growing. I love seeing women playing. I love seeing, uh, seeing women hitting the final tables, you know, and uh, it's probably, is that your first big win or you were pretty good winning before tournaments? Well, actually, I had a third place in the Norwegian championship in 2019. In Dublin. Dublin. Yes. Yes. <laughs> So it was good to finally take the first place. Yes, yeah. absolutely. And you deserve it. You're an amazing woman. You're an amazing player. Yes. Oh, we just had so many time together, you know, with all the ladies. And because we're such a small community here, we just know each other and we just love, we respect each other. And especially when we yesterday all met at the poker tables, on the ladies, that was the yeah. best event, yeah. I think. Absolutely. So much fun. I'm definitely coming back. Yes. And see you in Bratislava in November. Hopefully, yes. Yeah. Thank you so much. And once again, congratulations, Thank our you. queen. Thank you. <laughs>Hi everyone, Anastasia here from the Festival Series in Malta. Today we have a final day of the main event. The field was 617 players, only 16 left. And we have the cheap leader, Brandon. Hi, tell me, how was it for you? What is the feeling to be a cheap leader so far? It's always nice to be a cheap leader. Yeah. And uh, I started day two with the second cheap leader. Okay. So I improved my stack all the way. And I think I was ship leader most of the day too. So I'm glad to keep that to the day three. Yes. And tell me, um, like it's, it's really long hours to play poker. It's really hard, like you're, you need a lot of patience. Tell me your secret. No, I can't tell you my secrets, <laughs> but I'm patient. I'm you are, patient. You, you're very patient. Yes, uh, and I don't uh, play, don't set all my ships all in. Usually I don't. That's your do that. strategy. Yeah, if of course I have the nuts, then I do it. But I don't okay. do it a lot of times. So. Very good. 
Yeah. We're starting just now with the dealers are settling in, players are here. Yeah. 16 players left, final table today, and I hope and I wish you all the best. Maybe, maybe you will stay the cheap lead all the time and be a champion, who knows? Yeah, I hope so. That will be very good. I wish you all the best. Thank you. This is Andreas with you, the last day of the festival. Today is Sunday, we have a lot of live action coming up, but we're leaving Malta soon. We're gonna tear this wall down, we're gonna replace it with Bratislava Stop, build everything up there in November. But first, we're recapping another day of the festival series. Yesterday, Saturday, we had the main event, play down to 16 final players that will now today battle it out for the crown. And we had the winner of the Hand on Mob Championship receiving his huge trophy from the Hand on Mob guys. And of course, also from the festival, we have his portrait drawn. And not only poker though, as you know with the festival series, it's a lot about everything else. The Sportsbook Tournament, where players predicted seven games from Premier League and the Italian leagues. And we crowned the winner of that one as well, predicting five correct scores out of the seven ones. So congratulations to Sami for picking down that one. So just don't miss to follow all the live action today in our socials, in our blog, in our webpage, and on our Twitch channel, The Festival OG. Everything will be live and streamed down to the final table winner and the main event. So thank you for being with us here in Malta all week and looking forward to see you all in Bratislava in November. Cheers. We are live here at the Partamaso Casino Malta 2023. My name is Anastasia and I'm joined by Beate from Norway, the winner of the ladies event. You just were crowned, you're a queen of all ladies in this room. Congratulations. Thank you so much. We're so happy you, you are the winner really because remember yesterday I was talking to you and I said, come on, let's do it. Hit the final table, smash it. And you're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it was, it was a lot of fun. It was so much fun. Oh, yeah, ladies, I, I was playing as well to support my ladies. We had so many giggles, so many, like, remember, if the man coming around just joining the poker area, hey, get out, yeah. it's women only. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it was a lot of fun, but it's not only that, it's poker. You need to be concentrated. You need to think a lot and be a little bit serious, I guess. Yeah, 
uh, absolutely. And uh, like thinking about the strategy and what to do now. And I was really short for a long time and I was just struggling to hang in there. I, I remember that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it was just like, so what do I do now to try to build up the stack again? Yeah. yeah, but I did it. But you know, I was also playing, as I said, and at some point when I got busted from the tournament, I just said, I give up. I will never understand women logics. I just can't do this, really. Mm. It's so hard to play against women. You don't know what like what's going on in their heads. Yeah, I don't, I don't think about it like that. I think no. it's the same. You have to play the person, not the gender. True, but <laughs> sometimes they're calling you with such a crazy hands, which you think like a normal world, they would fall. But that's the latest event. <laughs> Yeah, well, everybody has to play their own game, I'm thinking. Absolutely, yes. And do you remember your last hand? <sighs> I think uh, I had um, ace two, um, uh, suited, clubs, and... Uh, Very pretty hand. Yeah, it was a good hand. Especially when it's heads up, it's, it's like nuts. And uh, she didn't have much left, so um, I raised pre-flop and she called, and um, after the flop, I raced again and she went all in and uh, I called. And you done the right nobody, thing? Yeah, nobody hit anything on the table okay. and she had, I think it was the uh, king's queen or something. So. Okay, so ace high. Ace high. Hold it. Yes. And you're our queen. Oh my god. My ladies, my queens. I love this event. I love my women coming playing poker because at the moment it's like small community women, but it's growing, growing, growing. I love seeing women playing. I love being see, uh, seeing women hitting the final tables, you know, and uh, it's probably, is that your first big win or you were pretty good winning before tournaments? Well, actually, I had a third place in the Norwegian championship in 2019. In Dublin. Dublin. Yes. yes. <laughs> So it was good to finally take the first place. Yes, yeah. absolutely. And you deserve it. You're an amazing woman. You're an amazing player. Yes. Oh, we just had so many time together, you know, with all the ladies. And because we're such a small community here, we just know each other and we just love, we respect each other. And especially when we yesterday all met at the poker tables, only ladies, that was the yeah. best event, yeah. I think. Absolutely. So much fun. I'm definitely coming back. Yes. And see you in Bratislava in November. Hopefully, yes. <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much. And once again, congratulations, Thank our you. queen. Thank you. <laughs>Hi everyone, Anastasia here from the Festival Series in Malta. Today we have a final day of the main event. The field was 617 players, only 16 left. And we have the cheap leader, Brandon. Hi, tell me, how was it for you? What is the feeling to be a cheap leader so far? It's really always nice to be a cheap leader. Yeah. And uh, I started day two with the second cheap leader. Okay. So I improved my stack all the way. And I think I was ship leader most of the day too. So I'm glad to keep that to the day three. Yes. And tell me, um, like it's, it's really long hours to play poker. It's really hard, like you're, you need a lot of patience. Tell me your secret. No, I can't tell you my secrets, <laughs> but I'm patient. I'm you patient. Are, you, you're very patient. Yes, uh, and I don't uh, play, don't set all my ships all in. Usually I don't. That's your do strategy. That. Yeah. If of course I have the nuts, then I do it. But I don't okay. do it a lot of times. So. Very good. Yeah. We're starting just now. We see dealers are settling in. Players all here. Yeah. 16 players left. Final table today. And I hope and I wish you all the best. Maybe maybe you will stay the cheap lead all the time and be a champion. Who knows? Yeah, I hope so. That will be very good. I wish you all the best. Thank you.
This is Andreas with you. The last day of the festival. Today is Sunday. We have a lot of live action coming up, but we're leaving Malta soon. We're going to tear this wall down. We're going to replace it with Bratislava Stop, build everything up there in November. But first, we're recapping another day of the festival series. Yesterday, Saturday, we had the main event play down to 16 final players that will now today battle it out for the crown. And we had the winner of the Hendon Mob Championship receiving his huge trophy from the Hendon Mob guys. And of course, also from the festival, we have his portrait drawn. And not only poker though, as you know with the festival series, it's a lot about everything else. The sportsbook tournament where players predicted seven games from Premier League and Italian leagues and we crowned the winner of that one as well, predicting five correct scores out of the seven ones. So congratulations to Sami for picking down that one. So just don't miss to follow all the live action today in our socials, in our blog, in our webpage and on our Twitch channel, The Festival OG. Everything will be live and streamed down to the final table winner and the main event. So thank you for being with us here in Malta all week and looking forward to see you all in Bratislava in November. Cheers. Hello, 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 and welcome back to the final table of the festival series in Malta. Nine players remaining, 5k locked up, but they are all lying at 60k up top. We have uh, Andreas here, very, very short after losing a big flip earlier. Let's see if he chooses to flick it in with the key jack off here. A little think. Let's choose to fold. This is the FT indeed lowest here. Nine players remaining out of 617 starters. And one of them is going to turn 550 into 60k. Quite the payday. Ian, who we haven't uh, seen much of, is going to open it up here. Balash on the button. He's going to come in with the 3 bet here. Just the 350, and Luigi, in the big blind, waking up with the 8 king off. What a beautiful spot for him. Quite like the hand selection for Ballas uh, with the 3-bit here from the button, but uh, 
It's not gonna work out this time with uh, Luigi picking up an absolute monster. I think with 40 big plants out of position, can definitely see some jams here. He is going to go all in. I think that's very well played by him. And gonna win 500k uncontested here. Not a not a bad scenario for Luigi. But well, that's just having a smile, looking at the stack, but. Uh, I think he's just going through the motions. I'll lay it down. Very nice part for Luigi. Quite a fast play down uh, today. Only took us a bit over two hours to get from 16 to 9. Which also does mean that we have over 30 big plans as the average stack, so plenty of play left for these guys. It'll be super interesting to see how they navigate these uh, ICM spots. More important now than in all of the tournament, of course, to make the right decisions. <laughs> well, gonna reach it up here, of course, with Dave Spino. Seems like he will be taking it down pre-flop. So much for the follow, Pierre Diff. Appreciate it. Christine just getting some water. A Norwegian player here at the table. Wrapping cool bat. And getting the pocket tent here. Choosing to jam it in for slightly less than 20 big plants under the gun. Well, let's just ask him for a count. I think when he is getting told the amount of 1.1 million, he's gonna find the muck with his ace enough. Just not quite strong enough to get in there. Unfold and the uh, is gonna, gonna take this one down. Dress does have, of course, very short stack, but I think he will be finding the fold with the Jack 4, of course. And the Norwegian rail clapping for Oestine. <laughs> Another Norwegian player next to him, actually. Yeah, I think Stian is uh, out of Norway too, so uh, two of the Norwegian Mafia crew. Very, very friendly people that's always attending the festival no matter where it is. Happy to see them having some success here.
It's awesome. Really, really awesome. George will be back joining us shortly. We're just doing a little food break. So he'll uh, take over for me now, and then uh, I'll just go have a have a lunch, and I'll be back. Here you go. guys welcome back for the final table here at the festival 5,150 euros locked up for ninth place playing up to a grand total of uh, 60,700 euros and the pay jump starting to get pretty serious two buy-ins between eighth and ninth and four buy-ins and going on and on up to uh, difference between the heads up of over 20,000 euros so significant jumps ahead and uh, definitely an importance for the players to maneuver their way best around this uh, final table cluster of players looking to make the jumps. Dario, who took a little bit of a hit before uh, we saw the, the final table with uh, 10 left, making a three bet and unfortunately having to double up one of the players behind, having committed too much of a stack to, to fold. And Andreas now is in a rough one here with the ace nine versus ace jack, getting it in behind. Dario certainly don't think he's going to be doing any folding here. Andreas having about 5.5 .5 big blinds. Deeming his ace nine to be ahead of Dario's range enough of the time. Um, with the blind and antis in there as well. Unlikely to be seeing either of those guys coming in cold. So gaining himself a, a decent price on, uh, on a potential spin up. Uh, what's the big blind up to here with the four deuce? He didn't know it was on him. <coughs> and we do see ace jack versus ace nine, so a nine needed for Andreas to continue his festival main event dream. Not a great start. Dario with the back door spades, but the nine of spades on the turn gives a sweat. And another nine on the river. <laughs> Lovely uh, get there for Andreas. As it looked all but over on the flop. And uh, the perfect run out for him. And 760k to boot now. So he's right back in the mixer with uh, just over 12 big blinds at present. Jam for, for what, 19 big blinds here. 
nine handed versus plus three. Maybe more of a case for uh, for three bet folding. And even folding, I think, is, is, is quite reasonable. But uh, did decide that he thought that his ace jack was good enough versus uh, what he deemed to be an aggressive enough large stack that might be in there a little bit wider. Uh, full names we can get for you, sir. Andreas with the nines here, facing the open from Misha, it will be likely uh, a jam for him. Oh, and he could be in trouble here as he might run into the, and he does run into the kings of Oystein behind there. Magic nines came in good for him on the turn in the river, but he's going to need at least one of them this time to survive. You could see there the look on his face dropped as he saw the rejam behind, knows that he's going to be just praying for Ace King basically at this stage to have a decent chance and gets shown the pocket kings. Does make the comment that the nines have been hot for him. Can he find one? Oh, finds a gut shot on the flop, so a 9 or an oh, 8 yeah. now. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, there it is. Andreas. It's like a cat with nine lives here at the Festival Main Event final table. Dodging another um, dominating situation. Andreas' surname is Holmstein. Holmstein, by the looks of things. And it's your favorite number. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I didn't even look the other card. I saw the first nine. <laughs> and already six entrants in the OFC High Roller. It's been won by our very own founder and lead man, Franke. Apparently he's in the seniors and the mystery bounty, so quite a lot on his plate. So yeah, the story of the last 10 minutes, the very hot run there for Andreas, getting it in bad twice and sucking out on the turn in two consecutive all-ins. <laughs> Oystein now with the sixes, I think we're going to see him going all-in here in the hijack. With four players to get to and a decent pair, seems good to go. Now also going to be in last position in chips, so less of a concern to him about making the pay jumps, looking to take the initiative himself right now.
And the chip counts, as you can see there, Dario, the leader so far with 3.6. Valaz, 3.3. Luigi, 2.9. And uh, very evenly matched with uh, between 60 and 10 big blinds for the field. And Gitas and Oystein there propping up the bottom of the chip counts and going to be needing to take some action soon. Although with nine players around the table and uh, the, the big blind Dante still going to have some time but don't want to be waiting around too long and haphazardly ruin any chance of actually winning the tournament which is uh, obviously very important relatively top heavy payout structure with over 15 uh, over 20 percent of the prize pool going to first Second in chips there, Balaz, just looking at his handed mob. Had some pretty decent scores over the years. Been an active player for quite some time. With the biggest score of 140,000 US dollars. Very handy. Did win the 1K 2 the 2K No Limit Holder main event in uh, Velden on the Austrian Poker Tour in 2011. Welcome back, sir. I am happy and fat. <laughs> Really good food. Yeah, it was good food, wasn't it? High quality stuff. What we got going on here? Yep. Balaz here, who's a Hungarian player, I believe. With uh, he has some moves. Yeah, over 500k on Hender Mob, so right then. decent, uh, decent <coughs> run. What's his high score? 142. Oh. Yeah, great stuff. Did quite well over in Prague as well. Got third in a 500 hyper and. Oh, playing 5k's and all. Mm, yeah, in the, the Cyprus. Yeah, not bad. I must have some kind of idea what's going on with, the, with these results. Seems like he's had a little break there. In 17, oh, I guess that was Corona. Co right. Corona, yeah. And <laughs> um, yeah. There was that thing. <laughs> Although there was still action in Banco. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah. <laughs> Those guys didn't care. No. That's the cash here from Malta. From the Istria. Yep. 33k came third in the high roller. See who was up there in that Definitely, one. Definitely, uh, uh, Ben Jones, yeah. Definitely a player who's used to being on the big FTs and mm -hmm. swinging it with some top players there. Yeah, it's a, quite a lot of big names here. Yeah. a pretty nice. Uh, Three bet from the button with ace three suited while you were away. Yep, also. nice. Yeah, big man had ace king. Ah. <laughs> but uh, but Ran it was into a good it. play. Yeah. So Matthew taking it down with the ace five off. 
Nice aggressive open from him. <coughs> Yeva Kim, the queen of the Norwegian community. Mm -hmm. Ilva, I know she's right out on the other side of the of the wall, yep. railing the Norwegian guys. Absolutely. Stian and Ivan. Ivan. Yeah, good community of uh, of Norwegians as yeah. ever. They have like cool dog thing on their oh, yeah? dog sticker. What, the Everkin one? Huh? The Everkin thing or? Yeah, 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 exactly. It's <laughs> so nice. Oh yeah, I can see it there. So Bala is now in the hijack, ace two off. How aggressive does he want to get here? Seems this to be good enough. He's fearless. Mm -hmm. Also, why would he fear anyone at this table? He could take them all in a fight if they came at him at That's the same true. time. That's true. <laughs> Massive he's guy. Absolute <laughs> unit. <laughs> um, definitely been uh, getting some of the iron over the years. And Andreas with the queen six off. Not going to be doing anything, I believe. Maybe. He's doubled up. He was like at 300k last time I was here. Yeah. He yeah, he doubled up twice. He got it in with very lucky actually. Oh yeah? Ace nine versus ace king and nine nine versus kings. All right. And uh, won both of them. Then he cannot uh, have any more whining on the break when we meet him out there. <laughs> <laughs> and he's gonna use this one as a three bet spot by the looks wow. of things. Um, Recognizing that Ballas is quite an aggressive player. Yeah, these ones do actually come into it. Um, some sort of like high and one high, one low off yeah. suit. Because uh, you just want to be so polar that um, you don't want to fold out too much equity if you get no, 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 jammed like on. And Ballas, they're folding the better hands. So lovely That's stuff. That's uh, really cool. Mm -hmm. He just looks so so strong as well when you. Uh, <coughs> I wouldn't dare to bet that guy though. <laughs> just looks it's like the big friendly giant with that smile there. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. He seems like a really nice guy. Yeah, that uh, three bet off of the 20 big blind stack definitely looks mega strong. Yeah. Cool play by Andreas though, for sure. Yeah, one of those hands that's also like a bit too weak to defend, but yeah. has some, uh, you know, you remove some of the queen, queen, ace, queen, king, queens who did type Yeah, because holding. you still have like quite a large defending range, so you want to like be pretty polar and, and, and have the, those hands that play really poor, poor folks yeah. right in your three bettings. We saw Leo Sigurdsson from Iceland uh, finding a similar three bet in the, the last main event actually. So yeah. That one really stuck with me uh, because it's, uh, and then I had a look at some of the outputs and this kind of hand class does, does find it in there. He played really good, time. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was good, aggressive and uh, yeah, just a strong player in general. Seen the the Dutch crew uh, have been pretty well represented this week. A lot of crushers here, but they are not really represented on the final. Yeah, yeah. They've been falling uh, falling short. Go Matthew, ship it, Gringo, ninety ninety. Thanks, Thanks for coming in and cheering on you. your boy Matthew. Yep. A couple of the follows, only on one, Ni Ninu, uh, Piero Diff, and Gioan Nine. Rich kid. Osteen's gonna get his spot here. Oh, well, here we go. Uh, big blind, very standard stuff. Are we gonna stuff. see any fireworks here between Oystein and Misha? Misha is a bit of a resurgence, and Oystein has been going the wrong way. He was the big chip leader with about 14 Oy. left. And he's right back in there. Yeah. Unless the running diamonds come. Gonna look good for him. Running diamonds, the only real concern. Five on the turn locks it up. But he's going to happily see that he's now taking the double up and is up to 1.3 million, which is plenty to play, play for. <laughs> and a couple of hearty claps yeah. in the rail as well. It's a bit different than the Swedish rail last night. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Much more in line and reasonable. Yeah. Which uh, is good because this is not a 250 PLO side event, this is the main. <laughs> exactly, serious stuff. Oh no. Surely that's not a pen ref. That's not what? I think he it's a penalty. What the hell? Oh I see in the uh Copenhagen at home. Yeah. They, they get those sorts of That would be 
very soft. Yeah, if I'm the guy with seven, so the <laughs> what? All right, I always think I'd be happy with that. We should just, of course, very standards, but pretty unlucky. Yeah, unfortunately, Ace Queen, Ace Queen not being uh, favorable for any of our uh, main event deep runners. Oh, okay. Samo as well in there with the, uh, yeah. the suited version. Losing the flip, and now Oystein being rewarded after some extremely unfortunate hands that went did go against him, namely the pocket queens earlier. Tilt. Yeah, <laughs> unlucky, sir. The only local left, yeah. <coughs> yes, indeed. Would be a would be a cool star line to see the trophy stay here in Malta for sure. Do they get a trophy as well as the sign pic uh, as the as the caricature for the main? I would assume there is like maybe a real trophy too, but I'm actually yeah. not quite sure. So Dario opening it up, and uh, Misha once again taking it with the ace jack. Suited and booted, so yeah, uh, it's gonna work out here. It is. Dario been uh, been getting the wrong side of quite a few of these putts. Then he lost the all in with uh, ace nine against ace king. So uh, been. Uh, they're losing a few chips from, I think it was peaking around 5 milli, down mm -hmm. to 3.5. <laughs> Big bad DWE with a little bit of table talk. <laughs> That's good fun. Pom pom, pom patch things, good luck. <laughs> <laughs> That's good banter there. Saying Stian, uh, <laughs> Stian's not the most well averse player. <laughs> not the brightest. We will see as the uh, final table develops. I played with him a couple times. He's, he's pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Maybe you're just a. Yeah, a I think it's bands. Yeah. Payouts are sixty. Point one, uh, sorry, 61,000 up top, 40.5 for second, 29, uh, 27.9 for third, going all the way down to uh, 5,100, which is what all the players of the final nine have currently locked up. All of the information uh, on the payouts is over on uh, the live blog at thefestival.com. Still some info on some of the other side events that are running here and uh, occasional updates of the main event. Yeah, get a lip pot here, blind me blind. Stian fluffing the best of it with a bottom pair. Mm -hmm. And I think a little stabby stab will get the job done here, Matthew just not getting much of this backdoor straight draw two overs to the bottom two cards but was bet on a call wow yeah calls with yeah. 10 high with some devilish intentions later on i imagine does have a wrap around the jack so turns some straight draws from time to time maybe thinks that the 10 or the 9 is good and uh Let's see how Stian approaches the turn. Slow down. Basically, no choice but to check. <laughs> Matthew was so ready to bet there, he just instantly reached <laughs> for the chips. 250, it seems like he's going for. Yeah. Strong play, but Stian not believing it by the looks of things. Chucking it in there, yeah. Quite exciting putt going to the river here. Oh, yeah. oh okay. wow, just drills the uh, 
effective nuts on the queen. I assume we check it over here. Yeah, and Matthew definitely is gonna have to bluff this yeah. this hand. Wow, elite jams. Whoa. Very interesting line by Stian. Matthew is yeah, I'm not sure what auditioning that's all for about. a Hollywood movie. Yeah, yeah, not gonna be able to continue obviously with ten high. Unless you just put your opponent on 6-7 and hero <laughs> call it off for the, for the yard. <laughs> That'd be something. 7-5. Quite interesting, uh, Stian just chooses the lead jam here. Yeah, I don't think it's... Uh, don't think it's Trying to great. look like I who had a uh, busted flush draw in spades or something, but... Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's just not optimal because Matthew is going to get there with quite a lot of hands that he wants to either make some slim value bets with uh, or or some some pure bluffs yeah checked uh checked it over on the turn wanted to induce some kind of bet after having rivered the uh, the effective nuts there and instead just freezes out his opponent I this will work. yeah maybe let's try we are on a 30 minute delay yes Okay, so that kinda works. Yeah, that kinda works. So we've got the information on the payouts for you there. We can copy and paste those in whenever you need that. We are on a thirty minute delay indeed to protect the integrity of the game. Mm -hmm. Lush opens East 10 off under the gun. Yep. <laughs> so Stian now electing to decide if he's going to 3 battle peel or fold. All options on the table. What was that? Just 225? Uh, yeah, that's a very weird number, isn't it? So he's looking to re-raise and just completely forgot about the uh, the blind level increase or something. Even that would be uh, a bit short Yeah. for a 3-bet versus a min-raise. Maybe as we discussed earlier with the, the pressure of the final table, you can have some... Yeah, that's the spot where it starts to show that it's getting to him a little bit. Yeah. Balas just decided to call the the min three bit, of course, and uh, he does flop the best of it. On the King 10 3 flop, I think it is definitely a flop that Stian wants to uh, continue betting on. He has a gut shot, has of course an over to the King, and it's a pretty good flop for, for his range. Just decide to check it back and have a sip of an upper roll spritz. The Norwegians quite enjoy, of course, being down here when upper roll spits doesn't cost the price of half a house. it over once again and I think at this point it might just be too late for Stian to, to credibly represent anything yeah he does give it up Ballas takes down a nice part here I think we could, he could definitely have a have come in with the flop bet but also we will more often on these FT's with 
massive payout pressure see players take the more passive route Players having a bit of fun, despite playing for the big money, as you see. Hey, hey, hey. Sweating my Danish football team on the side and it's going atrocious down 2-0 after 18 minutes. On to the next hand here. Andreas opening it up with the ace two suited. Balash. What are you gonna do here? He's going to defend. I think it's uh, it's probably too wide, but uh, he likes to get in there. On Leon, thank you so much for the follow. And a complete break for Balash. Bottom pair and backdoor flush for Andreas, who will probably take it down with a seabed here, I'd imagine. Wow, Balash only have two outs because of all of the other sevens and sixes being folded here. And, uh, yeah. Andreas will go with the bet, and I think that's gonna be, it's gonna be it for this hand. Unless Balash really wants to get funky. He does let it go. Yeah. On to the next. Andreas have caught quite an upswing on this FT. He came in with just 400k after losing a big flip with 10 left. And he's a. Uh, He's straight in there again with around an average stack now. Very Compton player, very uh, very good guy. Been speaking to him a bit on the breaks. Andreas here from plus two, queen seven suited. Just gonna let that one go. Boystein and Steven will elect to do the same. Eat is here, who uh, we haven't, at least uh, I haven't seen a player hand yet. Very short stacked. Playing uh, just under nine big blinds. Tom, two sub, welcome. Look at you being all Italian with your espresso. He does decide to jam it in there. With 680k on the button. Yeah, king blocker suited, yeah, nice aggressive take. It's going to be difficult for both players to do much because they're quite similarly stacked, right? So yeah. it's like, you know, call, calling, and you're not going to see many rejams, so. You know, when you're thinking about only cold calling and not being able to rejam that often, it's uh, it could be awkward, you know, because you're unsure of as to what to do. Oh, your boys are getting a pummeling here, huh? Yeah. What was that tip earlier that you was uh, <laughs> earlier away in? In my defense, I didn't want to play that current price. <laughs> Fair but enough. yeah, the Komeng has a couple of the best players out. Mm -hmm. So on paper, 
Yeah. Looked like we had a pretty good chance, but uh, <coughs> always a very tough team for us. We have actually the largest away and ever really? at uh, at their stadium. Four thousand people made the trip. Mm -hmm. What's well, so they had to put extra seats out for you guys or what? Uh, so when it's a small team, they just get like a section like hidden in the back, and oh, right. they got oh, right. uh, they got the whole of what's called end. Stand, yeah, yeah, and stand. stand. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Stian here with the pocket tents. Of course, gonna be coming in for a race. Yeah. Wow. Pretty big by the like looks of it. Uh, like 250 or something. Maybe Big Bad WE is, uh, is onto something here. Actually, it's not that big. 215, but. Usually on a final table is not much need to go uh, bigger than uh, the min rays unless there is someone that's really short in the big blind and you want to kind of avoid them from making the old stop and go on you. Maybe he is. I, just, I remember him as pretty solid, but uh, definitely getting yeah, it's been creative. creative. Yeah, some pretty wild stuff so far. Takes it down here. And... Uh, a little Norwegian corner over there, I think they're yeah, be a force to, to be reckoned with. Happy to see it. The dogs, they're sat next to each other, <laughs> barking their way to glory. I don't reckon we've had a real deep run of a Norwegian in the previous series. Um, Nothing comes out no. of the mind. Nothing springs Last to mind. Last year we had all the Dutch and Sasha. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Sasha made back-to-back -back finals, right? Oh but yeah, that's right. But came eighth and ninth, I think, or yeah. something like that. Like the Mark Newhouse, or the, the <laughs> poor man's Mark Newhouse. <laughs> Imagine making the main event final table back-to-back. Nah, uh, -back. It's incredible. He bottled one of them, didn't he? Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Oystein here, plus one with the A sign suited. See if he's gonna VPIP that. Yeah. We'll come in with the race. <laughs> Little pump fake. He's <laughs> so invested for a 2 yeah, it's, it's a big game, man. Yeah. Oh. Wow. Never lucky. He just, have we seen him beep up a hand yet? I guess he's a Lithuanian. Uh, Gitas, uh, yeah. he just jammed the King 3 suited, but that was oh, that the was first hand uh, yeah, I've yeah. seen him play. Balas now with a very comfortable open with the pocket tens. He is very much in the race fold scenario in his defense, so yeah, can just kind of be dealt out in those situations. Mm -hmm. Or the jam, uh, jam fold, of course. And Misha in the big blind, King Jack. Yeah. Should be uh, should be seeing a flop, I imagine. Definitely or jamming. But Flick it in with a, a. I don't think I like this combination too much for, for jamming. It has really good pro slot playability. He's going to shove. Right. Oh, right. And it could be bad news for him. He's going to be a big flip. Definitely not getting it through. Bit of a fake flip for Balas. Having the yeah. on paper by far strongest hand, but uh, still only having the flip. Yeah, exactly. It's uh, not, the, not the hand <laughs> he was looking to see, hoping for pocket 8 to pocket 9. I really like the aggressive route here with uh, another short stack, uh, like a very short stack in uh, seat 9. Mm -hmm. How short is the very short stack? He has like 800. Wow, that's gonna yeah. probably all you for Misha. He needs a running straight here. Yeah, some Whoa. diamonds. Oh, Ooh, now an open there is a uh, yeah double gutty. No um, luck. Pop is hope be it. for Balas <laughs> sending home Misha in eighth place. Gonna be uh, taking home with him 6,250 euros for his trouble. So. Uh, when he gets a bit of a distance to uh, to it all, it's a uh, it's pretty nice payday. Yeah, that's a good effort from him. But definitely going to be a little bit of a sour yeah. feeling.
And yeah, so ninth for 5.2k, I beg my pardon, I think I said 8th, but... Uh, Did Ian spill his Aberol Spritz over there? Is that what he's got? Yeah. Legend. It's a... Uh, Norwegians, when they travel abroad, they kind of have to indulge, as it costs half a house in Norway to get a drink. <laughs> or even from the uh, supermarket and stuff nah, like it's that? it's insane, man. Yeah? Yeah. Really? Or is, is that a tax thing, or...? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, they're also all riches. <laughs> Just to have all the oil money, so uh, for them it's probably fine. <laughs> and the guys in the salmon factory earning yeah, 100k. Yeah, 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 yeah exactly. Right? It's personal, yeah. You got it good up there. Yeah, although the uh, the lifestyle is somewhat remote and... Yeah, yeah uh, you, you do have Oslo as a pretty big, big city vibe. Oh! 2-1. That's a good goal too. It is. Great stuff. Look at this. Yeah. Top scorer of the league. Should have gone for the both teams to score in both halves. That would have been juicy. <laughs> Gita's here. Gets the pocket eights. Jam in all the open of Stian. Yeah, another one of those larger opens from Stian. 215, now 225. Yeah. So he's going to have to win a flip here for his tournament life. Yeah, and Andreas is just going to get out the way. And uh, Gitas now is going to face some resistance, I believe. I'll be raised folding ace queen here. We have seen some of these three bet takes be on the more aggressive side on this FT as well. So not just a bunch of nits, people really... Uh, oh, they're getting in there. Get some. Let's go Copenhagen. Hendrik, I'm going to ban you. If you <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'll give you one more chance, yeah. buddy. I did say earlier I want to ban someone. This is very close yeah. to a bannable off offense. Oh, no luck for yeah. the eight so far. That doesn't feel like the board you get there on. Uh, oh. oh. <laughs> Unless you just... <laughs> It's gonna be GG for Gitas. No, like yeah, I meant. yeah, just feel like I, what I meant was it felt like eights were just holding all the time. Yeah, 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 board, exactly. Right? Uh, I had yeah. the same we saw also Andreas falling out of queen, so. Did you turn? Yeah, unfortunate for Stian, but. Oh, that's uh, a nice. We have the people storming out of the room cam. Yeah, there. exactly. <laughs> I like a that. little bit of a live rub down yeah. cam. <laughs> that's good. And the Norwegian crowd go marching on with now seven left and two of them right in the hot seat. Yeah, they're, uh, they're chipping up. Let's go Diego Goncalves, that's better. <laughs> He's, uh, Is that the guy that scored the penalty just yeah. now? Yeah. I don't know what I did to deserve these needles. <laughs> you walk right into them, buddy. Prevail. Wow, you're all over them for, for now. Oh, we're a better team in the spring than they are, actually. Been playing really well. But, uh, what's, the, what's the stadium capacity at this, this uh, one? I think like it's 30, like 40? just short of 40k, yeah. It's the National Stadium too. Yeah. Very hard place to come when uh, the Copenhagen team plays at home and has the guys in the bar truck and there are four guys with uh, yeah, their yeah, whistles. Yeah. And <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you've got your tinfoil hat on, have you? Like the guy who never wins a flip, right? So, <laughs> 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 mm -hmm. right, Henrik, I can take it. How's it going in the tennis? We have the I'll report back to the people on the ground. <laughs> What's that penalty? <laughs> <laughs> Golf starting soon, yeah? Yep. Might even be already in there somewhere. Have a look. And then another hour. Oh. Hovland. Who was my guy? Re Re Rose? Reed? Sheffler. Oh yeah, oh, but, and but then the Reed in the side bet as well. I had to read. Go him. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> 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 the weekend rail is uh, getting warmed up there. 
Getting the upper row spritz in, seeing the boys do better and better, climbing up the pay jumps. Yeah, drinks are flowing. Now we're getting a little bit more of sound from these guys as they realize that their contingents have a real fighting chance of taking down the 61,000 euros up top. Might be someone having a piece or two. Yeah, you <laughs> never know. Usually the most the people that are the most invested do have some kind of financial incentive from it, that's for sure. I think I had like five pieces and no day twos. No? Yeah. Wow. What, in this week? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. What, buying temples with your friends or something or what? Yeah, yeah, just like decent friends from, from Malta that's just going to be mm -hmm. going to be winners of the game. But uh, yeah, it's tournament poker. Yep. First team here, 15 big blinds on the Ace King off suit. Just gonna elect to jam it. I think I'd prefer to see uh, an open mm -hmm. to induce some uh, weaker hands coming over the top. But I think he's uh, very much in the in the mindset of maximizing his uh, fold equity to avoid busting the tournament. Yeah. Which I guess is somewhat understandable if you're. If it's like your biggest FT ever and uh, it's like a lot of money, right? Yeah, definitely. I think uh, it's. A, I think it would actually be the, the preferred play. Yeah. Just with offsuit, yeah. Not wanting to in, induce offsuit and, uh, and and happy to take it down. Lots of these kind of uh, low slash middling stacks grouped up. Mm -hmm. As this as the pay jumps are extremely significant now as well. So that's pretty interesting. I thought. Uh, I thought Ace King off would be would be too strong not to induce. Mm, yeah, I think maybe for 15, just, just happy to take it down. Would be wrong. Indeed, does do. Very <laughs> 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 modest claps from the ring. Contact lens messing me up here. You what? Contact is messing me up. Oh, right. I usually only wear them when I do sports, so it's for like two hours at a time. Yeah. I lost my classes in Milano last week. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so I've just been wearing them all this week. You didn't like leave them in the hotel and they're getting sent back or something then? Uh, yeah, yeah, they're, they're actually in Monaco now. My, my, my friend brought them. Yeah. But uh, it's gonna take a little while to get them back. <laughs> so Andreas here in the middle of the pack with the 8 6 suited, unlikely to be uh, yeah. popping that one up. Stian, though, has an open candidate here, the Ace Jack, uh, King Jack. So yeah. Most definitely, hand you want to repip. Yeah. Makes it 200 to go. Or is that 400? Or what are those chips? Oh, he calls. Oh. <laughs> yeah, he's a. Uh, I thought that was the. Uh, I just assumed that he was opening, right? It's doing some funky lines, this guy. Yeah. Well, of course, not really gonna. No, just a, a little bit uh, of a raised eyebrows, just trying to work out. Yeah. Let's flop the better. What could be going on here? What that limp means. Don't see too many limps on uh, on FTs. Balas now might be favoured to uh, go for a tiny block bet here, of, like one big blind. Yeah, yeah. there's quite a bad, uh, quite a lot of bad river cards, and probably pretty sure he has the best hand. Yeah, and improves as well now to a boat. Unlucky yeah, to be up against much Atex, you'd you'd imagine. One of the better cards to get the uh, to get called on too, in case Tian has. Yeah, exactly. Ace high high. Exactly, Ace high King high. You can target now. Uh, still a decent amount of bluffs with some six and seven X, and occasionally miss diamonds. So we can be pretty sure that Tian doesn't have an eight here, and he probably Fairly doesn't sure. have any over pairs either. Uh, where do we want to go on sizing here? Um. I think quite big, um, yeah. because yeah, you're just, just to target the ace high is really hard. Yeah, and yeah, those ones should be uh, inclined to call, um, and then there's lots of hands like 
Um, I don't know what his limping range looks like. That's the problem. <laughs> no, very um, true. So it's tough to tough to say. Let's go for around 200, so a bit over half, but better yeah, 180. 180, is sort of half-ish. Just trying to lock up the crying call there. Probably gonna get it. You could also obviously value better five for this size. I think a five can also go bigger in the spot. Yeah. Um, just based on how capped your opponent is likely to be. So I think this is more of the. Uh, Kind of live, just trying to get lock lock up the call a little bit. Type of play. Ian is not. Ah, oh, he's gonna play it in. Yeah, looks like he's going to uh, look his opponent up there. Looking at the chips, saying goodbye yeah. to them, and then <laughs> sliding over the line. <laughs> yeah, and uh, gets the bad news that as Ballas did improve to a boat on the river. Look at those arms, man. These yeah. are massive. Yeah, insane. Big old lad from Hungary with a nice pickup. Our chip leader there with 5.1 million. Yeah, playing great, really mm -hmm. aggressive, and. Uh, Not so seen much from Dario. He was uh, the, the chip leader on the on the feature yeah, table for most of the time. Punctured a bit after losing like the, five, the latest five, six times he's gotten engaged. Yep. This chick taking a little chill. It's love Steen right now. Watching your card, sipping the apple roll. And yeah, it's a good life, <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah. And uh, being guaranteed a lot of money. What the fuck? <laughs> wow, what a turnaround. Two all. Holy cow! This is a big Danish game that Jacob is sweating here. That's amazing. So, Matthew, is he going to do anything with the Ace Nine? Decent candidate yeah. for a three bet non all in, or or even just a jam. If you know that your opponent is uh, is wide enough, then uh, yeah, sure, why not? Yeah, I think it's very reasonable. Yeah, it takes it down. In losing quite uh, quite a lot of pots right now. Maybe just needs to take a little breather. <laughs> yeah. Move himself. Wow, what a game. Okay, you open here. Perfect. Time to cash in. Obviously, he just broke one. But that was, that was expected. Right? <laughs> Finish. Yeah, very good control. Too. On to the next. Andreas King 9 suited under the gun. I think it's just gonna be around a pip two week. Yeah. Uh I would open this one seven handed, I think. But yeah, it's very much his choice. He's a middling <laughs> stack, it's it's Gian ordering a pint and getting for a queens. Yeah, why not? Continuing to uh <laughs> pick up some decent holdings. He's definitely had a lot of opens. He's been probably yeah. the most active player in terms of opens. Yeah, most definitely. Um, Dario and the small blind, the king eight suited, conventionally would be a appeal, but not interested on uh, on the FT. Doesn't want to tangle out of position versus a a quite aggressive and. Is he in the kind of guy to player. show he has queen too? <laughs> getting the claps for <laughs> the raise and take. That's when you know you're getting deep in the tournament, right? <laughs> That's yeah. definitely someone who has a piece. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, ex ex uh, ah, perfectly executed 2.5 BP pickup there. Mrs. OG Master, thank you for the follow. Appreciate it. Thanks very much. Please do feel free to click the follow button. No more events to be notified on this week, but we are going to be back in Bratislava on the 27th of November until the 3rd of December. Oystein here, I think he's gonna jam, yeah. He, he he likes just to wager it all and kind of relieve himself of those post flop decisions, clearly. Yeah. I'm not <coughs> sure if I would open jam here, probably just min raise, but uh, I can see why he would want to. Yeah. 
like to I say, think that, like, if you acknowledge that maybe some of the other players are strong uh, then it's pretty strong, like, like it's pretty good yeah, to or, like... Yeah, or just it makes your decision quite easy, right? Yeah. If you run into it, you run into it and uh, there's not going to be any fiendish post flop scenarios for you to tackle that oh, exactly. may, uh, may not be the most advantageous. So, six. Who do you think is going to be next to go? Who is your money on? Um, it's a good question. Like Matthew, of course, the favorite being uh, the smallest stack. Oh, actually, yeah. has one point seven. I thought he had a he had a bit less. It's a uh, it's quite hard. Like like Steen is getting a lot of, a lot involved right now and not really getting the better of most of the pots. So. Uh, He'd be a candidate, uh, yeah. but also he'd be a pretty good candidate to be at six million in uh, in yeah. twenty minutes, right? So I, I don't see like a clear cut favorite to be honest. Oh, you're saying that's the shortest deck, yeah, at one point three. Andreas, they're all like hovering around there. Andreas, Oystein. Gonna be pivoting one way or another. We'll go with the race. Seventy. Yeah, going for the sort of three point five. Like it. Putting your opponent straight in a tough spot with the shorter stack. Kind of, you know, you've, you've got to block it to their rejamming range. Some of the you know, ace kings, kings, yeah. and queens of the world. Blocking those is kind of handy, and sometimes getting some better hands, like maybe he just folds king six off that. Three, yeah, four, I think that, 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 that's, that's pretty exactly reasonable what's gonna happen, to, right? Yeah. yeah. The power of being the aggressor, right? Absolutely. Just kicked him in the tummy. Captain, his nickname is Paddy Power. <laughs> Just because his first name is Patrick, there's no real oh, right. other that story yeah, to yeah, it. Yeah. And he's powerful or not? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's a big lad. Number one Danish influence on Paddy Power is, of course, Bentner. Yeah, of course. Oh, yeah, wore the, uh, <laughs> wore the pants. Legendary mm -hmm. moment. Oystein here. Small blind versus big blind jamming, and Steen has has decision here. King Queen suited, blind be blind. Queen suited for this many big blinds. Yeah. I think, yeah, this is tough, but I think I'd probably be finding a call here. Yeah, me too. Like, like you're just gonna, you're just gonna be ahead of of the range that I think is supposed to jam. Was it something I said? Showing the cards, and uh, Oystein must be a bit, uh, a bit annoyed that he's not getting any action from the king queen. Just checking for some update on the side events here. On the festival.com. Where you can find all the information on the upcoming events. Next one will, of course, be in Bratislava, end of November. Third time we will be visiting the Panku Casino, and uh, it's been absolutely epic the first two times. So I have a uh, have high expectation for the, that one.
got Matthew and uh, Luigi going at it here. Matthew flopping uh, the better red after calling the pre-flop race for Luigi. And uh, I can definitely understand Luigi electing not to see that here. It's just such a bad flop for him. But uh, what does that matter when you just turn the ace? Awesome for him. And I think we're definitely going to see him uh, come in with a bet. He does decide to check it, uh, and uh, Matthew might think his hand is good here. He does decide to check it over, and uh, surely Luigi will uh, try and get a value better now. It'll be interesting to see the sizing he will go for. I haven't really seen him getting much involved. He chooses only 80k here. Quite interesting. And uh, he's of course going to get the call. I think he could have uh, could have found ways to uh, to make more in this hand. Of course, he could have against Queen Ten, but uh, but the general line I felt uh, could be handled differently. But uh, win for Luigi. Go so back to 99, uh, 922. Thank you so much for the follow. Appreciate it. the next hand here. <laughs> Luigi 10-8 suited, plus one. He's uh, gotten some hunger after winning that previous putt. But I think he's going to face an all-in from Oystein here with the ace queen o. He's gonna jam it all in there. Very reasonable. Matthew with the ace jack, I don't think that's gonna be strong enough. Wow, he snapped calls. Holy moly. Oystein is ripe for almost a full double up. Matthew almost at risk here. Getting it in quite far behind. The ace jack against the ace queen. Let's see what the flop brings. There is definitely some chub abilities here. Matthew does have the backdoor diamond too. Not the best turn for him, but still having chub outs. That is not going to be one of them, and it's going to be GG for Matthew. Going to bust out here in seventh place, cashing a nice 8,350 euros. Congratulations to him. And Oystein making the Norwegian crew even stronger here with. Very, very close to a full double. Oh, Matthew is actually still in, but uh, yeah, he has not even a full big blind. So a full double up for Oystein up to 3 million. He's had uh, an extremely swingy day. He w started the day around 3 million mark, then went down to I think around 700k after losing a huge pot with Queens against uh, a rivered flush of. Uh, of uh, what's his name? Diego. Now he's uh, he's back up there. Oh no, he did cover. Just a slightly mistake on the graphic. So GG's to Matthew. You can see he t takes down the 8.3k. Not a bad pay there at all, is it? And the rest of the players are guaranteed that five-figure score now, 10,950 to the next player out. What a beautiful score for a 500 euro tournament. Of course they are all aiming for a six double of that, with the 60k up top. Uh, graphic 
lagging a little bit behind here. It seems like uh, it's blind versus blind here. You missed the bust out, George. Yeah. We had an uh, early position open from Luigi with the 10 8 suited. Augustine yeah. Jam 1.5 million over the top with Ace Queen. And Matthew, unfortunately, find, found a call of the, the small blind with Ace Jack. Ooh, yeah, rough. Yeah, uh, I think. Uh, yeah, I guess. Yeah, probably could have gotten away, yeah. I guess, uh, on a, on a Definitely, final table. But, uh, nice 8k score for him. Uh huh. And we're down to uh, 7 players. Six players? Six players. Six players, yeah. Six stacks in play, so. Six to go. <laughs> Typically, uh, <laughs> mean that there's six players. Yeah, yeah. Six yeah. stacks being in there. <laughs> So 11,000 euros locked up now. We're yeah, getting into the realm of the... Score is, uh, that's pretty done. significant. Always looks good on the Hendon. And a quite balanced stack uh, distribution here. Palace leading with the 5 million. Uh, and the yeah. rest of them is within 1.5 actually. But uh, definitely seeing a lot of... Yeah, a lot of big blinds in play now for these guys. Good structure and uh, a minimum of 20, Euro, uh, 20 big blinds for each of them. So plenty of play left. Very cool indeed. Andreas enjoying a ice cold beer. Yep, why not? Yeah, honestly, like, of course, it's, it's a major spot, and uh, and you don't want to be drunk, but uh, often like taking one or two pints, like just to yeah to I, calm I, down the nerves. Yeah, I, I can see it as well. It is nicer to. Uh, you don't want to get that? tired and bloated and stuff like that, but uh, sure. But it can. Uh, I think I remember having a one one bottle of beer myself just to uh, kind of ease things off on the on the final table I made last year. Playing poker? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I know. I didn't think you combined those two things. <laughs> <laughs> Luigi here with the <laughs> just defending in the big blind with the with the pocket eights against those teams uh, hijack open. Yeah. I think that's fairly reasonable. Yep. Doesn't want to be three bet folding or jamming. Seems a little bit out of line. You know, if you get snapped, you're out of the tournament or yeah. have two outs or something like that quite a lot of the time. Yeah, it's just they're just too deep for that to be options. Yeah. Pretty tough spot here on the Queen 10 7. That's the backdoor straight draw, the backdoor flush draw. I think we would elect to uh, at least peel one more off. Yeah. And a little look over there as if to say, come on, give me a free <laughs> river card. King of clubs now, getting a bit dodgy if Oystein's uh, going to be firing another yeah. one. We did, we did pick up a flush draw, but another over card. Shouldn't really be liking the situation here. No. But uh, it also needs Oystein to be able to find this uh, this bluff. Yeah. Just to get behind. Yeah, and uh, Luigi here is going to win with those pocket aids. May not be expecting to because there still could be hands like Queen X and Ace 10 in his opponent's range that did find the check back on the turn. Yeah, and I think with the lines we've seen Oystein take earlier, like he's not very uh, very likely to to come in with the the river bet here. Mhm. Mm yeah, Luigi deciding he's got enough showdown here. Oh, no snap check. I uh, just. I should check it back, and uh, it's a winner for Luigi with the pocket eights. Pretty happy to see that, I'd imagine. Yeah, that's uh, really the only hand class he beats. <laughs> yeah. like a, a, it's hard a, to a find hands you beat in that spot. A low Asex, right? Yeah, 9-8, in which he block. Just doing a quick bathroom break. Need anything? I'm um, okay. Chance he calls the river there with the eights, I think.
And now, with his trademark look over to the uh, clock before opening it up. Still on the 408080. And makes it 120. Luigi in the small blind here with the Queen Jack suited. Interesting to see how he continues. Is he going to go for a three bet? Does he peel? Certainly seems too tight to, uh, to consider folding this hand. I think I would elect to peel personally. And that's exactly what he goes for as well. I think we want to be a little bit more polarized with our three betting strategy here. Kind of three bet folding and you know folding a lot of equity versus a hand like pocket tens that might four bet jam would wouldn't be the uh, would the best case scenario for us as as an example or or even three bet folding to ace king, which uh, we do have decent uh, equity versus so. Selecting to flat, um, not going to see much on the flop here. The back door flush draw on those two overs. Stian going for some value slash protection. Maybe could also get a hand like uh, Ace Eight of Diamonds to fold, which is uh, would be a bonus for him. And Luigi does continue the flop with the Queen Jack. Doesn't want to see a Queen on the turn. Oh, things could get pretty nasty fairly quickly. And it is going to be a six, so should slow down Stian. I guess Luigi may have some 6x here. Uh, six, seven suited, a six suited could be in there. The five of clubs on the river. And now Luigi deciding, do I want to represent a hand like pocket sevens, pocket eights, that, that could definitely take this line? You know, an absolute... Uh, a couple, let's say, 6x combos that, that may, may get here as well. Unlikely in general, but definitely has some, some hands to value back here. Even ace five of hearts or something like that could, could, could play like this. And that is going to be 475k into around about 600. So a nice healthy three quarter sizing. And Stian with the king queen. Um, he's got the king of clubs, queen of clubs, right? So uh, queen of spades. So does have some interaction with the hands that might bluff. So i.e. Queen 10 of spades, King 10 of clubs. Um, so that means that when you have two cards that interact with all of these uh, backdoor draws on the flop in a suited heavy range, you just mean that your opponent is going to be value betting a little bit more often and does find the fold nicely played by Luigi, Luigi there, picking up a spot and uh, trying to navigate his opponent away from hands like king high and ace high and gets the job done nicely. They've agreed that we would be taking a lengthy break in around about <laughs> um, 50, 45 to 50 minutes.
Dario opening in the cutoff with Ace King. We've seen uh, mostly premium holdings from him, to be honest. Even when he did have the uh, the table chip lead on the on the previous table, relatively snug. No, in there with another kind of creative defend the eight five off, getting in there a little bit too wide. Uh, for my liking personally. Going to bleed a lot of chips out of position here when you are covered in, uh, in this kind of ICM cage spot. And Dario flopping really well. King 7 dudes just going to be betting one big blind or 120k. It was a little bit larger. Maybe thinking he's unblocking the diamonds so wants to uh, start charging worse hands right now. Hendon Mob I'm just having a look at as well. Also, it looks like he's a very active player. Um, been playing since 2015 with almost 700k in live earnings. Biggest score was relatively recently in 2022. Prague main event. Coming in sixth place for 214,000 euros. Great score. Had a really great week there by the looks of things. A couple of near misses and the 1k, the 2k and the, the other 1k and, and getting it done. Well played to him. And uh, with the, uh, getting it done with the Jack Nine. And the Norwegian fans continue to go wild. Stian deciding not to stay on those Aperol spritzes, maybe worried that he wasn't going to last the uh, duration at that pace. Electing himself to uh, enjoy a nice cold beer instead. And let's see what uh, Dario Barone, again, looks like an Italian player. Says he's an English player by the looks of things, or lives in England, essentially. Now that might just have been because his first cash was in England, but most of them are Maltese caches. Um, rather more modest Hendon compared to uh, some of the other players. And here he is, under the gun with the pocket eights, opening it up to 200k.
Go stay in the naughty nos. <laughs> Not sure what that bids, but I'm glad that uh, you're in there cheering for your boy. Look at this. What we have emerging here, Dario opening with the eights, facing a nice aggressive three bet from Andreas. And Balas with the queens gives him the bad news that uh, he's just going to have to fold down, fortunately, and it's a bit of a setback from him. Almost a third of his stack heading over to the Hungarian in the big blind, lurking with the monster hand behind. Dian Nostal, let's see what uh, the Hendon mob has in store for him. 32,000 overall caches with uh, his biggest score recently in the Norwegian Championships. Uh, actually, just over a year ago, came 11th in the main event for 9K. An event that was won by Per Flode Indesund. 127.5k. Wow, what a massive event that is for only one nation, basically. It was a locked event, so only Norwegians could play in collecting 737,000. Wow, what a, uh, what a force they have over there. Wow, Jacob's going to be over the moon here as his team have just gone 3-0 up, 3-2 up after being 2-0 down. Insane. Some good news. <laughs> Stian opening it up on the button with the ace deuce off. And again, the Hungarian man there. Big arms and a big hand with the ace king suited. <laughs> big arms, bigger hand. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> big gloves. You know what they say about men with big hands? Uh, I don't, what do they say? I have a lot of equity against these two off. <laughs> Very good. Is Stian going to uh, take anything out of line here? Looks like he was kind of tempted to, but now starting to see a look of resignation yeah. there. And the fold. As one of... Uh, the Norwegian troops there doesn't find the uh, the four bet jam, which would have been probably sending him home. Siflino porta isoldia casa. Couldn't agree more, mate. Uh, oh, going to translate? Yeah, why not? Mm. Mm. All in Norwegian. Uh, sorry, uh, Estonian. Nope. <laughs> What? Completely guessing at these ones. It's Italian, I guess. No, it's Estonian, this. Oh. Yeah, yeah. What? No, not the... Uh, don't worry. Alright. <laughs> Andreas here, getting a real piece of hand under the gun. An ace and an ace. Fortunately, no mistial this time around. Just a detect language. Look at that away and having a good time. Yeah, the boys are, uh, well, as you would, right? Yep. Sifalino takes the money home, apparently. Sifalino? Mm, not sure. <laughs> <laughs> I guess it's Diego? Or oh, Dario, sorry? Maybe. Yeah. Dario or Luigi, I'd imagine. They're the, yeah. they're the two Spanish guys. Andreas is from Sweden. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, we didn't have a look at his. Uh, oh, let's have a look at his Hendon. Yeah, we've got some of the Hendons up. The w Luigi seems to be the uh, the most well decorated player. Oh, really? Sixth in the EPT Prague main. Wow. Or 215k, hell of a score. Should we see? When was that? Uh, last year. Oh yeah, that's pretty sick. Mm -hmm. 
Andreas unfortunately getting nothing but the blind with his pocket aces. Oh wow. There he is there. Yeah. So he is uh, an owner of digital a digital marketing, marketing company in Sweden, uh, focusing on online casinos. And they're working with a lot of branches in iGaming and multiple markets. Yeah, it's active. An affiliate. Yeah. Casino wings. So uh, he's making some some nice money there. <laughs> At the expense of others. <laughs> <laughs> There's something familiar about his face. Yeah, that's your neck of the woods. Um, yeah, being in this industry, he's probably a Malta resident, I'd assume. Mm -hmm. Since the Swedish like to have their companies down here. Wonder why? Yep. Wasn't that decorated in the poker street, I can see? It's a three letter word beginning with T and ending with X. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so Stian opening it up with the pocket tens, getting it through. Andreas deciding not to defend the king eight off. Cifalino is Dario. Oh, that's yeah, so cool. it was. Uh, we got some friends and fans cheering him on. Awesome. So thank you everyone for joining. Ooh, that could have got the job done now. I wonder what your in-place price would have been 2-0 down there. Like 50? <laughs> yeah, probably around there. Like we, we're the best defense in the league, so we don't score that many goals. Yeah, well, boys have stepped up. Most definitely. This is a... Uh, Stian <laughs> under the gun. Yeah. Looking a little bit sloppy with the way he put down that beer. <laughs> Hands shaking. Think they're getting to him? Yeah. <laughs> Look at this league. It, 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 it holds. Two matches Ooh, yeah. to go. Four teams within two points. Oh. Should my team become champions, it would be the first time since before I was born. Be pretty cool. Ooh. Oh, go on. Oh. Yeah. This kid hasn't scored a goal in years. <laughs> <laughs> but he keeps trying. Yeah. I think getting the best of Luigi on the flop here. Yeah, King of High board. <coughs> Electing to uh, peel with the King Jack suited pre. I'm not sure. I think I, I think I saw something about like the suited ones don't mind calling because you've got more playability post, and then y the yep. offsuit ones are like uh, jam candidates here. Yeah, I think that's like the general rule, right? Because yeah. you just perform better post club. It's easier, yeah, easier you to play you them. You can also just check raise for value versus button. Button's gonna have lots of hands like king six, uh, king seven, king eight, king nine, king ten, ace five. Um, Pocket pairs in between the king and the five all take this line, so... We did dust turn some equity with the good shot, exciting to see if he keeps uh, representing this board that yeah, should be better Yeah, and the him. ace of spades as well, which is quite an important one. So yeah. I think I'd be finding the second barrel here, just trying to target some of those four and five X's. Um, if he has seen any of the information from the stream, Oystein has actually been the person that's willing to defend their big blinds the widest. Yeah. Lots of kind of weak offsuit combos in there. Um, so I think that this is a really good double barrel. It's just obviously we can see that he has run run into it this time. And yeah, and I think it's from how we've seen Austin been playing, I'm pretty sure he's gonna. I think he's gonna jam. Yeah, but I, I think you you really have to just allow your opponent to maybe fire one more with with hands like this. And yeah, it, it is kind of uncomfortable, right? But 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 it's gotta be done. Yeah. He is all in. Yeah, he's gonna jam and, and announce his hand essentially and another another putt for Norway. I think Norway. even uh, yeah. What a what an, uh, a day he's had. He started like around two and a half, got mm -hmm. up to almost four million, down to seven hundred k. Yeah, and now right back up there. Look yeah. at those flares from your uh, your supporters. Yeah, that's a that's, that's a stable. classic thing. Yeah. yeah. I've uh, used all my youth in the core down there. Yeah. <laughs> 
getting relegated and stuff. It toughens you. It does. As a young man, just constant Adversity. disappointment. Sure, what's going on? Yeah, I do not know these UK keyboards, man. Um, is that a UK one? Because I found it a bit awkward as well. It's slightly different. Or maybe not UK, it's just... It's a QWERTY one, but it's just a weird yeah. size to me. So Dario opening it up with another great hand, ace queen suited. Yeah, seems like that's. Oystein, is he going to peel the small blind here? Yeah, I don't mind it. 7 6 of hearts. And Steen gets out of the way with that 9 4 off in the big blind. I'm not quite sure that you want to be peeled here as Oystein. No? No, I, I, might, I might be wrong though, but. Uh, Oh, you just thought the combination's too low or something like that? Yeah, I, I, I've I've done it's a couple of years back. Not gonna lie, but I, yeah. I've done some uh, some amount of final table uh, studying, and and they just they just don't really want to. Like again, they they kind of want to in Chippy Reeve, but when you are like he's like at the top end of the middle of the pack now. Yeah. You just your stack preservation is more important than taking these, like like. How much is your EV really gonna be uh, be pipping in this spot, right? Yeah. Instead of just forfeiting your small blind. It's gonna work out this time around, though. Flops the top pair and turns the two pair. Let's go. Copenhagen says Henrik Twiss. Isn't that worthy of the ban now, or are you? Oh, uh, now, now he can, uh, now he can do it. Oh, that was earlier. Yeah, was it? Yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. How's it going, Henrik? You are still out there, <laughs> enjoying the match. Lurking. <laughs> <laughs> it's been all awfully gone, quiet. All, yeah, it's gone all quiet. <laughs> it's all gone quiet over there. Uh, <laughs> what a time to be alive. Yeah, great turnaround. Pretty really depressing t first 20 minutes of the game. Yeah, yeah. All right, that's it. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be some insane weeks. We might have to book a flight home as if we're gonna have a sweat in the last round. Yeah. How many games to go? Two. Two. Oh. And the second place team is kind of out of out of form. Yeah. So uh, it's not given that they're gonna uh, jump up to 54, mm -hmm. which would put us out of contention for gold at least. Ooh. Also, we have to hold another 30 minutes yeah, here yeah, yeah, against yeah. a very good team, of course. Yeah, which is uh, not a given. It's easy to dream. So, open from Andreas to 200k with the Jack Tenno and uh, and to defend from Ballas, the chip leader. Yeah, feels he's defending like quite wide too. Yeah, defense feels like he can just get in there somewhere close to the sort of chip EV. Yeah. Good not much, not much to lose, so. Continue on. Yeah. Cash or one chip bet. The issue being somewhat that uh, Andreas is so short, so that opening range is unlikely to be too weak, and there is a lot of hands, uh, like King X hands, that are in there that that now dominate you. Yeah, and in general, like middle pair hands are hands that uh, that are pretty likely to check back flops because it's just so awkward uh, getting check raised. Yeah, but in this situation, definitely wants to. Yeah. Wow, it's a very wide call. I guess it's yeah. uh, such a small percentage of the pot. 100 into 450. He deems himself to have enough backdoor stuff going on to, to stick around. Uh, very and fresh. Let's get the check back from Andreas. Deuce on the river. Is he going to try and take off here, or is he just planning to represent the heart? I'm pretty sure Andreas is gonna beat him to the pub. Out if he likes to do something. Yeah. He does check it. Yeah, thinks his king high. Kind of value bit here. Seems his king high to have enough showdown. Yeah, yeah, and I think that's pretty good realization. Like uh, when it pairs and uh, there's an ace out there, king high is not that bad of a hand. Let's go. 
going to be my job for the rest of the night. You know that? Yeah. Wow. They didn't see that was a corner kick. Oh. That's impressive. Rigged. Go hang at home, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Players have just gone on their one hour dinner break in real time. As we are 30 minutes late, we will of course uh, be with you for another half an hour. Perfect. Game will finish and then we can have a break. Mm -hmm. Sweat the golf. Yeah, I got some big sweats coming in here. How much you got on these games? Are these, uh, uh, so 75, 275, 425. Um, six seventy-five, eight seventy-five. Yeah, I think Balash is. Would it like you to be prepared? Likes to get in there. We're in for twelve fifty. We got some sweats. I'm in for sixty. <laughs> <laughs> Frustrated throw from Dario there. He's uh, yeah, he's had some decent leading. hands, but hasn't really got much action. And uh, obviously, getting outdrawn in a couple of spots as well. It's annoying when those Oi. go Balash against you. The best of Stian here. Yeah, unfortunately um, for Balash, uh, uh, for uh, Stian now, he does go for the check back. I think that's a nice check back here. Queens is the hand that just yep. needs the least protection. Uh, and you are going to ru run into some of these King X holdings as well. I do suspect King Ten, King Jack. that you're more likely to check back when having the backdoor flush draw, but uh, but yeah, I think it's I think it's definitely fair. Yeah, I like it. And now Ballas has the green light. Very yep. rare for his opponent to check back a better hand on the flop. Aces with the heart when yeah, you're... Uh, yeah, that was candidate at least. Aces with the heart, I think, wants to bet because you unblock um, the, the the King X holdings uh, because your opponent, the small blind never has Ace King, right? So Yeah, I, I think they, they might be a tad too deep to... Oh, this guy used to play for us. Oh. Oh, it's an absolute village scramble. Hey, hey. And uh, Stian will, of course, come along for one. Yep. No choice here. The Global 96, thank you so much for the follow, and Batwoman 1000. Yeah, thanks very much, guys. Appreciate it. Up to 163 viewers, not bad. Oh, nice river card for Stian here. Wow, drills the offsuit queen. I wasn't expecting to see that one. Because uh, even the Queen of Hearts could be a little problematic, obviously. Still nutted, but the Queen of Clubs is just about as uh, as pure as it gets. Only now losing to uh, to ten nine suited. Let's see the sizing here. Let's go with the like, like seven eight hundred k. Yeah, that looks like four fifty five fifty. Yeah, it's gonna be interesting to see Balas' reaction to to Steen's jam yeah, here. Yeah, because it's just. It's it such a weird line, It right? is such a weird line. Of course, queens make like sense, it, but what else? Yeah, eight. It's like, does he have ace nine? Does he have jack nine? But again, it's going to be a criminally underbluff spot. Mm -hmm. Where I think you can just yeah. assume when people race you on the river in spots like this. Yeah, is it literally? Do I have the nuts? Yes, call. Do I have the nuts? No, no it's just going to call. I'm sorry, what? Oh, I think that's a little, little bit snug for sure. Yeah. Going to be up against a lot of better hands, uh, a lot of worse hands there that there we need to target. Two hands that beat him. Yeah, like, like, yeah okay, yeah. but, but like, mm. he's going to see ten nine suited. He's probably not going to see five four, but, but, but like, he's never seen kings either, right? Yeah. All right, but the <laughs> big putt for Stian. And the Norwegians keep getting richer. Yep, more money going towards the Norwegian contingent there. Uh, as uh, he gets rather fortunate to find that rivered queen. Balas getting a, not a snap call, so thinking he definitely has yeah. the best of it. And a little bit of a slow roll. Well. 
Yeah, when he calls it's a slow roll for sure, but like, yeah. it's just... Surely he was not thinking about folding. <laughs> no, no, no. Fresh reinforcements from the bench. Andreas mm -hmm. taking the east use off as an opportunity to open it up under the gun here off of 16 blinds into uh, the big blind of Luigi. I think that's uh, definitely a defendable decision. Yep. He's uh, been quite snuck, Luigi, not getting too much involved. Dario the same lately. So uh, I think he uh, could have an idea that they're just folding quite a lot at the moment. And with these exact hands, of course, they are going to get away. Luigi, though, does elect, to, <laughs> yeah, it does elect to get in there with the 6-5 off. That's way too wide. It does seem wide-ish, but uh, at least with this hand, it's it's a better defend versus early position than it is versus uh, later ones. Because yeah, there's you're, less you're coverage. Uh, less dominated, exactly. Yeah. Um, but yeah, you, you need to have your opponent have a non-ped hand and then also... Um, you know, hit. Yeah. So, um, and, and especially when it's the shoulder stack opening into you as yeah. the next shoulder stack, you really don't want to. Usually just bleeding a one big blind there quite often. Yeah. It, uh, it just hurts too much now they're almost even. Copenhagen fans didn't look too, uh, too happy about what they're seeing. It was uh, one of the players that they bought home this summer. He's getting. 10 million euros a year, like which is wow, by really? far the highest paid of the league, and he gets injured every time he gets on the pitch. Really? He played like five matches. Wow. It's nice being rich, you know. You can just. <laughs> well, Copenhagen have all the money, do they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're, they're like two and a half times the budget of second. Wow. And probably four times us. They should win every year, but they don't. And when they do, they're very proud about it. Mm -hmm. You're quick to remind them of their budget. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So Not Ballas the <laughs> <laughs> in the cutoff with the King Jack off. Yep. And Andreas. Gonna defend. Yeah, going to defend. And looks uh, reasonable, high enough to uh, to peel. And the King Jack now flopping middle pair on a board that is probably going to back quite aggressively. So yeah. Could definitely use the second pair top kicker type of hand in there too. Yeah, I think it's probably a pretty small like 150k range bet here. Yep. Does elect to go for something like that and takes it down. <coughs> 33 possession, last 10 minutes, getting a bit pressured. Well played, Jesper. I think the players are definitely anticipating this uh, dinner break too. Uh, so of course they are now. Yeah. Been playing for three and a half hours. It's been mega intense. Mm -hmm. So uh, just go out, get some fresh air, get some food. Think about something else in poker for at least the first half an hour. Yeah, just clear your head. That's important, right? You don't want to just go straight on and have people asking about loads of no. hand histories and stuff like that. And I think it's good to be on your own as well because yeah, uh, it's good to recharge. Hundred percent, you want someone who's watched the stream and just uh, yeah, is giving you some info. But but just take the first half an hour, like you right have to a full yourself. hour. Yeah, maybe a little walk around the marina or something like that. Unless oh. it's raining. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's like Copenhagen or uh, Denmark's version of Man City. Yeah. A bit of a plastic uh, support yep. by there. Hey. With the foam fingers and uh, the clapping. 
<laughs> Ooh. <laughs> um, so Balash now with the Queen 9, just going to let that one go. Dario, Ace 9. He's not been in there much recently, so he may feel like obliged to get in the mix. And has a decent candidate. I'd definitely be opening it up. Planet Poker Live. I know Planet Poker is uh, is an Italian poker site, so. Okay. Uh, Planet Poker. Yeah, I think uh. it's on the People's Network. Right. What sort oh, of uh, traffic do they get? So it's, uh, of course, a uh, Ring Fence Market. Ah, yeah. Um. So yeah, the People's Network is by far the biggest. It's like over 50 sites or something. Uh, try to say Planet Poker 365, I think they're called. 365? Yeah. Oh, that's Planet Win, I'm thinking about maybe. Yeah, okay. Planet Win 365? Yeah, that's, that's the brand I was thinking about. Maybe Planet Poker is some affiliate or something. Mm hmm. You have an English community page for an Italy only site. Yeah, that's a bit strange, isn't it? Hasn't been that's updated in years <laughs> seven years. Yeah. Have uh, Steen and Luigi added here in the single race pot. Luigi C bet 275, a bit on the larger side. Mm -hmm. And Steen is leading the turn here. Yeah, he's made a couple of creative plays like this, uh, leading with Jack Nine on a on a Queen Nine deuce board. Yeah. This time around, it's not going to work out for him. Yeah, it's just a strange board to do that on, you know. Yeah. Double flush draw board, loads of over, uh, you know, overcard hands that aren't just aren't going to fold. Um, and then you do kind of fold out all of the really low equity hands, like maybe an ace four suited or something that the bet the flop. All in. I'm Luigi. Yeah, just not having any of it here. Oh, I think it's. Because it doesn't really make a lot of sense when you start mm. to lead on a card that doesn't change anything. Like the only hand that you could possibly improve on is fives yeah. in the club that may or may not fold the flop or not. So yeah, I think it's it's, it's pretty good just to make sure you're not uh, getting your team to realize equity with some flush draws and stuff. Yeah, he's just holding a little funeral for his hand, I guess. Yeah, I don't think he's going to be calling off here. It'll be nothing sort of sure, nothing short of suicide. Or 1.3 million into a pot of 4.4. Not going to be getting the price here up against a lot of high equity draws and jack x and queens and kings and aces, and he just doesn't block any of them. It's not good when they start talking. Yeah, like yeah. Convincing I feel like he's just gonna. He, he's trying to tell himself, "Wow, I'm really up against like king queen of spades or yeah. something like that, or or queen." Which you're almost flipping against, to be honest. Exactly. <laughs> like ace, ace queen of spades. Ace, ace king of spades. Ace king of clubs. Ace queen of clubs. But I mean, just no reason to be leading the turn here. It's a resignation. Yeah, he really wants to uh, to call, but I don't think he's going to uh, okay. <laughs> find. <laughs> Go ahead. I think it was Luigi saying that. He <laughs> 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 made a motion there, which was a fold. Yeah, I was trying to lip read and it looked like yeah. he said call. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Alright, I call. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Slightly vacant expression after uh, all of that alcohol that he's had on the rail, I, 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 would, I would say. Yeah, I think he's uh, he's taking the the suggestion from me of having a couple to... Uh, yeah, to a, a little too level. far, right? I don't think a one hour dinner break for him is necessarily good if he keeps on. <laughs> no, exactly. He could be... Uh, Pretty, but uh, then again, we don't sleepy. know if he's playing for money that matters to him. Maybe he's just having a good time. Yeah, maybe he's super rich and 60k is a uh, drop in the Ocean, ocean. after all. You, you never really it's know. A flip. Uh, Max. <laughs> <laughs> Dario here. Gets to have an open. Yeah. 
defending the button. Yep. Very With the King Jack suited, yeah. Again, just a hand that versus Sia under the gun six is unlikely to uh, to play too well. We're gonna get a rare multi way putt here. Yeah, but that's coming in with the suit King X himself is yep. unfortunately dominated quite often by the button, but Steam's the price that he's getting to be too good. Maybe he can hunt some clubs. And uh, yeah, interesting flop, bit of a swing and a miss for everyone. Yeah. I mean, Oystein does have a gutter, but I don't think Dario, who's really been running quite bad since uh, since having that very yeah, fort really fortuitous has. Queen 10 and had such a hot start, you know, aces, jacks, a couple of times. Wow, almost full pot promotion. I, I quite like be the bet here, actually. Like, Dario is just. Yeah, Dario be having aces or nothing here. Yeah, could have some weaker Most ace that yeah. wants to uh, check multi-way. Uh, I think it's pretty cool that he recognizes that. Yeah, very aggressive stuff there from Moistine. Kind of like a one and done. Yeah. Um, Sizing wise, I think it's a yeah. bit too much. It's not really needed to go five. Yeah, three, exactly. Like the efficiency of that size could be for much smaller, right? Yeah. Actually, our boy Holger lost the final. Zero. Oh yeah. Seven five, seven five. Yeah, Medvedev continues his winning run. Nah, he's class. It's a good friend of. Um, there's a guy called uh, Vitaly who plays in. Oh yeah. And uh, yeah, he, he used to be a, a professional tennis player. Yeah. And uh, he's from Ukraine, but obviously they trained together as kids and stuff, and came up through, and he got invited to go and watch him play in Monte Carlo the other day. So. That's pretty cool. Pretty cool, yeah. Got a birdie from uh, Reed. Oh, really? Yeah. Nice. Strong start. Who was he against? Um, who was Reed against? Minbu Lee, who's been uh, extremely hot form this season. He's also one under. Oh, damn. Yeah. Geeky. A Danish guy in there. Who's that? Hoygaard? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. No idea who that is. Yeah, he's coming up the ranks, doing quite well on the European tour. Pretty cool. We used to have Thomas Bjorn, who was a Ryder Cup captain. Ah, uh, yeah, the great Dane. Yeah, but they uh, haven't really had like any top, top players. Mm -hmm. Go on then. Do we think that uh, flash scores is faster, do we? I have no idea. I've never checked gold flash scores in my life, I think. <laughs> so, six left here at the main event, guys. Five hundred. Oh yeah, it's a poker tournament. <laughs> <laughs> 500 buy-in with a total pot of just under 300k. And uh, with the beauty of tournament poker, over 20% of that going for first. So, hell of a lot of money to be yep. paid for. Uh, 61,000 euros. Everyone's up guaranteed top. that five, five bigger score. Yeah, eleven thousand guaranteed, locked up for all of these players. And uh, Andreas now opening it up with the ace five. Don't think he's going to face any resistance from these guys. Off suit there, Luigi in the big blind. Yeah, he might defend Seems there. to be a relatively interested opponent. Yeah, comes along for the ride. Seems, seems reasonable. Mm -hmm. Wow. Great flop for Andreas, who's been uh, short stack ninjing it a lot. He definitely you know, has. Just getting in there with a lot of opens and, and finding decent boards to uh, to see better and take it down. Yeah, I really like his uh, his play so far. Yeah, he's been quite patient, but also, you know, the, a lot of the guys are just kind of trying to open jam all the time and. He seems to be a little bit more comfortable going post flop. So let's see what sizing he goes for. Something around 125, 130, maybe. Goes 
155. So third pot. Yeah, I do think we wanna wanna see one more here as Luigi with the back door flush draw on the two overs. A bit early to give up. Potentially. Used to be our fucking player too, this guy. Uh, Take of diamonds on the turn. Let's see if Andreas keeps on betting here. Start to check it back. Wow. Luigi hitting the queen on the river. Yeah, great run out for Luigi. Definitely going to be betting here. <laughs> It's getting a bit weird if you get jammed on here. Could be some crappy checkbacks on the turn. Pocket jacks, aces. Uh, now also ace queen, king queen uh, beating you, but not going to be the biggest concern for him. Defi I think wants to seek out some value first. Targeting hands like pocket tens, pocket nines, pocket eights. Yeah, um, nice yeah. maybe even ace seven suited. A uh, good player like this. Uh, yeah, Andreas saying he's got the worst hand to call, <laughs> blocking some straight draws yeah. and uh, blocking the flush draw. Definitely knows what it's what's going on. Strong player by the looks of things. Most definitely. And uh, yeah, unfortunately there does run into the river two pair of Luigi, who's going to take that one down and uh, continue his ascent. <laughs> Calling his hand out so there. Five, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Five yeah, is five of space. That makes sense to me. Yeah. This keeper. Oof. Top one of people I hate. Why? Also used to play for us, and he's just a massive cunt. All right. <laughs> He's fucking Batman. Yeah, well. We're going to uh, break shortly here, guys. It's going to be the one hour dinner break. Pat Stoyuve, thank you for the follow. Yeah, in a minute or two, the players will be taking a well deserved one hour here. Yeah. Definitely, uh, I'm feeling a little bit tired as well. Long old stint in the commentary booth today, and we've still got the business end to come. At least it's the most fun part that's to come, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, we're playing big for all the big money. Distributed. Yeah, like distributed? Lino times four. Luigi jamming here, small blind versus big blind. Yeah, nice aggressive take. Yep. Well, like it. kind of standard, but some people do different stuff with these kind of holdings. Yeah, just yeah, I don't uh, think it's everyone at this table that would find this, uh, yeah. find this jam, so... Nice one. He's been uh, having a good last hour. Yeah, definitely. Starting to put his foot on the gas and, uh, and get it done. Wow, what a swing. Yep. <laughs> so number four is going to be a biggest sale ever. Mm -hmm. Last German defender. I've had five minutes full time. Ian's gonna fold the king six here, surely? Uh huh. I think he's tanking for the break. <laughs> <laughs> he looks so drunk. Will kind of force himself to. He's gonna force himself to go up on the next blinds or something. Just doesn't want to play the next hand. Oh yeah, even that. <laughs> I think he said he needs to. He needs to, you know, relieve himself in the toilet or something like yeah. that. Yeah. When you drink large amounts of liquids, you. Uh, yeah. Doesn't want to play the small blind or uh, the big blind. Sorry. And get the the, the discounted rate. <laughs> Uh, 
He's made it to the break. <laughs> but yeah, it, it's kind of like you, wild. you really want to play the next hand in yeah. this spot to get the cheaper big blind, but exactly. uh, he has uh, other priorities here. Yeah, so uh, it does seem like a guy that's got a lot of money. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Luigi here has a very clear open. Chooses a limp. Pretty interesting. And Luigi goes with the limp oh. and flops bottom two gut shot for Oystein. Yeah, nothing. We definitely want to start betting right away here with the Jack Ten. Definitely a lot of candidates to target King X, Queen X, um, maybe some weak Ace X, mm. Nine Eight, um, and. Uh, it's gonna be it, Diamonds guys. As well, and that's gonna be it for one hour. So do uh, you know, keep yourself busy with something else, and meet us back here in about an hour's time for the final six in the main event here in Malta. See you soon. Ciao. This is Andreas with you, the last day of the festival. Today is Sunday, we have a lot of live action coming up, but we're leaving Malta soon. We're gonna tear this wall down, we're gonna replace it with Bratislava Stop, build everything up there in November. But first, we're recapping another day of the festival series. Yesterday, Saturday, we had the main event, play down to 16 final players that will now today battle it out for the crown. And we had the winner of the Hand on Mob Championship receiving his huge trophy from the Hand on Mob guys. And of course, also from the festival, we have his portrait drawn. And not only poker though, as you know with the festival series, it's a lot about everything else. The sportsbook tournament where players predicted seven games from Premier League and the Italian leagues. And we crowned the winner of that one as well, predicting five correct scores out of the seven ones. So congratulations to Sami for picking down that one. So just don't miss to follow all the live action today in our socials, in our blog, in our webpage, and on our Twitch channel, The Festival OG. Everything will be live and streamed down to the final table winner on the main event. So thank you for being with us here in Malta all week and looking forward to see you all in Bratislava in November. Cheers. We are live here at the Pertamaso Casino Malta 2023. My name is Anastasia and I'm joined by Beate from Norway, the winner of the ladies event. You just were crowned, you're a queen of all ladies in this room. Congratulations. Thank you so much. We're so happy you, you are the winner really because remember yesterday I was talking to you and I said, come on, let's do it. Hit the final table, smash it. And you're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it was, it was a lot of fun. It was so much fun. Oh, yeah, ladies, I, I was playing as well to support my ladies. We had so many giggles, so many, like, remember, if the man coming around just joining the poker area, hey, get out, yeah. it's women only. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it was a lot of fun, but it's not only that, it's poker. You need to be concentrated. You need to think a lot and be a little bit serious, I guess. Yeah, 
uh, absolutely. And uh, like thinking about the strategy and what to do now. And I was really short for a long time and I was just struggling to hang in there. I, I remember that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it was just like, so what do I do now to try to build up the stack again? Yeah, yeah but I did it. But you know, I was also playing, as I said, and at some point when I got busted from the tournament, I just said, I give up. I will never understand women logics. I just can't do this, really. Mm. It's so hard to play against women. You don't know what like what's going on in their heads. Yeah, I don't, I don't think about it like that. I think no. it's the same. You have to play the person, not the gender. True, but <laughs> sometimes they're calling you with such a crazy hands, which you think like a normal world, they would fall, but that's the latest event. <laughs> Yeah, well, everybody has to play their own game, I'm thinking. Absolutely, yes. And do you remember your last hand? Oh, I think uh, I had um, ace two, um, uh, suited, clubs, and... Uh, Very pretty hand. Yeah, it was a good hand. Especially when it's heads up, it's, it's like nuts. And uh, she didn't have much left, so um, I raised pre-flop and she called, and um, after the flop, I raced again and she went all in and uh, I called. And you done the right nobody, thing? Yeah, nobody hit anything on the table okay. and she had, I think it was the uh, king's queen or something. So. Okay, so ace high. Ace high. Hold it. Yes. And you're our queen. Oh my God. My ladies, my queens. I love this event. I love my women coming playing poker because at the moment it's like small community women, but it's growing, growing, growing. I love seeing women playing. I love being see, uh, seeing women hitting the final tables, you know, and uh, it's probably, is that your first big win or you were pretty good winning before tournaments? Well, actually, I had a third place in the Norwegian championship in 2019. In Dublin. Dublin. Yes. yes. <laughs> So it was good to finally take the first place. Yes, yeah. absolutely. And you deserve it. You're an amazing woman. You're an amazing player. Yes. Oh, we just had so many time together, you know, with all the ladies. And because we're such a small community here, we just know each other and we just love, we respect each other. And especially when we yesterday all met at the poker tables, only ladies, that was the yeah. best event, yeah. I think. Absolutely. So much fun. I'm definitely coming back. Yes. And see you in Bratislava in November. Hopefully, yes. <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much. And once again, congratulations, our queen. Thank you. <laughs>Hi everyone, Anastasia here from the Festival Series in Malta. Today we have a final day of the main event. The field was 617 players, only 16 left. And we have the cheap leader, Brandon. Hi, tell me, how was it for you? What is the feeling to be a cheap leader so far? It's really always nice to be a cheap leader. Yeah. And uh, I started day two with the second cheap leader. Okay. So I improved my stack all the way. And I think I was ship leader most of the day too. So I'm glad to keep that to the day three. Yes. And tell me, um, like it's, it's really long hours to play poker. It's really hard, like you're, you need a lot of patience. Tell me your secret. No, I can't tell you my secrets, <laughs> but I'm patient. I'm you patient. Are, you, you're very patient. Yes, uh, and I don't uh, play, don't set all my ships all in. Usually I don't. That's your do strategy. That. Yeah. If of course I have the nuts, then I do it. But I don't okay. do it a lot of times. So. Very good. Yeah. We're starting just now. We see dealers are settling in. Players all here. Yeah. 16 players left. Final table today. And I hope and I wish you all the best. Maybe maybe you will stay the cheap lead all the time and be a champion. Who knows? Yeah, I hope so. That will be very good. I wish you all the best. Thank you.
This is Andreas with you. The last day of the festival. Today is Sunday. We have a lot of live action coming up, but we're leaving Malta soon. We're going to tear this wall down. We're going to replace it with Bratislava Stop, build everything up there in November. But first, we're recapping another day of the festival series. Yesterday, Saturday, we had the main event play down to 16 final players that will now today battle it out for the crown. And we had the winner of the Hendon Mob Championship receiving his huge trophy from the Hendon Mob guys. And of course, also from the festival, we have his portrait drawn. And not only poker though, as you know with the festival series, it's a lot about everything else. The Sportsbook Tournament, where players predicted seven games from Premier League and the Italian leagues. And we crowned the winner of that one as well, predicting five correct scores out of the seven ones. So congratulations to Sami for picking down that one. So just don't miss to follow all the live action today in our socials, in our blog, in our webpage, and on our Twitch channel, The Festival OG. Everything will be live and streamed down to the final table winner on the main event. So thank you for being with us here in Malta all week and looking forward to see you all in Bratislava in November. Cheers. We are live here at the Pertamaso Casino Malta 2023. My name is Anastasia and I'm joined by Beate from Norway, the winner of the ladies event. You just were crowned, you're a queen of all ladies in this room. Congratulations. Thank you so much. We're so happy you, you are the winner really because remember yesterday I was talking to you and I said, come on, let's do it. Hit the final table, smash it. And you're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it was, it was a lot of fun. It was so much fun. Oh, yeah, ladies, I, I was playing as well to support my ladies. We had so many giggles, so many, like, remember, if the man coming around just joining the poker area, hey, get out, yeah. it's women only. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it was a lot of fun, but it's not only that, it's poker. You need to be concentrated, you need to think a lot and be a little bit serious, I guess. Yeah, uh, absolutely. And uh, like thinking about the strategy and what to do now. And I was really short for a long time and I was just struggling to hang in there. I, I remember that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it was just like, so what do I do now to try to build up the stack again? Yeah. yeah, but I did it. But you know, I was also playing, as I said, and at some point when I got boosted from the tournament, I just said, I give up. I will never understand women's logics. I just can't do this, really. Mm. It's so hard to play against women. You don't know what like what's going on in their heads. Yeah, I don't, th I don't think about it like that. I think no. it's the same. You have to play the person, not the gender. Yeah, true, but <laughs> sometimes they're calling you with such a crazy hands, which you think like a normal world, they would fall. But that's the latest event. <laughs> Yeah, well, everybody has to play their own game, I'm thinking. Absolutely, yes. And do you remember your last hand? <sighs> I think uh, I had um, Ace 2, um, uh, suited, clubs. and uh, Very pretty hand. Yeah, it was a good hand. Especially when it's heads up, it's, it's mm -hmm. like nuts. And uh, she didn't have much left, so um, I raised pre-flop and she called. And um, after the flop, I raced again and she went all in and uh, I called. And nobody, you done the right nobody, thing? Yeah, nobody hit anything on the table okay. and she had, I think it was the uh, king's queen or so something. So. Okay, so ace high. Ace high. Hold it. Yes. And you're our queen. Oh my God. My ladies, my queens. I love this event. I love my women coming playing poker because at the moment it's like small community women, but it's growing, growing, growing. I love seeing women playing. I love seeing, uh, seeing women hitting the final tables, you know, and uh, it's probably, is that your first big win or you were pretty good winning before tournaments? Well, actually, I had a third place in the Norwegian championship in 2019. In Dublin. Dublin. Yes. Yes. <laughs> so it was good to finally take the first place. Yes, yeah. absolutely. And you deserve it. You're an amazing woman. You're an amazing player. Yes. Oh, we just had so many time together, you know, with all the ladies. And because we're such a small community here, we just know each other and we just love, we respect each other. And especially when we yesterday all met at the poker tables on the ladies, that was the yeah. best event, yeah. I think. Absolutely. So much fun. I'm definitely coming back. Yes, and see you in Bratislava in November. Hopefully, yes. <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much. And once again, congratulations, Thank our you. queen. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you.
Hi everyone, Anastasia here from the Festival Series in Malta. Today we have a final day of the main event. The field was 617 players, only 16 left, and we have the cheap leader, Brendan. Hi, tell me, how was it for you? What is the feeling to be a cheap leader so far? It's always nice to be a cheap leader. Yeah. And uh, I started day two with the second cheap leader. So I improved my stack all the way. And I think I was ship leader most of the day too. So I'm glad to keep that to the day three. <laughs> and tell me, um, like it's, it's really long hours to play poker. It's really hard, like you're, you need a lot of patience. Tell me your secret. No, I can't tell you my secrets, <laughs> but I'm patient. I'm you patient. Are, you, you're very patient. Yes, uh, and I don't uh, play, don't set all my ships all in. Usually I don't. That's your do that. strategy. Yeah, if of course I have the nuts, then I do it. But I don't okay. do it a lot of times. So Very good. Yeah. we're starting just now. We see dealers are settling in. Players still here. Yeah. Sixteen players left. Final table today. And I hope and I wish you all the best. Maybe maybe you will stay the cheap lead all the time and be a champion. Who knows? Yeah, I hope so. That will be very good. I wish you all the best. Thank you. This is Andreas with you. The last day of the festival, today is Sunday. We have a lot of live action coming up, but we're leaving Malta soon. We're going to tear this wall down. We're going to replace it with Bratislava Stop, build everything up there in November. But first, we're recapping another day of the festival series. Yesterday, Saturday, we had the main event play down to 16 final players that will now today battle it out for the crown. And we had the winner of the Hendon Mob Championship receiving his huge trophy from the Hendon Mob guys. And of course, also from the festival, we have his portrait drawn. And not only poker though, as you know with the festival series, it's a lot about everything else. The sportsbook tournament where players predicted seven games from Premier League and Italian leagues and we crowned the winner of that one as well, predicting five correct scores out of the seven ones. So congratulations to Sami for picking down that one. So just don't miss to follow all the live action today in our socials, in our blog, in our webpage and on our Twitch channel, The Festival OG. Everything will be live and streamed down to the final table winner and the main event. So thank you for being with us here in Malta all week and looking forward to see you all in Bratislava in November. Cheers.
We are live here at the Pertamaso Casino Malta 2023. My name is Anastasia and I'm joined by Beate from Norway, the winner of the ladies' event. You just were crowned. You're a queen of all ladies in this room. Congratulations. Thank you so much. We're so happy you, you are the winner, really, because remember yesterday I was talking to you and I said, come on, let's do it. Hit the final table, smash it. And you're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it was, it was a lot of fun. It was so much fun. Oh, yeah, ladies, I was playing as well to support my ladies. We had so many giggles, so many... Like, remember, if the man coming around just joining the poker area, hey, get out! Yeah. It's women only! <laughs> yes. <laughs> it was a lot of fun, but it's not only that. It's poker. You need to be concentrated. You need to think a lot and be a little bit serious, I guess. Yeah, uh, absolutely. And uh, like thinking about the strategy and what to do now. And I was really short for a long time and I was just struggling to hang in there. I, I remember that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it was just like, so what do I do now to try to build up the stack again? Yeah. yeah, but I did it. But you know, I was also playing, as I said, and at some point when I got boosted from the tournament, I just said, I give up. I will never understand women's logics. I just can't do this, really. Mm. It's so hard to play against women. You don't know what, like, what's going on in their heads. Yeah, I don't, th I don't think about it like that. I think no. it's the same. You have to play the person, not the gender. True, but <laughs> sometimes they're calling you with such a crazy hands, which you think like a normal world, they would fall. But that's latest event. <laughs> Yeah, well, everybody has to play their own game, I'm thinking. Absolutely, yes. And do you remember your last hand? Uh, I think uh, I had um, Ace 2, um, uh, suited, clubs. and uh, Very pretty hand. Yeah, it was a good yeah. hand. Especially when it's heads up, it's, it's like nuts. And uh, she didn't have much left, so um, I raised pre-flop and she called. And um, after the flop, I raced again and she went all in and uh, I called. And nobody, you done the nobody, right thing? Yeah, nobody hit anything on the table okay. and she had, I think it was the uh, king's queen or so something. So. Okay, so ace high. Ace high. Hold it. Yes. And you're our queen. Oh my God. My ladies, my queens. I love this event. I love my women coming playing poker because at the moment it's like small community women, but it's growing, growing, growing. I love seeing women playing. I love seeing, uh, seeing women hitting the final tables, you know, and uh, it's probably, is that your first big win or you were pretty good winning before tournaments? Well, actually, I had a third place in the Norwegian Championship in 2019. In Dublin. Dublin. Yes. yes. <laughs> So it was good to finally take the first place. Yes, yeah. absolutely. And you deserve it. You're an amazing woman. You're an amazing player. Yes. Oh, we just had so many time together, you know, with all the ladies. And because we're such a small community here, we just know each other and we just love, we respect each other. And especially when we yesterday all met at the poker tables, only ladies, that was the yeah. best event, yeah. I think. Absolutely. So much fun. I'm definitely coming back. Yes. And see you in Bratislava in November. Hopefully, yes. Yeah. Thank you so much. And once again, congratulations, Thank our you. queen. Thank you. <laughs>Hi everyone, Anastasia here from the Festival Series in Malta. Today we have a final day of the main event. The field was 617 players, only 16 left. And we have the cheap leader, Brandon. Hi, tell me, how was it for you? What is the feeling to be a cheap leader so far? It's very, always nice to be a cheap leader. Yeah. And uh, I started day two with the second cheap leader. Okay. So I improved my stack all the way. And I think I was ship leader most of the day too. So I'm glad to keep that to the day three. Yes. And tell me, um, like it's, it's really long hours to play poker. It's really hard, like you're, you need a lot of patience. Tell me your secret. No, I can't tell you my secrets, <laughs> but I'm patient. I'm you are, patient. You, you're very patient. Yes, uh, and I don't uh, play, don't set all my ships all in. Usually I don't. That's your do strategy. That. Yeah. If of course I have the nuts, then I do it, but I don't okay. do it a lot of times. So. Very good. 
Yeah. We're starting just now. We see dealers are settling in. Players are here. Yeah. 16 players left. Final table today. And I hope and I wish you all the best. Maybe, maybe you will stay the cheap lead all the time and be a champion. Who knows? Yeah, I hope so. That will be very good. I wish you all the best. Thank you. This is Andreas with you. The last day of the festival, today is Sunday. We have a lot of live action coming up, but we're leaving Malta soon. We're going to tear this wall down. We're going to replace it with Bratislava Stop, build everything up there in November. But first, we're recapping another day of the festival series. Yesterday, Saturday, we had the main event play down to 16 final players that will now today battle it out for the crown. And we had the winner of the Hand on Mob Championship receiving his huge trophy from the Hand on Mob guys. And of course, also from the festival, we have his portraits drawn and not only poker though as you know with the festival series it's a lot about everything else the sportsbook tournament where players predicted seven games from premier league and the italian leagues and we crowned the winner of that one as well predicting five correct scores out of the seven ones so congratulations to sami for picking down that one so just don't miss to follow all the live action today in our socials in our blog in our web page and on our twitch channel the festival og everything will be live and streamed down to the final table winner on the main event so thank you for being with us here in malta all week and looking forward to see you all in bratislava in november cheers We're live here at the Partamaso Casino Malta 2023. My name is Anastasia and I'm joined by Beate from Norway, the winner of the ladies event. You just were crowned, you're a queen of all ladies in this room. Congratulations. Thank you so much. We're so happy you, you are the winner really because remember yesterday I was talking to you and I said, come on, let's do it. Hit the final table, smash it. And you're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it was, it was a lot of fun. It was so much fun. Oh, yeah, ladies. I was playing as well to support my ladies. We had so many giggles, so many... Like, remember, if the man coming around just joining the poker area, hey, get out! Yeah. It's women only! <laughs> yes. <laughs> it was a lot of fun, but it's not only that. It's poker. You need to be concentrated. You need to think a lot and be a little bit serious, I guess. Yeah, uh, absolutely. And uh, like thinking about the strategy and what to do now. And I was really short for a long time and I was just struggling to hang in there. I, I remember that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it was just like, so what do I do now to try to build up the stack again? Yeah. yeah, but I did it. But you know, I was also playing, as I said, and at some point when I got busted from the tournament, I just said, I give up. I will never understand women logics. I just can't do this, really. Mm. It's so hard to play against women. You don't know what like what's going on in their heads. Yeah, I don't, I don't think about it like that. I think no. it's the same. You have to play the person, not the gender. True, but <laughs> sometimes <laughs> they're calling you with such a crazy hands, which you think like a normal world, they would fall. But that's latest event. <laughs> Yeah, well, everybody has to play their own game, I'm thinking. Absolutely, yes. And do you remember your last hand? Uh, I think uh, I had um, ace two, um, uh, suited, clubs, and... Uh, Very pretty hand. Yeah, it was a good yeah. hand. Especially when it's heads up, it's, it's like nuts. And uh, she didn't have much left, so um, I raised pre-flop and she called, and um, after the flop, I raced again and she went all in and uh, I called. And nobody, you done the right nobody, thing? Yeah, nobody hit anything on the table okay. and she had, I think it was the uh, king's queen or something. So. Okay, so ace high? Ace high. Hold it. Yes. And you're our queen. Oh my god. My ladies, my queens. I love this event. I love my women coming playing poker because at the moment it's like small community women, but it's growing, growing, growing. I love seeing women playing. I love being see, uh, seeing women hitting the final tables, you know, and uh, it's probably, is that your first big win or you were pretty good winning before tournaments? Well, actually, I had a third place in the Norwegian Championship in 2019. In Dublin. 
Exactly. Yes. yes. <laughs> So it was good to finally take the first place. Yes, yeah. absolutely. And you deserve it. You're an amazing woman. You're an amazing player. Yes. Oh, we just had so many time together, you know, with all the ladies. And because we're such a small community here, we just know each other and we just love, we respect each other. And especially when we yesterday all met at the poker tables, only ladies, that was the best event, yeah. I think. Absolutely. So much fun. I'm definitely coming back. Yes. And see you in Bratislava in November. Hopefully, yes. yes. Yeah. Thank you so much. And once again, congratulations, our queen. Thank you. <laughs>Hi everyone, Anastasia here from the Festival Series in Malta. Today we have a final day of the main event. The field was 617 players, only 16 left, and we have the cheap leader, Brandon. Hi, tell me, how was it for you? What is the feeling to be a cheap leader so far? It's really always nice to be a cheap leader. Yeah. And uh, I started day two with the second cheap leader. Okay. So I improved my stack all the way. And I think I was ship leader most of the day too. So I'm glad to keep that to the day three. Yes. And tell me, um, like it's, it's really long hours to play poker. It's really hard. Like you're, you need a lot of patience. Tell me your secret. No, I can't tell you my secrets, <laughs> but I'm patient. I'm you are, patient. You, you're very patient. Yes. Uh, and I don't uh, play, don't set all my ships all in. Usually I don't. That's your do that. strategy. Yeah. If of course I have the nuts, then I do it. But I don't okay. do it a lot of times. So. Yeah. We're starting just now. We see dealers are settling in. Players all here. Yeah. 16 players left. Final table today. And I hope and I wish you all the best. Maybe maybe you will stay the cheap lead all the time and be a champion. Who knows? Yeah, I hope so. That will be very good. I wish you all the best. Thank you.
This is Andreas with you, the last day of the festival. Today is Sunday. We have a lot of live action coming up, but we're leaving Malta soon. We're going to tear this wall down. We're going to replace it with Bratislava Stop, build everything up there in November. But first, we're recapping another day of the festival series. Yesterday, Saturday, we had the main event, play down to 16 final players that will now today battle it out for the crown. And we had the winner of the Handle Mob Championship receiving his huge trophy from the Handle Mob guys. And of course, also from the festival, we have his portrait drawn. And not only poker though, as you know with the festival series, it's a lot about everything else. The sportsbook tournament where players predicted seven games from Premier League and the Italian leagues. And we crowned the winner of that one as well, predicting five correct scores out of the seven ones. So congratulations to Sami for picking down that one. So just don't miss to follow all the live action today in our socials, in our blog, in our webpage, and on our Twitch channel, The Festival OG. Everything will be live and streamed down to the final table winner and the main event. So thank you for being with us here in Malta all week and looking forward to see you all in Bratislava in November. Cheers. We are live here at the Partomaso Casino Malta 2023. My name is Anastasia and I'm joined by Beate from Norway, the winner of the ladies event. You just were crowned, you're a queen of all ladies in this room. Congratulations. Thank you so much. We're so happy you, you are the winner really because remember yesterday I was talking to you and I said, come on, let's do it. Hit the final table, smash it. And you're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it was, it was a lot of fun. It was so much fun. Oh, yeah, ladies, I, I was playing as well to support my ladies. We had so many giggles, so many, like, remember, if the man coming around just joining the poker area, hey, get out, yeah. it's women only. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it was a lot of fun, but it's not only that, it's poker. You need to be concentrated. You need to think a lot and be a little bit serious, I guess. Yeah. Uh, absolutely and uh, like thinking about the strategy and what to do now and I was really short for a long time and I was just struggling to hang in there I, I remember that yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it was just like so what do I do now to try to build up the stack again? Yeah. yeah, but I did it. But you know, I was also playing, as I said, and at some point when I got busted from the tournament, I just said, I give up. I will never understand women logics. I just can't do this, really. Mm. It's so hard to play against women. You don't know what like what's going on in their heads. Yeah, I don't, I don't think about it like that. I think no. it's the same. You have to play the person, not the gender. True, but <laughs> sometimes they're calling you with such a crazy hands, which you think like a normal world, they would fall, but that's latest event. <laughs> Yeah, well, everybody has to play their own game, I'm thinking. Absolutely, yes. And do you remember your last hand? Uh, I think uh, I had um, ace two, um, uh, suited, clubs, and... Uh, Very pretty hand. Yeah, it was a good hand. Especially when it's heads up, it's, it's like nuts. And uh, she didn't have much left, so um, I raised pre-flop and she called, and um, after the flop, I raced again and she went all in and uh, I called. And you done the right nobody, thing? Yeah, nobody hit anything on the table okay. and she had, I think it was the uh, king's queen or something. So. Okay, so ace high. Ace high. Hold it. Yes. And you're our queen. Oh my God. My ladies, my queens. I love this event. I love my women coming playing poker because at the moment it's like small community women, but it's growing, growing, growing. I love seeing women playing. I love being see, uh, seeing women hitting the final tables, you know, and uh, it's probably, is that your first big win or you were pretty good winning before tournaments? Well, actually, I had a third place in the Norwegian championship in 2019. In Dublin. Dublin. Yes. yes. <laughs> So it was good to finally take the first place. Yes, yeah. absolutely. And you deserve it. You're an amazing woman. You're an amazing player. Yes. Oh, we just had so many time together, you know, with all the ladies. And because we're such a small community here, we just know each other and we just love, we respect each other. And especially when we yesterday all met at the poker tables, only ladies, that was the yeah. best event, yeah. I think. Absolutely. So much fun. I'm definitely coming back. Yes. And see you in Bratislava in November. Hopefully, yes. <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much. And once again, congratulations, our queen. Thank you. <laughs>
Hi everyone, Anastasia here from the Festival Series in Malta. Today we have a final day of the main event. The field was 617 players, only 16 left, and we have the cheap leader, Brandon. Hi, tell me, how was it for you? What is the feeling to be a cheap leader so far? It's very, always nice to be a cheap leader. Yeah. And uh, I started day two with the second cheap leader. Okay. So I improved my stack all the way. And I think I was ship leader most of the day too. So I'm glad to keep that to the day three. Yes. And tell me, um, like it's, it's really long hours to play poker. It's really hard. Like you're, you need a lot of patience. Tell me your secret. No, I can't tell you my secrets, <laughs> but I'm patient. I'm you are, patient. You, you're very patient. Yes. Uh, and I don't uh, play, don't set all my ships all in. Usually I don't. That's your do that. strategy. Yeah. If of course I have the nuts, then I do it. But I don't okay. do it a lot of times. So. Very good. Yeah. We're starting just now. We see dealers are settling in. Players all here. Sixteen players left. Final table today. And I hope and I wish you all the best. Maybe maybe you will stay the cheap lead all the time and be a champion. Who knows? Yeah, I hope so. That will be very good. I wish you all the best. Thank you. This is Andreas with you, the last day of the festival. Today is Sunday, we have a lot of live action coming up, but we're leaving Malta soon. We're gonna tear this wall down, we're gonna replace it with Bratislava Stop, build everything up there in November. But first, we're recapping another day of the festival series. Yesterday, Saturday, we had the main event play down to 16 final players that will now today battle it out for the crown. And we had the winner of the Hendon Mob Championship receiving his huge trophy from the Hendon Mob guys. And of course, also from the festival, we have his portrait drawn. And not only poker though, as you know with the festival series, it's a lot about everything else. The sportsbook tournament where players predicted seven games from Premier League and the Italian leagues. And we crowned the winner of that one as well, predicting five correct scores out of the seven ones. So congratulations to Sami for picking down that one. So just don't miss to follow all the live action today in our socials, in our blog, in our webpage, and on our Twitch channel, The Festival OG. Everything will be live and streamed down to the final table winner on the main event. So thank you for being with us here in Malta all week and looking forward to see you all in Bratislava in November. Cheers. We're live here at the Pertamaso Casino Malta 2023. My name is Anastasia and I'm joined by Beate from Norway, the winner of the ladies' event. You just were crowned. You're a queen of all ladies <laughs> in this room. Congratulations. Thank you so much. We're it's so happy you, you are the winner, really, because remember yesterday I was talking to you and I said, come on, let's do it. Hit the final table, smash it. And you're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it was, it was a lot of fun. It was so much fun. Oh, yeah, ladies, I was playing as well to support my ladies. We had so many giggles, so many, like, remember, if the man coming around just joining the poker area, hey, get out, yeah. it's women only. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it was a lot of fun, but it's not only that, it's poker. You need to be concentrated, you need to think a lot and be a little bit serious, I guess. Yeah, uh, absolutely. And uh, like thinking about the strategy and what to do now. And I was really short for a long time and I was just struggling to hang in there. I, I remember that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it was just like, so what do I do now to try to build up the stack again? Yeah. yeah, but I did it. But you know, I was also playing, as I said, and at some point when I got boosted from the tournament, I just said, I give up. I will never understand women logics. I just can't do this, really. Mm. It's so hard to play against women. You don't know what, like, what's going on in their heads. Yeah, I don't, th I don't think about it like that. I think no. it's the same. You have to play the person, not the gender. True, but <laughs> sometimes they're calling you with such a crazy hands, which you think like a normal world, they would fall. But that's latest event. <laughs> Yeah, well, everybody has to play their own game, I'm thinking. Absolutely, yes. And do you remember your last hand? 
I think uh, I had um, Ace 2 um, uh, suited clubs and uh, very pretty hand. Yeah, it was a good yeah. hand. Especially when it's heads up, it's, it's like nuts. And uh, she didn't have much left, so um, I raised pre-flop and she called. And um, after the flop, I raised again and she went all in and uh, I called. And nobody, you done the right nobody, thing? Yeah, nobody hit anything on the table. Okay. And she had, I think it was the uh, king's queen or something. So. Okay, so ace high. Ace high. Hold it. Yes. And you're our queen. Oh my God. My ladies, my queens, I love this event. I love my women coming playing poker because at the moment it's like small community women, but it's growing, growing, growing. I love seeing women playing. I love being see, uh, seeing women hitting the final tables, you know, and uh, it's probably, is that your first big win or you were pretty good winning before tournaments? Well, actually, I had a third place in the Norwegian championship in 2019. In Dublin. Dublin. Yes. Yes. <laughs> so it was good to finally take the first place. Yes, yeah. absolutely. And you deserve it. You're an amazing woman. You're an amazing player. Yes. Oh, we just had so many time together, you know, with all the ladies. And because we're such a small community here, we just know each other and we just love, we respect each other. And especially when we yesterday all met at the poker tables, only ladies, that was the yeah. best event, yeah. I think. Absolutely. So much fun. I'm definitely coming back. Yes, and see you in Bratislava in November. Hopefully, yes. <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much. And once again, congratulations, our queen. <laughs>
This is Andreas with you, the last day of the festival. Today is Sunday. We have a lot of live action coming up, but we're leaving Malta soon. We're going to tear this wall down. We're going to replace it with Bratislava Stop, build everything up there in November. But first, we're recapping another day of the festival series. Yesterday, Saturday, we had the main event play down to 16 final players that will now today battle it out for the crown. And we had the winner of the Handle Mob Championship receiving his huge trophy from the Handle Mob guys. And of course, also from the festival, we have his portraits drawn and not only poker though as you know with the festival series it's a lot about everything else the sports book tournament where players predicted seven games from premier league and the italian leagues and we crowned the winner of that one as well predicting five correct scores out of the seven ones so congratulations to sami for picking down that one so just don't miss to follow all the live action today in our socials in our blog in our web page and on our twitch channel the festival og everything will be live and streamed down to the final table winner on the main event so thank you for being with us here in malta all week and looking forward to see you all in bratislava in november cheers We are live here at the Pertamaso Casino Malta 2023. My name is Anastasia and I'm joined by Beate from Norway, the winner of the ladies event. You just were crowned, you're a queen of all ladies in this room. Congratulations. Thank you so much. We're so happy you, you are the winner really because remember yesterday I was talking to you and I said, come on, let's do it. Hit the final table, smash it. And you're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it was, it was a lot of fun. It was so much fun. Oh yeah, ladies, I was playing as well to support my ladies. We had so many giggles, so many, like, remember, if the man coming around just joining the poker area, hey, get out, yeah. it's women only. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it was a lot of fun, but it's not only that, it's poker. You need to be concentrated. You need to think a lot and be a little bit serious, I guess. Yeah, uh, absolutely. And uh, like thinking about the strategy and what to do now. And I was really short for a long time and I was just struggling to hang in there. I, I remember that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it was just like, so what do I do now to try to build up the stack again? Yeah. yeah, but I did it. But you know, I was also playing, as I said, and at some point when I got busted from the tournament, I just said, I give up. I will never understand women logics. I just can't do this, really. Mm. It's so hard to play against women. You don't know what like what's going on in their heads. Yeah, I don't, I don't think about it like that. I think no. it's the same. You have to play the person, not the gender. True, but <laughs> sometimes <laughs> they're calling you with such a crazy hands, which you think like a normal world, they would fall. But that's latest event. <laughs> Yeah, well, everybody has to play their own game, I'm thinking. Absolutely, yes. And do you remember your last hand? Uh, I think uh, I had um, ace two, um, uh, suited, clubs, and... Uh, Very pretty hand. Yeah, it was a good hand. Especially when it's heads up, it's, it's like nuts. And uh, she didn't have much left, so um, I raised pre-flop and she called, and um, after the flop, I raced again and she went all in and uh, I called. And nobody, you done the right nobody, thing? Yeah, nobody hit anything on the table okay. and she had, I think it was the uh, king's queen or something. So. Okay, so ace high? Ace high. Hold it. Yes. And you're our queen. Oh my God. My ladies, my queens. I love this event. I love my women coming playing poker because at the moment it's like small community women, but it's growing, growing, growing. I love seeing women playing. I love being see, uh, seeing women hitting the final tables, you know, and uh, it's probably, is that your first big win or you were pretty good winning before tournaments? Well, actually, I had a third place in the Norwegian championship in 2019. In Dublin. Dublin. Yes. yes. <laughs> So it was good to finally take the first place. Yes, yeah. absolutely. And you deserve it. You're an amazing woman. You're an amazing player. Yes. Oh, we just had so many time together, you know, with all the ladies. And because we're such a small community here, we just know each other and we just love, we respect each other. And especially when we yesterday all met at the poker tables, only ladies, that was the yeah. best event, yeah. I think. Absolutely. So much fun. I'm definitely coming back. Yes. And see you in Bratislava in November. Hopefully, yes. <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much. And once again, congratulations, our queen. <laughs> Thank you. 
Hi everyone, Anastasia here from the Festival Series in Malta. Today we have a final day of the main event. The field was 617 players, only 16 left, and we have the cheap leader, Brendan. Hi, tell me, how was it for you? What is the feeling to be a cheap leader so far? It's always nice to be a cheap leader. Yeah. And uh, I started day two with the second cheap leader. So I improved my stack all the way. And I think I was ship leader most of the day too. So I'm glad to keep that to the day three. Yes. And tell me, um, like it's, it's really long hours to play poker. It's really hard, like you're, you need a lot of patience. Tell me your secret. No, I can't tell you my secrets, <laughs> but I'm patient. I'm you are, patient. You, you're very patient. Yes, uh, and I don't uh, play, don't set all my ships all in. Usually I don't. That's your do that. strategy. Yeah. If of course I have the nuts, then I do it. But I don't okay. do it a lot of time. So. Very good. Yeah. We're starting just now. We see dealers are settling in. Players all here. Yeah. 16 players left. Final table today. And I hope and I wish you all the best. Maybe maybe you will stay the cheap lead all the time and be a champion. Who knows? Yeah, I hope so. That's will really be very good. I wish you all the best. Thank you. This is Andreas with you, the last day of the festival, today is Sunday, we have a lot of live action coming up, but we're leaving Malta soon, we're going to tear this wall down, we're going to replace it with Bratislava Stop, build everything up there in November, but first we're recapping another day of the festival series, yesterday, Saturday, we had the main event, play down to 16 final players that will now today battle it out for the crown, and we had the winner of the Hand on Mob Championship receiving his huge trophy from the Hand on Mob guys, and of course also from the festival we have his portrait drawn and not only poker though as you know with the festival series it's a lot about everything else the sports book tournament where players predicted seven games from premier league and the italian leagues and we crowned the winner of that one as well predicting five correct scores out of the seven ones so congratulations to sami for picking down that one so just don't miss to follow all the live action today in our socials in our blog in our web page and on our twitch channel the festival og everything will be live and streamed down to the final table winner and the main event so thank you for being with us here in malta all week and looking forward to see you all in bratislava in november cheers We're live here at the Pertamaso Casino Malta 2023. My name is Anastasia and I'm joined by Beate from Norway, the winner of the ladies' event. You just were crowned. You're a queen of all ladies <laughs> in this room. Congratulations. Thank you so much. We're so happy you, you are the winner, really, because remember yesterday I was talking to you and I said, come on, let's do it. Hit the final table, smash it. And you're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it was, it was a lot of fun. It was so much fun. Oh, yeah, ladies, I was playing as well to support my ladies. We had so many giggles, so many, like, remember, if the man coming around just joining the poker area, hey, get out, yeah. it's women only. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it was a lot of fun, but it's not only that, it's poker. You need to be concentrated, you need to think a lot and be a little bit serious, I guess. Yeah, uh, absolutely. And uh, like thinking about the strategy and what to do now. And I was really short for a long time and I was just struggling to hang in there. I, I remember that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it was just like, so what do I do now to try to build up the stack again? Yeah. yeah, but I did it. But you know, I was also playing, as I said, and at some point when I got busted from the tournament, I just said, I give up. I will never understand women logics. I just can't do this, really. Mm -hmm. It's so hard to play against women. You don't know what like what's going on in their heads. Yeah, I don't, th I don't think about it like that. I think no. it's the same. You have to play the person, not the gender. True, but <laughs> sometimes they're calling you with such a crazy hands, which you think like a normal world, they would fall. But that's latest event. <laughs> Yeah, well, everybody has to play their own game, I'm thinking. Absolutely, yes. And do you remember your last hand? 
I think uh, I had um, Ace 2 um, uh, suited clubs and uh, very pretty hand. Yeah, it was a good yeah. hand. Especially when it's heads up, it's, it's mm -hmm. like nuts. And uh, she didn't have much left, so um, I raised pre-flop and she called. And um, after the flop, I raised again and she went all in and uh, I called. And nobody, you done the right nobody, thing? Yeah, nobody hit anything on the table. Okay. And she had, I think it was the uh, king's queen or something. So. Okay, so ace high. Ace high. Hold it. Yes. And you're our queen. Oh my God. My ladies, my queens, I love this event. I love my women coming playing poker because at the moment it's like small community women, but it's growing, growing, growing. I love seeing women playing. I love being see, uh, seeing women hitting the final tables, you know, and uh, it's probably, is that your first big win or you were pretty good winning before tournaments? Well, actually, I had a third place in the Norwegian championship in 2019. In Dublin. Dublin. Yes. Yes. <laughs> so it was good to finally take the first place. Yes, yeah. absolutely. And you deserve it. You're an amazing woman. You're an amazing player. Yes. Oh, we just had so many time together, you know, with all the ladies. And because we're such a small community here, we just know each other and we just love, we respect each other. And especially when we yesterday all met at the poker tables, only ladies, that was the yeah. best event, yeah. I think. Absolutely. So much fun. I'm definitely coming back. Yes, and see you in Bratislava in November. Hopefully, yes. <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much. And once again, congratulations, Thank our you. queen. Thank you. <laughs>back to the main event of the festival series dinner break is over hopefully the players are well fed and ready to uh, 
Play for 60,700 euros. Right now they're guaranteed just above 10k, but uh, they want to stick that, that amount, all of them. And we'll start right out with action as Luigi opens here in the cutoff, but uh, Andreas has pocket kings on the button. I'll imagine we'll see him jam his 10 big lines in here. He does go ahead and shove. And I don't think Luigi can uh, do much about that. and a little nice chipper from Andreas, of course he would not have minded the call. <laughs> Interview is kind of awkward. Eric Lund is an absolute legend. Thank you so much up to Bad Poco for the raid, we do appreciate you, one of our uh, Partners here at the festival. And Total Lucia and Blue Devil, thank you so much for the follows. Awesome to see you guys all liking what you see. Do drop a follow if you are happy with this content. There's going to be way more where it comes from. Leading up to the festival in Bratislava in November, there's uh, as always going to be uh, weekly live streams of the online qualifiers with our partners. I have uh, been doing quite a lot of those this year, so uh, you will probably see my face in there. And uh, of course we're going to be doing the full stream from Bratislava, as usual, in November. And we have George coming back here. Welcome, sir. Ooh, just got into a really weird spot in the, uh, in the cash games that I had to sort out for a little while, where I've announced a bluff, Oof. shown the bluff, yeah, and the guy calls and mucks and in five card where he can never have a worse hand. So I ended up because I it's basically like a jack high board with three hearts. Yeah, I've got the queen of hearts with two pair, right? And yeah. he bets multi way. I check call. Uh, turn is the ace of hearts. So I know he's not going to bet many king high flushes multi way, and I've got the queen of heart blocker. So I lead as a bluff. And he calls, and the river's the king of hearts, so I've now got the nut flush blocker. Yeah. And uh, I, he I, I lead all in, he calls, I announce queen, show my hand, and, and he mucks. And I've just got the bottom two pair, so. You announce queen, uh, like, for fun-ish? No, as in, I've just got the queen, I said oh, it's yeah, queen yeah. of hearts. I didn't say queen high flush. Yeah, so, and then he was, like, a bit confused and... I just gave him half of his river call back. I think that was... Very generous. Yeah, yeah. So we won? So, yeah, so I think probably even, because I lost a big part with the set versus the straight. Yeah, that is kind of... But, but, but like, again, it's a mistake on his end, so I think it's very generous of you. Yeah, Optibet Poker. <laughs> yeah, they came in with nice. the raid. Cheers, guys. One of our partners. And there. Yeah, thank you here for getting me in on the golf action. Yeah, yeah. Very good. <laughs> You've got this some guy is minus three, and the other guy is plus one. Plus one, and we yeah, we got all sorts of slips here. Doesn't look like a guy uh, Scotty Scheffler is going to win, though. No, started with three pars, and Brooks is already one under. Yeah. What oh, no. What about Hovland? Hovland? No it's good. Uh, very early days, of course. Yep. Let's see. Who's well, missing a uh, run? Patrick's making a run, maybe he wins it. Yeah, wouldn't be bad. Should get some sort of bonus if we have the, <laughs> have the heads up and he ends up winning it from miles away. Yeah, yeah, it yeah. should be like a double up. Ooh. No. It's both a pleasure betting against you and with you this week. <laughs> <laughs> Just wages from all round. <laughs> uh, Luigi with the King 10. On 20k big blind, so uh, shit's starting to get real. Yeah, you, uh, they are. My uh, they are gonna get the 
quite shallow because like we literally have a halibust out in one and a half hours play. Mm -hmm. So naturally the blinds will catch up. Still very balanced stack still. Yeah, Andreas here with the hijack with uh, a pretty clean uh, bluff if he were to go for like the small three bet, but does jam. Is actually ahead of Luigi here, who's I think he deems to be uh, a very competent opponent, yeah. but I still think that this is just a little bit too out of line, personally. Yeah, um, I'd tend it, to agree. For yeah, me, it would be better. Get we we, we want to maybe balance something with our with our aces, small three bet. So it could be quite nice to go like 450 or or 500. Yeah, I definitely agree with that. And uh, our guy Balash just waking up with the absolute nutties here. Just gonna have a little, little pause and then jam all of his chips in there, I'd assume. Yeah, we do have six players left, guaranteed 10.95k. Yeah. The bigger Hungarian guy here has really found some huge hands yeah. when he needed to, right? In, insane uh, how well he's run when uh, people have been now he's gonna need to find quite aggressive. Shield. It's like you again. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but he he's still got a lot of equity here with the H3. 38%, I mean, it could be worse. Most definitely. It's a huge putt. Oh, there's a three on the flop as well. Backdoor spades though for the queens. Ace of spades for a little sweat. Uh, not the yeah, nine. That's, that's unfortunate very, very for uh, our man Andreas. Had the pleasure to play some cash games with him. Nice guy. The nine's and the yeah, the nine is <laughs> coming again for him. Well, they saved, for Andreas. They saved really, his really bacon nice before. Lad. But uh, ace three, unfortunately, can't do it. Swedish hope here. I just had a 10 minute chat with him here in the dinner break and. Uh, he let me know he had a really, really good experience, happy with uh, his performance and yep. how it's all been, so... Uh, good. And what, kind of going into that? Really, really good uh, guy, just yeah. having a good time down here. Mm -hmm. That he's had plenty of time to play a lot of poker and uh, mm -hmm. have a lot of out-of-line fun too this week. Yeah, is he, uh, is he based in Sweden or Malta? Uh, yeah, so he's a former Malta resident okay. and uh, moved back to Stockholm. Yeah. So, uh, might be a guy we can uh, catch for a couple of beers tonight since he just won uh, 11k. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he'll buy a round. <laughs> exactly. Great run from him. 11k in the back pocket. He should be too, he should be pretty happy with that. Most definitely. Bit interested in that cash game spot. Like, do you think most people would just be vultures in that spot and say, "Too bad, bro." Uh, yeah, I mean, if it was one of the Italian uh, <laughs> nets, I'm definitely taking the money. There, yeah, one hundred percent. They don't call me with his hands, so you know, so it's one of them. <laughs> he didn't have nuts, so no, exactly. <laughs> he be an he had top break. certain. He was, I think, he was kind of like a bit overawed by the situation a little bit. Yeah. It, was, it was a pretty big part of that stage. Yeah, it must um, have been like around it. Yeah, it was like a one k part, I guess. Yeah. Um, Yeah, so you do see people that sort of play 2-2, two, two, sit with 2-2, two, 2-300, two, and I think yeah, if you, if you run it up a little right, bit, and yeah, it's, a, it's a kind of pot size I'm quite used to, so... But I remember when I was getting started, you know, like these th these situations, it's very easy to make a mistake if you get a bit flustered, and... I kind of tried that actually against you in, the, in our talent stuff, where I ran it up in from like 200 in the, our pineapple game. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. And all of a sudden we were all in, in like a 2k putt. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Free flop. <laughs> and I had aces against your sevens. I'm like, uh, George, can we please run twice? <laughs> you win the first board, and on the second board you like, you like, you flop really well, and I'm just like, oh my oh, god. Oh no, here we go. <laughs> it's did, getting did messy. Did manage to find a lucky ch uh, chop though. <laughs> <laughs> it's getting messy. <laughs> yeah. That's definitely a... Uh, one of the larger putts I've played. Yeah, one for the highlight reel. Just being instantly dead on the first one and <laughs> playing yeah. for half with, with the nuts. <laughs> but this drunk British lad sitting with 10k on a 2 2 game. <laughs> <Just> <laughs> How dare they? Ordering drinks from the table. It was a really, really good night, though. Yeah, it was. That was one of the best games I've ever played.
with uh, Martin and that as well. Yeah, right? exactly, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. The whole group. <laughs> so yeah, we are down to five now, and they will be guaranteed like fourteen point six. Fourteen point six k. Yeah. Sorry. So uh, oh yeah, we're yeah, it's on there. It's on there. So we have a pay jump of 6k for the next play out. It's uh, starting to get serious, this starting George. To get really serious. 12 uh, buy-ins between them and the Norwegian contingent still there, fighting on. Both of them? Mm-hmm. Oh, can, is that a group? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Pardon. <laughs> <laughs> but Ballas is a massive chip leader now. It is almost 7 million after winning that massive pad. Mm -hmm. Luigi is probably going to fancy himself an open here. Definitely good enough hand. Ooh, Justin. Lovely. Him somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> Steen in the big blind. King, queen off. Oh, Oystein's gonna call out of the small blind. That's a bit wide. Yeah, the ace eight. A good candidate for sometimes three bet bluffing and then Definitely. just the rest of the time allowing it to go. I think with the uh, oh, Stian does uh, jam it in there for 25 blinds. Bit aggressive with the king queen offsuit, but uh, yeah, just uh, when, when you've got that with the overcall, I think you've got that dodgy uh, cold call, which is yeah. unlikely to ever be a hand that can actually call it off. Um, yeah, this kind of cool versus the guy that opens that is going to open like over 50% of the hands on the button there probably. It's just the worst when you open and a, and a guy like cold calls. Yeah. And you just know the jam is because of that. And you're like, dude, you just yeah, cost exactly. me. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Just cost me money. Yeah. yeah. But I think, no, King Queen is kind of a nice one there. Yeah. Again, just unblocking those, uh, the ASX hands that folds and pretty reasonable. Yeah, I, I think so too with, with the overcall. Without it, I think it gets a bit dicey. But a yeah. uh, uh, well found spot by C in there. I think uh, if we see guys like uh, our Slovakian guy and uh, maybe Luigi go deep, we could have a tournament where they play until conclusion because they have both like played for even more money than uh, than, sub than there's up top here. You mean the Hungarian, sorry? Yeah, Hungarian, yeah, yeah, sorry. Yeah. Hungarian and Luigi yeah. are definitely the two most decorated players. <laughs> Dario needs to sort his energy out a little bit. He's uh, looking a little bit too frustrated. and. Yeah. You don't want to wear that on your sleeve. It's very draining for yourself if if you're constantly telling yourself like uh, uh, the not such positive internal thoughts, right? God, oh, I'm just not getting any cards. Oh, this is brutal, and that is. Yeah, it just gets like uh, self-enforcing uh, negativity. Mm -hmm. Oh, Stian limping the ace queen here, right into the ace king of Balash. This could get dicey. Yeah. I think. When Balas raises, Dion is very likely Stian to put it on there. Dion is going to be shoving here, yeah. I believe, and Balas has really been a hell of a card rack, hasn't yeah, he? Yeah, um, it's absolutely insane. Like, yeah, just what getting a setup this all is. the huge hands in all the huge spots, and you know, getting queens when it's gone raised three bet, and neither of them have much. Uh, Dream spot for him. Wow, he raised to 520k. Yeah, uh, yeah, that's a huge raise. Massive. Wow. How good does this guy run, man? <laughs> yeah, he still manages to get action off the yeah, big, yeah. that big. See him limping absolute tub of range. Is he not cold? He said, I think it's a call, I have to. Giving him a bit of a nip roll here now as well. It's just the full works from Ballas. What's going on? Okay, let's stick it in there. Wow, this is uh Oh, uh, he must have Stian must have really thought that he had the uh had the big one there. Quite insane setup here for like so much money. Yep. And this Dian is in trouble. He's gonna need a queen here. Ooh, oh, king high He's now. Dian needing push. the backdoor hearts or straight. Uh -oh. Whoa! Ten of hearts on the turn. Jack or a, da or a heart here? Yeah, loads of outs now for the Norwegian. Can he do Oi. it? Oh, did get the sweat, but the five was the diamond, not the heart he was looking for. Super unlucky for uh, the Norwegian guy Stian there to yeah. uh, just run it into the absolute top of range, and Balas just keeps. Balas just, uh, yeah, the one-man Hungarian wrecking ball, <laughs> taking everybody out. Yeah. 
Congratulations to Steven for catching 14,500 uh, euros. Definitely not uh, a bad payday for him. No, he'll be happy with that for sure uh, after the, the pain of that brutal Bayern v Blind call. Yeah, it's it probably going to take a couple hours, but uh, a yeah. couple more upper oak spits and he's going to yeah, be... Yeah, uh, exactly, he'll be fine. <laughs> A lot of cash in the back pocket, returning to Norway with. Most definitely. An e very commanding chip lead here for Balajes, over yeah. half the chips in play. I think he's definitely a closer, that guy. Like. Does seem like he's quite uh, confident, yeah. Don't guaranteed. really get the massive 4x raise, BBB there. No, it's. A bit strange. Mm -hmm. Maybe live misclick. Maybe, yeah, I don't know. The so Oystein, the sole hope of Moway now. <laughs> Accidentally exposed his cards. No problem. Another biggie. Who's that? Uh, I team when he folded. Oh dear. Alash putting maximum pressure with the 9-6 off. He's, uh, he's going to uh, try to run them he's, over now. He's a, he's a rumbler, is our man. The big man from Hungary. And Dario is the shortest stack. I don't know, what's Oystein's stack? He's probably... Uh, he has three million. So he's got uh, three, okay. Yeah. So uh, Dario makes the fold. Uh, yeah, close one. Maybe we... We do call versus someone that j literally jams the any two with uh, this or Jack Tan suited. But I, I do think so because there isn't that many ICM implication having half the stack of uh, yeah. the, of the you second uh, smaller stack. So There's a full big blind ante as well still. Yeah. So it's it, it it's one of those where you've got to make some of these uncomfortable calls. And yeah, you are going to get shown ace two off a lot and stuff like that. But yeah, um, you're flipping and yeah, you've you've got good equity versus that, and you just dominate all of these. You know, nine tens, nine ten off is definitely jamming pure. Nine eight off, mm. nine seven, even nine six. You saw there from Balas. Um, if you know that your opponent is capable and and is jamming sort of north of eighty percent there, then uh, you've got to start defending against that. Definitely agree with that. Is Team gonna have an open here? In there. Good spot. See if Luigi will defend the 9 7 off here. He is defending quite uh, loosely and he's gonna go ahead with this one too. Which, to be fair, is pretty reasonable, I think. Yep. There's a pretty close uh, pack with uh, Oystein, 4 million, Luigi 2.7, and then, uh, what's his name? Uh, Dario, Dario. Was like 1.9. Yeah. yeah, so now is the time for the Hungarian man to uh, showcase his capabilities. And uh, with a nice aggressive open jam there for like the 9-6, I think we're going to see some fireworks from him. And I think he's going to be the man to beat here at the festival main event. Um, has uh, benefited from some pretty decent card distribution, but <laughs> you have to benefit at that from uh, from that at some point in your career, right? So exactly. can't be sitting there thinking I'm the luckiest guy ever. It's uh, carry on getting to business, and that's exactly what he's doing. I'd also say I'm due. Huh? I'd say I'm due. You're due. Yeah. yeah, I feel like tournaments haven't gone my way over the last few months, but cash games are uh, usually the opposite, so it's good. Kind of meet in the middle somewhere. <laughs> You are a crusher, my friend. Getting permanently lucky, I'd like to put it. <laughs> <laughs> Not a bad live, is it? Yeah. Just need to buy your betting services. Yeah, I'm onto something there. I can find the decent accounts, but... Oh, three, 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 six, there. five. Really? But let's say... Uh, Let's focus. Probably not discuss. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> the ins and outs of that. <laughs> <laughs> With plenty.
plenty of people on the stream. Are you guys with us out here? You can see 132 viewers, not bad. Yeah, let us know who you're rooting for and uh, who you think is going to take it down, or is it simply a race? I think we're still going to have a lot Second. of Oystein fans in here. Yeah, Oystein, the uh, Norwegian last hopeful. So it's, what, Norway, Hungary, and two Italians? Or? Yeah. Yeah. Pretty, like, almost comical, made up, but like, like, like stereotypical Italian names, Dario yeah, yeah. and Luigi. <laughs> yeah, totally. Should have been Mario and Luigi. <laughs> One point five million under the gun here, I think. Is Luigi like the Italian Luke, essentially, or is it something else? No. That's a question I'm not uh, equipped to mm -hmm. answer, unfortunately. He does jam it. Or is that like Luca with the C A? Yeah, isn't yeah, it, it yeah, might yeah. be. I don't know if Luigi was popular before the game. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure. Italian plumbers <laughs> servicing everyone's pipes. <laughs> <laughs> it's the end of the week here at the yeah, festival. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> you gotta let a few loose ones out. Most definitely. I'll just go uh, restock on water. You need no problem. Uh, yeah, I'm running a little bit low. Yeah, thanks. Shoving 9 6 and now folding 10 6. Uh, next round. In essentially the same spot, so. Interesting to see that one at least. Oystein under the gun with the Ace-8 off suit. Being up to 240 and probably not going to be getting any resistance from the two Italians in the blinds. a shove from Luigi here, although his counterpart, although his counterpart Dario is <laughs> quite short as well, so let's see how he uh, takes on this situation with the King Jack. Four-handed here, might just elect to jam, yeah, yeah I, I, I think, think it's, it's quite reasonable. reasonable. Uh, you just, you still get a lot of ASEX to fold, which is pretty cool. Pala Shabani, open gems? Um, he is... 
Mm. 30 blinds affected. With the big blind, yeah. I don't think three is just the hand, personally. Oh. Jinx. oh. Minus one plus one. Mm -hmm. And he's of course just gonna fold it here. See if there's any updates on the 1k OFC which is happening oh, yeah. upstairs. Do you know how many runners it got? Uh, started with six, which is pretty oh, decent. Wow. It usually gets a lot less than that. It's a, uh, obviously not not a rare game, but uh, it's not one that's um, been sort of rising to prominence over the last Just few years. Frank and a few pals throwing in one k usually. <laughs> yeah, exactly right. Gerhard Brimmers wins the forty nine plus seniors. Congratulations, Two thousand euros. A bad a little chip saver maybe. Yeah. You with the four three off, gonna fold. <laughs> so, Franke had all the chips, but he had to leave to play the 250 mystery bounty, <laughs> which I believe is still running. Wow, at the day two of that one, I, I believe it was quite big actually, like a 5k top bounty. And really, yeah. wow, lovely. Pretty cool. I've never played one. a Mystery Bounty out Have you not? Oh, it's a lot of fun. I played those in 800 in uh, Bratislava. Yeah. Really good fun. Yeah, just the sweat. So they did it so it was like 250 minimum bounties and then every bounty had a zero on the end. So you pull ah. it from one side and you just slowly reveal <laughs> your fate. <laughs> That's pretty cheeky. Yeah, I liked it. Great sweat. Well, I'm just going to take it down. I've played one online, or two maybe, but uh, mm -hmm. haven't pulled a mystery bounty yet. No? <laughs> no, uh, well, an 8 to 8? Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, I had a really good stack going into the bounty phase in the 5.30. Oh, yeah? Yeah, Jeez. but uh, no dice. Lost a couple of flips. She do. Yeah. Always feels like, uh, I think everyone always feels like they run bad at higher, but it's just the fact that the there's higher variance and less easy, yeah, yeah, easy exactly. blinds, like you know, people take these spots and... I think it might be like the fourth or fifth I've played in my life, um, yeah. like 5.30s online, right? Yeah, yeah, so it's, it's it, it of course always hurts more when... It's a big blind for sure. Yeah. I can't believe I jinxed our boy. I was already uh, yeah, seeing the Vegas and uh, the effing the Mirage. Mirage. You should be still good for it. Yeah, minus one plus one, right? Mm -hmm. For the day. Two plus two strokes after nine. It's not bad. How's your other slips looking? Yeah, I'm just gonna check now. Oh, Hostler. Dusted. No? So, no, no good. Morikawa finished here, look. I've seen here with the King Jago. Can I elect to have an open? Dario gonna jam here. 12 big blinds, ace 10 off, as standard as it gets. Mm -hmm. And Augustine can't really uh, do much about it here. I'd be very surprised to see him call. <laughs> yes, I'm going to think about it.
does get it through. Don't really want to be raised folding, uh, raised calling king high for uh, north of 12 big blinds in the uh, in that kind of OCM. It's definitely not. Oh, you already home wow. earlier. That's impressive stuff. Must yeah. have had a, a night flight or a very early morning. Uh, we are four left here. Yeah. And info uh, on that one's in the top right hand side of the screen. And we have the payouts for you in the chat. We'll repost them again. Yeah, so the players are just do top work. Players are guaranteed 20k. So uh, everyone here is going to walk home with a very, very nice payday. Yeah, absolutely. So 60.7, 40. 27.9 and 20.3 up for grabs. So did go to FT with three Scandinavians. Noelia, we have one left. I seen here, representing Cool Bet. Alash opening it up with the Queen Nine suited. Don't take it down. Antis wedding cup go right? Yeah. But he's uh, just holding every part at the moment. Oh my god. <laughs> was awesome as always to see you, Noelia. Yeah, and he kind of busted quite early. Uh, yeah, she, she played like great. 13th. She went for a four bet uh, jam BVB with uh, Ace 2 suited and unfortunately ran into Dario's jacks. Yeah, she was absolutely spot on with all of her actions. I think the. Yeah. The line she took in her bust hand was uh, was pretty beautiful, but uh, sometimes they just have it. Sometimes. I've uh, haven't had the pleasure of playing with her, but definitely impressed by the showing she did today. Yeah, she played great. Johannes, thanks for the follow. Danish guy there. Plus one. Block was minus one? Uh, ah, plus one. Plus one. Yeah, that seems about right. We've seen bets up here, but uh, Palace will, of course, not fold the middle pair. Six on the turn, give Austin a pair too. Let's elect to check it over. I think we're gonna see Balash check behind quite a lot. She indeed does. And probably gonna go check check again here on the river, unless Austin wants to have a stab at it, but he really shouldn't. And another part for Balash here. Two down. How can you already be down? Two slips down. But it's not over. It is. It's uh, 18 holes between those two. Ah, so they already. Yeah, finished. yeah, it was, a, it was a heads up game, wasn't it? Who are these punters? <laughs> <laughs> Just win the rest. Uh, read slip looks decent. Oh, these are good, both of them. GG's. Mm -hmm. This is only a small one, that's good. Mm -hmm. Wrist looks good. Mm. Need some luck. Yeah, and the winners are of course hard to hit. I'm uh, not so happy with my 10 euros on Scotty Schaefer with 7. Yeah, he's seven done absolutely like. nothing. Oystein, however, picking up the ace jack on the button. Could get interesting. Yeah, wonder if Balash just jams yeah, it. Yeah, I think it'll be very reasonable to just flick it in. And uh, yeah, it puts Oystein under a lot of pressure with uh, Dario yeah. sat there on 1.8 behind that once yeah, he the folds. The positions of those two are kind of perfect for him because once Dario folds, then Oystein is really cuffed. Yeah. 
Doing an ICM, he's... Oh, Hoplin made it, too bad. Oh, he folded, but... I actually think Oyster, like, when he jams, Oyster is folding even a pip up. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Threes, fours, fives. Have to call off there for that many big blinds would have been uh, sort of 25 or north of 25. So pretty impressive stuff if he were to find it, but didn't. Elected to uh, allow the Norwegian to uh, have a day off. I'm not sure if he would have called the ace jack though. You think he would have called for for 25 with um. the, with the these two guys quite short. I actually think he might have. Yeah. I don't think it would be correct though. Ooh. <laughs> Doesn't look good <laughs> for him. For him, it looks great for us. Yeah. <laughs> What's he with the ace nine here? He's uh, like he's held his own. He's had like a couple of alternative plays, but in general, he's been quite solid. Yeah. Definitely. He's finding his opens and uh, not getting pushed over too much. Yeah, it's, it's definitely not a net, that's for sure. Mm. Got some moves. You play any golf yourself? Yeah, I used to play other well. I was got down to five handicap. Oh, wow. I'm around about an eight or a nine now. I haven't actually played in almost yeah, six you're months. You're a good seven. <laughs> I haven't played in like six months, so uh, I've got my clubs in the back of the car, and the weather's been not not good enough. Flop chicks through. Yeah. What those players you want to have a have a go here? Both players with those middling ace highs. And uh, board pairing on the top, I think we might uh, like have both players say, "I have enough shot on value here." Yeah, don't think Oystein's going to uh, try and maneuver in off the three Put or something down. like that. To the next. We'll see the players get quite shallow, even though the average might be like 20 to 30 big blinds when one guy has that many chips. Yeah, exactly. It's it's like a skewed average. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, you'd rather average their three stacks, and then that kind of gives you more of a representation on on where it's at. Obviously, they're always going to be the effective stack, and. Mr. Olympia from Hungary is going to <laughs> give him hell. What's he doing here? Oh, okay. So he opens it up with the ace. Yeah, uh, I thought he was like had like five, six hundred k in there. All oh, right, now just gonna take it down and continue to lean on the fact that uh, he can do as he pleases. Oh, he's going for a run, yeah. Down. Rather stoic and calculated. Well, at least he got round glasses. Yep. If he had none or just like more normie glasses, uh, he might look a bit annoying. <laughs> yeah, he's just been pretty card dead and, and he's struggling to make much happen. Yeah, like from when he had 5 million, he played like 1 1.7. Million all in flip, but apart from that, it's just been like chipping down. Christine yeah. electing to limp the jack nine suited. I don't mind it. 
Oh, definitely not. I don't think we want to be too linear with the, with the ISO, with, with the chip leader. Sat you there just can't really behind. get involved with him, right? It's going to be tough, yeah. And uh, probably just going to end up losing this pot. Don't think we want to bet 7-3-3. Three, three. No, I, d I do agree. This step might work. Oh, no, sorry. Oh, he's got a 7. <laughs> yeah. yeah, 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 but... Uh, My lenses. <laughs> yeah. I understand he's got two overs, back to flush draw, back to straight draw, but... For me, I think this uh, this kind of board does hit our opponent quite well. And mm. if we were to bluff, maybe use some kind of like eight six eight five or yeah, or we some have a wrap to the something with a bit more interaction or something with a bit more black backdoor playability. And yeah, Balas punishing his opponent there for the for the stab with the, with the value raise. And Oystein would do well to avoid continuing in this situation because he could be in some Yeah, it's some important not to trouble. get stubborn in the spot like, oh, he's pushing me around. Exactly. Yeah, he might be, but there's nothing you can do about it. No, exactly. You don't want to just start putting the hammer down for no reason. To the next we go. Seems like this is gonna be a lot of uh, Oystein and Balash battling it out. Two Italians yeah. don't really want to play. Very, yeah. Uh, I see him averse by the looks of it. Yeah. Or, 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 or aware, brand. aware, sorry, yeah. Yeah, exactly. What we've seen from. Uh, most of the Italian players throughout the week. Got our lives. Got some luck in the. Uh, I think he's taking a penalty drop here. So. Wow. So Luigi with the queen seven suited open. Oystein calling from the button with the eights. Again, I think it's fine of Oystein to take the more passive line. And uh, he just flops a set here. Yeah, flops a set versus middle pair back to flush draw. A great spot for him. Yeah, and a board that Luigi definitely wants to. Continue yeah. On. I think a. Uh, a bit of a frustrated raise from Luigi, maybe. Yeah. He just kind of wanted to get in there and showcase that he's not someone to be messed around. But it's okay to be card dead, you know. He is opening as well into uh, Balas's big blind as well, right? Someone that's just not going to overfold. Oh, was it Dario's? Yeah, yeah. Also, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah okay, that makes a little more sense because... And you've got the chip leader kind of handcuffed in the small blind and somewhat. Especially w when he wants to go for these opens, he cannot take this passive pose for blind yeah. on uh, on boards that just favor his range. Like like it just doesn't make sense. Mm -hmm. Then you just have to avoid getting in there if you if you don't have the courage to to yeah. get after it. Yeah, middle pair being a bit of an awkward one with no kicker. Yeah. But uh, yeah, he just just looks for a very clear cut bet on the turn if he elects not to go for it on a flop. Yeah, looks like a frustrated figure at the table right now. Definitely lovely to yeah, see nice you to again, see you. earlier. Ingvill Nilsson, thank you for the follow. Johannes, thank you. Appreciate it. You're more than welcome to drop a follow if you like what you see. We're going to be doing way more of it. No, this is... Uh, really? Yeah. Oh. Pretty insane. Good feed. Do they keep showing that? Yeah, because they, they don't know where it's landed, basically. Still, with all those oh, people there. Oh, I thought there. it landed among, among the people. Um, in some kind of weeds. So, Balas opening... Jamming now. Yeah, nice to see. Yeah, very good. Dario and Luigi are out of there, and uh... Oh yeah, I like that he's uh, getting after it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's good. It's the only way to play is... Good hand, advantage. good combination, and uh, yeah, good execution. Like, of course so it might happen at some point that he runs into it, he and then he can something. revise his strategy if someone gets like 6-7 million, but yeah. uh, 
Until so, now, you're just gonna pick up so many chips uncontested. Yeah, and you're still gonna have like, you know, 30% equity or something most yeah. of the time. Get a penalty shot? Yeah, it's his third, so he's two patting for bogey. PGA Championship action alongside. Oresh opening the King 7. Again, very fair, getting after it. Weistin waking up with the pocket jacks here. I think he's gonna jam it. Yeah, I think so. I don't think there's much of. Uh, oh, he does go oh, for 700? the uh, for the induce. Maybe hoping that the chip leader goes for some sort of ace three ace two ace four suited ace five suited kind of play. Maybe jams in a worse pair like nines and tens. Look how confident he looks. He's just so this big, isn't he? Water, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is a regular sized glass yeah, and a yeah. big hand, not a small <laughs> glass and a normal <laughs> hand. It's yeah. gonna let go, of course. Yeah, and uh, good open again. Nice combination with the king. Oh, I always think getting after it. Chipping up to 4.1. He, uh, uh, I'm quite impressed with how he took uh, the huge putt he lost early for a massive chip lead. Yeah. After that, he just got dealt out, got all the way down to like, I want to say like 750k at the uh, at BB, at BB 80k. Mm -hmm. But he just he stayed in there, kept grinding, and and now that he's again got more chips, he's also putting them into play. Absolutely. Pretty pretty impressive, uh, I have to say. Look, of course, he is doing some some more semi out of line stuff once in a while, but I think in in general, he's he's been playing good, man. Yeah, solid stuff. Special mental composure. We do with the Queen 10 suited. And jam it. Take it down. <laughs> yeah, open jam. Mm. Doesn't want to uh, allow his opponent to three bit jam on him and have to fold out a lot of equity. And on to the next. We are, of course, just going to see a whole lot of pre flop poker here. Yeah, it's going to be a lot of this, uh, playing for a lot of money, but of course uh, people are going to have to take the uh, the aggressive stance. Yeah. It's kind of when you when you have this dynamic of, of one guy with over, over half the chips, it, it locks the game so much. It really does, yeah. Ballas jamming and Darius gonna have a call this time. Dominating Ballas 10 7. Goes to 10 7, runs into the dominating hand, and uh, and the Hungarian find the 7 from heaven to send Would the Italian like him. player to the rail. Oh, he flops oh, wow. the open ender. Uh, this could be naughty. He's got the jack 6 or the 7. 3 on the no turn, luck. no good. Looking yeah, go for a jack six or a seven, oh, yeah, and it is a queen. So Dario has a bit of a sweaty flop, but manages to come through still with the best of it. And back up to the around the same stack as the other guys. Yep, and uh, just exhales a sigh of relief there. Yeah, finally one going uh, Darius' way. I'm sure he's very happy about that. Yeah, 
Yeah, so back up to somewhere near where he was earlier, where he had 5 million with uh, with 12 to around 12, 14 to 14 players left. He was to come manage a bit at that point. Mm -hmm. And uh, it just didn't quite happen for him. Started to run into it a little bit. Made a couple of loose three bets that ran into something. Yeah, it's like this, the amount of hands you play in a tournament like this, it, it, it's just going to happen sometimes, right? Yeah, exactly. You go through those hot streaks and cold streaks. Go, Dario, go. Italian fan in the chat. Luigi getting a walk. I think that's almost the first we've seen, at least. Yeah, for a while now. Because you've got such a big chip stack there from the Hungarian. That uh, you'd expect a lot of hands to be getting opened here. With the ace deuce off, can I have an open? Luigi, Jax, he's gonna jam that one. Balas is gonna lose another pad. I do see quite a quick roll from him. No choice there, with just ace deuce high off suit as well. And Luigi lives to fight another day. Our producer Stain coming in with a new deck. He's been doing awesome work all week. Shout out. Absolutely. Strong stuff from him. That is so Danish. Shout out. Hey out, Ramos, welcome to the chat. Let me just put the payouts here in the chat and find the mouse. Players are guaranteed a nice 20k score, but all competing for 60,700 euros up top. Yeah, those are the payouts. So still a lot of money to be played for. And of course, as you'd expect here at the business end of the festival main event, Sure, Brendan Bassen. What does that mean? Uh, let's go, uh, Brendan. <laughs> In which language? Uh, no Norwegian. It's Norwegian. Uh, Oystein's, uh, mm -hmm. Oystein's rail there. Yeah. Well, welcome to the stream, Melgavis. <laughs> Dario Kington suited under the gun. Do you speak all of the uh, uh, all of the Scandinavian languages? Do I speak them? Yeah. No. I, I kinda. And I understand. Yeah. Yeah. I read all of them. <laughs> and Dario takes it down as Balash has absolute trash in the big blind. so much to every 165 of you following us here today on this massive FT of the festival in Malta. If you haven't already, please do drop a follow. We're gonna have plenty of these streams in the future. And hopefully you like George and I because uh, we don't plan on leaving. No, we'll be back for more, especially in my uh, home city of Bratislava. So to give us a follow so that we'll give you the little update or email or whatever it is from Twitch. <laughs> to bug you into watching the stream again. To fax you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Would you opening the ace three suited? Yeah. <coughs> and Dario uh, not able to do much about it. No. Still. 
Just sat there grinding it out, the two Italian lads. Not had an awful lot going their way. No, it's, uh, it's definitely been uh, Icing and... Uh, sorry, drawing a blank here. Balash. Balash driving the show here. Mm -hmm. Getting in a bit of post love action and uh, eyeing each other out. Yes, absolutely. I'm gonna open a mystery hand here. Yeah, let's see whether he does defend the, the Queen through suited or not with his fellow countrymen sat on a similar stack. Four handed, I don't think it's like awful or anything. No, no, I, I don't think so either. It's quite close. Yeah, with the big blind ante as well, remember, mm. we've got to gotta get in there. Yeah, yeah, it, it, it is like, it is like really instrumental and and I have primarily played with the half big blind ante at yeah. the six. So, uh, so not so that well reversed in, in the nah. front of the He definitely does that. Feels too. like you want to widen your, yeah, uh, your defending range for that reason. Just a small added incentive there. Oystein does get a dream flop to uh, put in a very small C pen in and uh, gets it done. Yes, he does. Hungarian there with the, the shaking leg. Something I'm very well versed with. It, I, I had the same when I was on. When you're in big spots, for example, big yeah, cash sure. games, big final tables, it's easy to, uh, you know, just feel the nerves. And I think that that is something that it's not mean doesn't mean he's bricking it necessarily, but not at all. He's playing great, right? But yeah. Uh, just uh, the body acts like the body does. Exactly. The body just kind of controlling that uh, slightly nervous energy, let's say. Opening the sixes here. I do think Oystein has so many chips now that, that you don't want to uh, keep open jamming pairs. Yeah, exactly. Uh, Oystein with the 4 million there, 25 bigs. You know, you're just going to get it through so much anyway. Yeah, so, exactly. Um, it's just too expensive. Jamming and running run into, into pocket jacks or something and, 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 and all of a sudden losing your commanding chip lead there. And it does seem that people are going to play fairly honestly versus him as well. We haven't seen too many people getting out of line. Very true. Ooh. What? Uh. It was four up like five minutes ago. Oh, no. What a duster. I jinxed it so bad, man. Yeah, you did. <laughs> Oh, bogey. Top. That was uh, already. Oh, there's one from before. I like the, the Aussie guy, what's his name? The one with the beard. Uh, beard. <laughs> Maybe it's not Aussie. Like a cap and then like a golden beard. John Daly? No, no, I was right. a bit younger. So Luigi on the button with the Queen 4 suited. And Mr. Hungary deciding whether he's going to continue and doesn't with the 6 4 off. Decides to wait for a better spot. Smith, yeah. you mean moustache? Yeah, he has a moustache. Yeah, you said beard. Mm. Oh, what's the difference? <laughs> beard is this. Moustache is this. Patong, mi amigo. Uh. <laughs> Excuse me. I honestly didn't know. Oh, that's okay. So, small blind, Mr. Ballas now shoving it in to his opponent with the jacket suited. Very 
Yeah. Reasonable candidate to do so and uh, picks up a pretty big pickup there. Just two blinds going to him, avoiding shorter stacks from having them. So. You, Dario, you have 20k locked up. I know, he looks so miserable, so miserable man. man. It's a bit tilty. Yeah. I feel like some of the players in this part of the world, not to generalize too much, but there's there's an ego uh, thing mm. that they just don't like you three betting them a lot. They don't like you raising their blind a lot. <laughs> no. And, uh, you know, in this situation, it's just completely normal chip lead play to be jamming a lot. So getting frustrated by that, it's just wasting energy. Definitely. Mr. Oystein with the Queen Pen opening it up and Dario. Nice James spot for Dario. Yeah. With the Ace Nine suited. Continuing to look a little disgruntled, but we'll take that one down. Oystein mm -hmm. not going to be in there with the, uh, with the Queen Ten O. Not enough big blinds to uh, get a smile no. out of him. <laughs> he just wants more, more, more. <laughs> going on here. This guy is losing it a bit, isn't he? Mm. Well, yeah, the Jack Hungarian. Off, good enough. Just thinking about Vegas and the Mirage. Oh yeah. Opening up. Just got all the chips and uh, all the momentum in his way. down yeah no resistance it's important the, like when you like get three bet like two three times to so just remember that usually they just don't have a hand they can do anything with right yeah, yeah you don't need to worry too much mm. about uh, it's easy to like see the ghosts or I don't know if that's an English thing like to ah uh, yeah sort of uh, I kind of know what you mean yeah. so Sort of like air on the side or, of, yeah. Uh, yeah, we say monsters under the bed. Yeah, exactly, yeah. exactly, exactly. So, like, you're worried about running into the top hand all the time, and you just assume that people, like, have an amazing read on you or something. Brendan, my man, has some deep runs. How are the experience of the other players? Can't search hand -em up without knowing the first name. Uh, Mel Gavis, so uh, Luigi has... I'll give them the, the names. We, we got it on the yeah. live... It's on over on the live blog at thefestival.com. Um... So both Balas and Luigi are very well well renowned. Yeah. Did you get a what, what a second in an EPT? A third, I a third, think. Third, yeah. They've been uh, playing for big big bucks before. Uh, we got them three-way action here. Luigi opening up the Queen Five suited on the button. Balas calling, Oystein uh, calling small blind with Ace Four O. Balas calling big plan with 7 6 off. Oystein getting the best of it on the flop. Seems like it will check through unless Luigi wants to uh, have a go at it. We just check it back. He absolutely whiffed it. And I suspect we will see Oystein come out with a bet here. Just snap bet 500k. And uh, he's gonna take this one down. Very nice putt for Oystein. Win 640k chips getting up there yep on the four five six event uh, oh sorry pot limit Omaha slash PLO 8 event at the festival in Nottingham 
Ooh. So, uh, Oystein. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah. So he's uh, already got himself a he caricature. He has won the festival win this year already. Mm -hmm. Pretty cool. See if we can uh, make it a second with a real big one. Yeah, exactly. Um, so he's had some deep runs lately. So what what, what were the other deep runs? Because uh, on his hindered mob, um, he this year it's it's two caches, one win and 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 one uh, on fourth place, but not like um, monster scores. Both at the festival. Both at the festival, and then last year got fourth in a 800 euro mixed eight game event for 8.6k. Fair play. And he was here at this venue caching a couple of times at the MPF. Mm -hmm. Luigi all in here and Balash with the ace nine suited has to make a decision. I think you you just want to be the aggressor, right? I would fold this spot yeah. personally, yeah. He's just gonna get so many chances to bully them. So there's not really any need to take these marginal spots. Yeah. So. Your opponent isn't taking like a, a ton of worse hands or, or hands mm. that you dominate here. Just let it, uh, uh, he doesn't really want to let go. Yeah. So we've got Dario behind as well that's, you know, uncapped in terms of he can have a lot of strong hands as well sometimes. So let's see how he proceeds. He's going to fold. I think yeah. that's a nice discipline lay down. Good for Balish. Because I think also off of uh, Luigi's 15 big blind stack there, he may sometimes uh, raise fold hands like Ace Deuce and Ace Three suited. Yeah, that's uh, definitely a fair assumption, I think. Norwegian Championship in Norway for 50k euros. Wow. Oh, wow. Okay, yeah. That's not a so bad that's, one. That's not been put on Hendon Mob yet. It's uh, Thanks for so class for classic for the other casino in Bratislava. Takes absolutely ages. <laughs> <laughs> that's a big score. That's why we're Team Banco here at the festival. And funnily enough, that will be our next stop coming up on the 27th of November. So not long to go. All the details over at thefestival.com. I've seen picking up a nice hand here. He's check off. So the two big stacks. A leg is really going. Yeah, potentially colliding here. Yeah, just the excited energy that uh, Balas is finding. Might be a bit of a caffeine addict as well, because I know when I've had a couple of too many coffees or so, it's just always there. <laughs> bit, you know. Suspect we'll see Luigi have a call too. Yeah, calling. I think jamming is a little aggressive because by calling, yeah. you know, it might be a little too weak to jam, and then by calling, you keep in the dominating hands that uh, you're doing quite well against that you could win a good pot against post flop. Nottingham for everyone here. Yeah, literally. So who's got Oystein with the with the betting lead? It's got chance for the two guys, but yeah. Palace might find, find it find difficult to continue with this holding. Yeah, six um, part two, so oh, fifty. It's quite a large size, yeah. yeah. I see it was bringing the bring the heat. Oh, he's got two profiles in hand and mob. Ah. Okay, that would be why. He might just be um. on there. So we're then ooh. Oh. 
And he does take it down here. Very nice putt once again for Oystein. Second time he's picking up one of these three-way post-club putts with uh, showing the aggression. Wanting to win the putt more. I think you're gonna need a Nordic ladder, this one. Yeah. But I don't know how to put it. Yeah, no idea how to do that. Mystery hand coming in for an open under under the gun. And Oystein's definitely gonna defend this one. Intense suited. Very nice club for Oystein here. You don't know what Balash has. Yeah, top pair with the back door flush draw. About as good as it gets, really. What are you feeling like here? You want to check call? You want to check race? Uh, I think with this spot versus with the two guys that are fairly short mm. and uh, versus the Chipper leader. I'm just happy to check call. Yeah, keep the variance down, play. Yeah, just keep the pots, pots from getting too out of control because, you know, there is the possibility of. This guy's a savage, man. Better tents and over pairs. Clicky, clicky. I like this guy's energy. Yeah, yeah, he's going to go for the, for the click. He ain't scared. Problem is, what do we do now on on a, on a you know facing yeah. call here? Jack River, or King River. Oh, nice, very good turn. Card. That's a handy turn for him with the eight of hearts there, giving him the backdoor flush draw. Still unsure as to what the Hungarian has. Yeah. can still have like very very good hands and, mm -hmm. and another barrel from Oystein betting half pot now snap and forward. Uh, snap forward yeah it's up to 5.6 million ish yeah getting it done closing the gap pot by pot absolutely <laughs> and uh, the Norwegian rail go <laughs> wild <laughs> You're raving It's so hot in here, isn't it? It's insane, dude. Yeah, <laughs> On to the next tier, Dario under the gun. The ace nine. Not good enough. Wow. We uh, we into jamming ace nine for twenty here. No. Uh, no, I think it's just a. Oh, I ain't seen waking up with the ten. Just a raise fold for me, but now he's gonna see the reason why. Because <laughs> he could just raise fold this hand, right? Or, or or if he really wanted to do something, raise and four bed all in. But yeah, it's a. Uh, I think if you've got with the big blind ante, maybe if you've got like. 14, 13, it's pretty reasonable, but 20 here, it may now make gonna it. Now you're going to see the bad news. Oystein is ripe for winning another huge putt yeah, against the guy who beat him in a massive putt early on the day. He's looking for revenge here, George. Absolutely. Can he get it? Can he oh. get it? 10 in the window. Oh, got shot though for yeah, Dario. Yeah, the, the queen required for Dario. Three on the turn, going to need oh, a lady yeah, and a lady only. Wow. Oystein gets the huge. The revenge hoop. comes to the patients. Patient. Yeah. 
Patient. Dario got lucky with the backdoor flush versus his queens earlier. Now he gets the vengeance by sending home the Italian to the rail. And it's going to be three left here in the main event. GG to Dario, cashing a nice 20,300 euros. And a little yeah. thumbs up to the camera. And little, going into the commentator's booth. One. Yeah, like. yeah, yeah. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> I don't think he knew where he was going. Was <laughs> no, not really. One of those ones where he just wanted to storm out. Yeah, I just uh, want to get aw away from there. <laughs> yeah. So we're back they're down to three-handed now. Players guaranteed 27,900. A lot of money. That is a lot of Wonga. So uh, the fellow Italian there, Luigi, benefiting from... Maybe a slight misstep. Um, yep. It's it's tough to know with uh, with this big blind anti forehanded. It, it's so significant compared to what you're used to. But you know, a, a lot of big blinds going in there with 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 Ace Nine and yeah, I I, I gotta assume that's a little loose. Yeah, I, I don't think it's super close either. Ah, uh, Julie. Hey Julie, thanks for tuning in. Remember Julie from uh, the days of Nick Diaz. Yeah. And uh, their room. What was their room called again? It was uh, uh, 32 Red. Yeah. 32 Red. Yeah. So Julie's qualified for a couple of the cash game festivals. And, and Oisin, he's not going to slow down. No, he's no. He's the chip leader now, and he wants to he wants to win this thing. Yeah, Oisin now with the bit between his teeth looking to uh, take out some of the other guys. And uh, he sets his eyes firmly on Luigi here, who can now just play as close to Chippy V yep. as he likes. And yeah, with that big blind Dante in there, 6 5 definitely going to be in there. Very much like relieving for him that now he can just mm -hmm. play his cards and uh, see what happens, right? Absolutely. Got that 7k money jump. That's a lot of money. Good luck to the final four indeed. Final three now. And uh, check through. See if Oystein wants to have a did, little step here. Did Oystein take the chip lead there? Yeah, or he did. Yeah, He's a uh, million and a half ahead. Mm -hmm. And Ace on the river, King High is going to do it. Yeah. Does Luigi want to do anything with this combination? Don't think so, oh, personally. Yeah. Was that some kind of value bet or, or, or a massive... I'm not sure what that was, but... He I'm won sure the what it was. It was another putt by Oystein. He's been absolutely yeah. dominating since we got back from the dinner break. Yep. This guy is having no chill, running over the table at the moment. Yeah, lovely stuff. To the next hand. Getting a jammable hand here. Sure, he will be in there. Ooh, and he's gonna run into it here. Whoa. We might be down to heads up in yeah. five cards time. Wow, that was insane. Yeah. All of a sudden now. We've had we had we like had so many hours of the final four and and the final six. Yeah. And there was some. Some stumbling box blocks and in the road. Unless we find a seven here, it's gonna be all over for Luigi. Yeah, no Two backdoor Italians flush draw. Does have a backdoor gutty though, so eight or a six could get interesting. Seven Doesn't and find only it. A seven. Yeah, not even the paired board that's will save be him. All Luigi road and eliminated in third place. We're down to heads up. Yeah, it just didn't quite fall the way for the Italians there, and he did get a very nice pay jump there, up to twenty-seven thousand nine hundred euros. I'm sure he'll be very happy with that. Yeah. He, he can't really complain too much no, about that. No, at no that. point was he like in a in the, in the situation where he looked like he, that he could win the tournament. Yeah, exactly. He just kind of battled in there and definitely played really solid. I think. Um, I think we will uh, go into now around 20 minutes of yeah. a little break. Okay, so the they're going to take a, a little chat. break and uh, let's see what develops as we come back for the heads up later on at the festival main event here.
This is Andreas with you, the last day of the festival. Today is Sunday. We have a lot of live action coming up, but we're leaving Malta soon. We're going to tear this wall down. We're going to replace it with Bratislava Stop, build everything up there in November. But first, we're recapping another day of the festival series. Yesterday, Saturday, we had the main event play down to 16 final players that will now today battle it out for the crown. And we had the winner of the Handle Mob Championship receiving his huge trophy from the Handle Mob guys. And of course, also from the festival, we have his portraits drawn and not only poker though as you know with the festival series it's a lot about everything else the sports book tournament where players predicted seven games from premier league and the italian leagues and we crowned the winner of that one as well predicting five correct scores out of the seven ones so congratulations to sami for picking down that one so just don't miss to follow all the live action today in our socials in our blog in our web page and on our twitch channel the festival og everything will be live and streamed down to the final table winner on the main event so thank you for being with us here in malta all week and looking forward to see you all in bratislava in november cheers We're live here at the Pertamaso Casino Malta 2023. My name is Anastasia and I'm joined by Beate from Norway, the winner of the ladies' event. You just were crowned. You're a queen of all ladies in this room. Congratulations. Thank you so much. We're so happy you, you are the winner, really, because remember yesterday I was talking to you and I said, come on, let's do it. Hit the final table, smash it. And you're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it was, it was a lot of fun. It was so much fun. Oh, yeah, ladies, I was playing as well to support my ladies. We had so many giggles, so many... Like, remember, if the man coming around just joining the poker area, hey, get out! Yeah. It's women only! <laughs> yes. <laughs> it was a lot of fun, but it's not only that. It's poker. You need to be concentrated. You need to think a lot and be a little bit serious, I guess. Yeah, uh, absolutely. And uh, like thinking about the strategy and what to do now. And I was really short for a long time and I was just struggling to hang in there. I, I remember that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it was just like, so what do I do now to try to build up the stack again? Yeah. yeah, but I did it. But you know, I was also playing, as I said, and at some point when I got boosted from the tournament, I just said, I give up. I will never understand women's logics. I just can't do this, really. Mm. It's so hard to play against women. You don't know what, like, what's going on in their heads. Yeah, I don't, th I don't think about it like that. I think no. it's the same. You have to play the person, not the gender. True, but <laughs> sometimes they're calling you with such a crazy hands, which you think like a normal world, they would fall. But that's latest event. <laughs> Yeah, well, everybody has to play their own game, I'm thinking. Absolutely, yes. And do you remember your last hand? <sighs> I think uh, I had um, Ace 2, um, uh, suited, clubs, and... Uh, Very pretty hand. Yeah, it was a good yeah. hand. Especially when it's heads up, it's, it's mm -hmm. like nuts. And uh, she didn't have much left, so um, I raised pre-flop and she called. And um, after the flop, I raced again and she went all in and uh, I called. And nobody, you done the right nobody, thing? Yeah, nobody hit anything on the table okay. and she had, I think it was the uh, king's queen or so something. So. Okay, so ace high? Ace high. Hold it. Yes. And you're our queen. Oh my God. My ladies, my queens. I love this event. I love my women coming playing poker because at the moment it's like small community women, but it's growing, growing, growing. I love seeing women playing. I love seeing, uh, seeing women hitting the final tables, you know, and uh, it's probably, is that your first big win or you were pretty good winning before tournaments? Well, actually, I had a third place in the Norwegian Championship in 2019. In Dublin. Dublin. Yes. yes. <laughs> so it was good to finally take the first place. Yes, yeah. absolutely. And you deserve it. You're an amazing woman. You're an amazing player. Yes. Oh, we just had so many time together, you know, with all the ladies. And because we're such a small community here, we just know each other and we just love, we respect each other. And especially when we yesterday all met at the poker tables, only ladies, that was the yeah. best event, yeah. I think. Absolutely, so much fun. I'm definitely coming back. Yes, and see you in Bratislava in November. Hopefully, yes. Yeah. Thank you so much. And once again, congratulations, our queen. <laughs> Thank you.
Hi everyone, Anastasia here from the Festival Series in Malta. Today we have a final day of the main event. The field was 617 players, only 16 left, and we have the cheap leader, Brandon. Hi, tell me, how was it for you? What is the feeling to be a cheap leader so far? It's very, always nice to be a cheap leader. Yeah. And uh, I started day two with the second cheap leader. Okay. So I improved my stack all the way. And I think I was ship leader most of the day too. So I'm glad to keep that to the day three. Yes. And tell me, um, like it's, it's really long hours to play poker. It's really hard. Like you're, you need a lot of patience. Tell me your secret. No, I can't tell you my secrets, <laughs> but I'm patient. I'm you patient. Are, you, you're very patient. Yes. Uh, and I don't uh, play, don't set all my ships all in. Usually I don't. That's your do that. strategy. Yeah. If of course I have the nuts, then I do it. But I don't okay. do it a lot of times. So. Very good. Yeah. We're starting just now. We see dealers are settling in. Players all here. Yeah. Sixteen players left. Final table today. And I hope and I wish you all the best. Maybe maybe you will stay the cheap lead all the time and be a champion. Who knows? Yeah, I hope so. That will be very good. I wish you all the best. Thank you. This is Andreas with you, the last day of the festival. Today is Sunday, we have a lot of live action coming up, but we're leaving Malta soon. We're gonna tear this wall down, we're gonna replace it with Bratislava Stop, build everything up there in November. But first, we're recapping another day of the festival series. Yesterday, Saturday, we had the main event, play down to 16 final players that will now today battle it out for the crown. And we had the winner of the Hand on Mob Championship receiving his huge trophy from the Hand on Mob guys. And of course, also from the festival, we have his portrait drawn and not only poker though as you know with the festival series it's a lot about everything else the sports book tournament where players predicted seven games from premier league and the italian leagues and we crowned the winner of that one as well predicting five correct scores out of the seven ones so congratulations to sami for picking down that one so just don't miss to follow all the live action today in our socials in our blog in our web page and on our twitch channel the festival og everything will be live and streamed down to the final table winner and the main event so thank you for being with us here in malta all week and looking forward to see you all in bratislava in november cheers We're live here at the Pertamaso Casino Malta 2023. My name is Anastasia and I'm joined by Beate from Norway, the winner of the ladies' event. You just were crowned. You're a queen of all ladies in this room. Congratulations. Thank you so much. We're so happy you, you are the winner, really, because remember yesterday I was talking to you and I said, come on, let's do it. Hit the final table, smash it. And you're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it was, it was a lot of fun. It was so much fun. Oh, yeah, ladies, I was playing as well to support my ladies. We had so many giggles, so many, like, remember, if the man coming around just joining the poker area, hey, get out, yeah. it's women only. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it was a lot of fun, but it's not only that, it's poker. You need to be concentrated, you need to think a lot and be a little bit serious, I guess. Yeah, uh, absolutely. And uh, like thinking about the strategy and what to do now. And I was really short for a long time and I was just struggling to hang in there. I, I remember that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it was just like, so what do I do now to try to build up the stack again? Yeah. yeah, but I did it. But you know, I was also playing, as I said, and at some point when I got boosted from the tournament, I just said, I give up. I will never understand women's logics. I just can't do this, really. Mm. It's so hard to play against women. You don't know what, like, what's going on in their heads. Yeah, I don't, th I don't think about it like that. I think no. it's the same. You have to play the person, not the gender. True, but <laughs> sometimes they're calling you with such a crazy hands, which you think like a normal world, they would fall. But that's latest event. <laughs> Yeah, well, everybody has to play their own game, I'm thinking. Absolutely, yes. And do you remember your last hand? Oh, 
I think uh, I had um, Ace 2 um, uh, suited clubs. And, uh, Very pretty hand. Yeah, it was a good yeah. hand. Especially when it's heads up, it's, it's like nuts. And uh, she didn't have much left, so um, I raised pre-flop and she called. And um, after the flop, I raced again and she went all in and uh, I called. And nobody, you've done the right nobody, thing? Yeah, nobody hit anything on the table okay. and she had, I think it was the uh, king's queen or so something. So. Okay, so ace high? Ace high. Hold it. Yes. And you're our queen. Oh my God. My ladies, my queens. I love this event. I love my women coming playing poker because at the moment it's like small community women, but it's growing, growing, growing. I love seeing women playing. I love seeing, uh, seeing women hitting the final tables, you know, and uh, it's probably, is that your first big win or you were pretty good winning before tournaments? Well, actually, I had a third place in the Norwegian Championship in 2019. In Dublin. Dublin. Yes. yes. <laughs> so it was good to finally take the first place. Yes, yeah. absolutely. And you deserve it. You're an amazing woman. You're an amazing player. Yes. Oh, we just had so many time together, you know, with all the ladies. And because we're such a small community here, we just know each other and we just love, we respect each other. And especially when we yesterday all met at the poker tables, only ladies, that was the yeah. best event, yeah. I think. Absolutely, so much fun. I'm definitely coming back. Yes, and see you in Bratislava in November. Hopefully, yes. <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much. And once again, congratulations, our queen. <laughs>
This is Andreas with you, the last day of the festival. Today is Sunday. We have a lot of live action coming up, but we're leaving Malta soon. We're going to tear this wall down. We're going to replace it with Bratislava Stop, build everything up there in November. But first, we're recapping another day of the festival series. Yesterday, Saturday, we had the main event, play down to 16 final players that will now today battle it out for the crown. And we had the winner of the Hand on Mob Championship receiving his huge trophy from the Hand on Mob guys. And of course, also from the festival, we have his portrait drawn and not only poker though as you know with the festival series it's a lot about everything else the sports book tournament where players predicted seven games from premier league and the italian leagues and we crowned the winner of that one as well predicting five correct scores out of the seven ones so congratulations to sami for picking down that one so just don't miss to follow all the live action today in our socials in our blog in our web page and on our twitch channel the festival og everything will be live and streamed down to the final table winner on the main event so thank you for being with us here in malta all week and looking forward to see you all in bratislava in november cheers We are live here at the Pertamaso Casino Malta 2023. My name is Anastasia and I'm joined by Beate from Norway, the winner of the ladies event. You just were a crown, you're a queen of all ladies in this room. Congratulations. Thank you so much. We're so happy you, you are the winner really because remember yesterday I was talking to you and I said, come on, let's do it. Hit the final table, smash it. And you're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it was, it was a lot of fun. It was so much fun. Oh, yeah, ladies, I was playing as well to support my ladies. We had so many giggles, so many, like, remember, if the man coming around just joining the poker area, hey, get out, yeah. it's women only. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it was a lot of fun, but it's not only that, it's poker. You need to be concentrated, you need to think a lot and be a little bit serious, I guess. Yeah, uh, absolutely. And uh, like thinking about the strategy and what to do now. And I was really short for a long time and I was just struggling to hang in there. I, I remember that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it was just like, so what do I do now to try to build up the stack again? Yeah. yeah, but I did it. But you know, I was also playing, as I said, and at some point when I got busted from the tournament, I just said, I give up. I will never understand women logics. I just can't do this, really. Mm. It's so hard to play against women. You don't know what, like, what's going on in their heads. Yeah, I don't, I don't think about it like that. I think no. it's the same. You have to play the person, not the gender. True, but <laughs> sometimes <laughs> they're calling you with such a crazy hands, which you think like a normal world, they would fall. But that's latest event. <laughs> Yeah, well, everybody has to play their own game, I'm thinking. Absolutely, yes. And do you remember your last hand? <sighs> I think uh, I had um, Ace 2, um, uh, suited, clubs, and... Uh, Very pretty hand. Yeah, it was a good yeah. hand. Especially when it's heads up, it's, it's like nuts. And uh, she didn't have much left, so um, I raised pre-flop and she called, and um, after the flop, I raced again and she went all in and uh, I called. And nobody, you done the right nobody, thing? Yeah, nobody hit anything on the table okay. and she had, I think it was the uh, king's queen or something. So. Okay, so ace high? Ace high. Hold it. Yes. And you're our queen. Oh my God. My ladies, my queens. I love this event. I love my women coming playing poker because at the moment it's like small community women, but it's growing, growing, growing. I love seeing women playing. I love seeing, uh, seeing women hitting the final tables, you know, and uh, it's probably, is that your first big win or you were pretty good winning before tournaments? Well, actually, I had a third place in the Norwegian Championship in 2019. In Dublin. Dublin. Yes. yes. <laughs> So it was good to finally take the first place. Yes, yeah. absolutely. And you deserve it. You're an amazing woman. You're an amazing player. Yes. Oh, we just had so many time together, you know, with all the ladies. And because we're such a small community here, we just know each other and we just love, we respect each other. And especially when we yesterday all met at the poker tables, only ladies, that was the yeah. best event, yeah. I think. Absolutely. So much fun. I'm definitely coming back. Yes. And see you in Bratislava in November. Hopefully, yes. <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much. And once again, congratulations, our queen. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you.
Hello and welcome back, guys, for the combination of the week. It's the Heads Up. It's the festival main event, and we are playing for a lot of money. And it's going to be, in this time, Norway versus Hungary. The players have around 20 minutes of uh, discussing a potential deal, but they could not agree on uh, on anything. So uh, they're going to play a Heads Up for 20,000 euros. Just going to play it out. Bunch of absolute bowlers, right? Things you love to see. Yeah, Balas picking up his favorite hand, the Queens. God, <laughs> that's been uh, that's been a really good one for him. He's really have... throughout this FT applied the get good hand strategy. Yeah. Which is a super strong uh, strategy. It's a and, super uh, strong tournaments. strategy. And do we have the big blind anti now in this heads up match? I think they removed it, right? Nice. No, no anti. No anti. Good. Yeah, it, it just gets weird. Man. It kills heads up, man. Yeah. You just have to limp every hand, like it, or or, or beep it. Uh, you know, basically every hand and and the raising size, you want to kind of get bigger because there's more out there. And it just uh, means that if you're sat, let's say, 30, 40 big blinds effective, with the average stack being 9.25 million uh, at the at the 160k level, that's uh, that's pretty deep, right? So we get a lot yeah. of play with the heads up, whereas you know, otherwise it uh, it, it kind of makes it a bit more of a novelty. Who do you got here? Who do I think is going to win? Yeah, I'm going with uh, my boy Oystein. He's yeah. been uh, crushing it. Mm. Might not be as experienced or uh, have as many big caches, but yeah. he's on he's, he's feeling so good. much he's, momentum, he's, man. He's playing strong. He's overcome a lot of adversity throughout this uh, final day, and uh, he just seems uh, absolutely locked in. Looks like he will get the better of this uh, first real part of the heads up, too. Yeah, lovely spot for him now. Uh, goes for that check raise with the King Jack. Yeah. Certainly reasonable. Could have also three bet pre. I think I might have three bet pre. We're, we're pretty deep now, so you can go for these like linear three bets. Um, yeah, we are, what, uh, 50, 60 almost effective? Yeah. Uh, I think it was like 8 million to start the hand, so exactly 50 big blinds. Yep. Great turn for Oystein here. Uh, three of clubs on the turn. Going to be going for a nice, big, juicy bet. Trying to target those worst King X hands, the 8X, the diamonds. Oh. And uh, Balash is uh, having a think about it here. I think it's very hard to get, uh, find a fold here on the turn for sure. Yeah, I can't be folding here for the half pot. Just make the call. Mm -hmm. It is a little bit annoying because uh, there is not many straight draws or anything. <laughs> Front door flush and the overcard comes in here. Very, very interesting. Yeah, tricky spot now for Oystein. Does still have a lot of uh, a lot of hands like uh, King X and obviously 8X to to target. Do you think? And I he has gone for the check. Don't check think Ballas is going to do anything here. Yeah. And um, unfortunately, just one of those situations where you run into the the worst river card possible and feel like you don't want to get any value. Bet betting the river getting jammed on there would be a horrible start. So a 20 big blind pot. There could have easily been a 40 or 50 big blind pot. Had yeah, there yeah, been a pretty lucky river for Balish. Yeah. Smiling a bit. And uh, Oystein taking the chip lead here. Commanding. Mm -hmm. 12, uh, 2 to 1. Too clear. Little deal change, and we're right back at it. So, 65% of the chips now with the Norwegian 12 versus 6.5. In H3, of course, going to be a race here. Yeah, for sure. And uh, I think the Hungarian man will feel obliged to three bet the King Queen. 
that's how I'd do it personally. I'm not sure if he uh, if he feels the same way, but uh, playing heads up, King Queen is a monster hand. Really good post lot playability. I'm definitely in uh, in for the three bet here too at yep. these uh, depths. Yeah, it looks that's, like he agrees uh, with us. Calling. Like it's going to be around about a million and fifty chips, or one million one hundred and fifty, which is uh, a shade over three X. Seems pretty reasonable sizing. And that's going to take it down. Oh, he's called with the ace three off. Oh wow! Yeah, thought he might let that one go now yeah. and. Uh, Not too happy with like like. If you gotta be pip further, like like you gotta come in with the four bet jam. Just yeah. too bad post or playability for his hand. Yeah, exactly. Very difficult to uh, to proceed in that situation. Want to mute it if the and Balash just turning the absolute nutty here in a huge pot. It's gonna feel good. And this is kind of like like why King Queen is just a better hand, right? Like like it just. Yeah, it just feels like you, you you have more playability. Obviously, when the cards are on their backs and it all in pre, um, the ace three is is the superior holding. But just in what size he went with here? One point seven. Wow. In queen, you know, when you have the post flop playability, two overs, backdoor flush draw, sometimes this kind of thing. Ace three, just hoping to, you know, have some kind of wheel draw. It's always a gut shot, and then the ace can be dominated. So. It was a one. bit of an awkward turn sighting. Uh, you could set up a, like an 0 0.8, 1.0 SPR uh, with a way smaller bet there. Mm -hmm. But a huge bet there. Yep. Taking one back after uh, the first big one went to Eistein. So Balas has opened it up with the A7, I think we should see, doesn't decide to defend the 6-4. It's more reasonable to fold when the answer is gone right, but uh, can definitely still be people that Yeah, don't, uh, I think that's a little snug personally, yeah. I think you got to defend uh, these kind of holdings. Uh, sorry, we just had some problems with the microphones here. Yep. Oystein opens preflop with the ace three. And uh, he's gonna take it down with a C bet here. Take that one down, yeah. Ace three not wouldn't be my favorite C bet combo. No, uh, I agree. You I think it's just like one you want to kind of start engineering towards showdown there rather than like firing that hopeful bet because you think about the efficiency of the bet, you're just folding out worse hands and getting called by better or uh, yeah, allowing well. maybe some bluffs to check raise you there where your your playability going forward is so poor. On well, these kind of uh, paired flops with the, with the ace high, you're just often going to have a pretty strong hand at showdown. So, uh... <laughs> But he does manage to pick up the pot, so uh, yeah. 
gets it done in his own way, and that's kind of how he's played. Yeah. You can tell that he's uh, he's put together some runs, and that his his style does well in live tournaments. You know, like he's on the more fearless side. Yeah. And uh, doesn't allow himself to be run over by uh, by strong players. Well, that's the thing. If you do want to do unorthodox stuff, it's good that you're on the on the aggressive side of things, right? Yeah, exactly. Silid Cow, thank you so much for the follow. Yeah, thanks very much. Do click that follow button, and that will give you updates on when we're going to be back in the mix, which is going to be Bratislava on the 27th of November. We are going to be back in the mix with the online stuff way before that, though. That's <laughs> Absolutely. Usually we're doing uh, three weekly streams yeah. of the online qualifiers. Mm -hmm. Myself on the Tuesdays and Thursdays. Nice. So we're probably gonna take that up in a in a month's time once they start getting rolling. Okay, lovely. Yeah, they uh, they put the qualifiers up nice and early, don't they? And Frank, a, I think you said that there were hundreds of packages actually. In yeah, the yeah, end. yeah. yeah. Like a couple hundred at least. Couple of hundred, yeah. yeah. You're very welcome to join in for one of the online streams if you fancy. I would like to uh, reignite the Twitch. Yeah, I've had some very, very high volume grinding going on yeah. recently, and uh, it's just been in games that I really don't want to sh share my share my cards to be honest. So if I can find some kind of app games or something that will work from uh, my home city of Slovakia, that would be that would be ideal. We we didn't quite find anything that was available. Oh, so there's definitely just spots where it's too expensive unless you're a really, really big streamer to, to share what's going on with. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. It's uh especially in an unsolved game like PLO, you know, there's lots of uh, lots of adjustments Couple to be of made. Very nice hands for the guys yeah. here. I think uh this one could very well go raise three bet and uh in here, maybe, maybe just He's not afraid in. to flick it in. This no, guy, absolutely not. <laughs> does Ballas take the passive route, or does he three bet? And if he does three bet, which it looks like he's going to do. How quickly is he going to face the the noise from uh, from Oystein here? Make it around one point. Yeah, this is a this is a cooler in heads up, of course, yeah. isn't it? You know, like this is a two big hands against each other. And I just don't think Ace Queen has that kind of post slot playability you're looking to have in playing uh, in playing calls and three bad putts at yeah. this depth. So uh, I'd much prefer the the jam here, even though he is in position. 1.4, huge. Oh, he clicks yeah. it. I quite like yeah. this, this sizing actually, just in case that your opponent, you're going with the hand, right? But just in case your opponent um, decides to do something like, you know, four bet with a, with a weaker race X holding, but you know, that they won't call off, you know what I mean? There is there is not much room, I know, but at least he gives the uh, appearance of potentially having a bluff sometimes, although he has made it quite big. Yeah, um, from Oystein's side, uh, is there a difference between this four? Like, like he's obviously not four betting to fold. Mm. Yeah, I mean, if he'd have gone smaller, I didn't quite look at the sizing. I, I'd assumed that he was going to go something like uh, three million or something like that. But mm. three point five might just be enough for his opponent to realize that he's not going to be uh, not going to be letting this one go. And actually, the Hungarian looking rather uncomfortable with the spot. And yeah. First uh, time we really see him like. Yeah, I'm getting the energy that he's looking towards finding a fold here, to be honest, um, which would be quite tight. But if he doesn't feel like his opponent is going to four bet bluff in this situation for you know almost half of his stack, yeah, he does to fold. Oystein, man, he's uh, he's relentless. He is indeed, and uh, he's put himself a good showing so far, and does pick up. A lot of chips there. 11 versus 7.2. And uh, yeah, as the players now have a little bit of daylight between them, and it's going to be interesting to see whether Oystein can continue to close that one out, or the Hungarian is going to have some have some legs and fight back. Heads-ups can be extremely swingy and, yeah. and unpredictable if I've played 
quite a few myself online and it's uh you know you can go in there sometimes with a 10 to 1 chip lead and then be losing and then be winning again it's like there's obviously a huge amount of variance but in general like it just seems like aggression wins in the long run right yeah exactly aggression is very very important in heads up and if you're not finding enough then you're just likely to be either getting run over or um relying on card distribution too much which i played the last two festivals i played the heads up tournament and there is just like like when you play a hundred people and start yeah. heads up there is people that go into this tournament where they're like close to drawing dead yeah 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 because they just, they if, just if you're just find too passive you uh, like it's you cannot win heads up oh, just getting run over all the time yeah. and, and, and unable to put up a fight did win one of them mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that thing uh, he has next to him a piece of paper um, yeah maybe the, the maybe it was like the payout sheet yeah. or something they get handed around although all of the information is usually on the uh, on the screen I missed the good old days of cash at the table yeah <laughs> <laughs> that was when it was a real riot I was saying we're opening up the king turn off and uh, funny fold. Oh, sorry, he, he didn't fold. He did, uh, did defend the queen four off. Check, check on uh, pretty bricky flop. And uh, Balash just choose to uh, to bet, turning the gut shot here and noising calls. He is relentless, this guy. He's not giving anything away without a fight. Yeah, and a crusty little four on the river now for yeah. the Hungarian who improves to the best hand. And it is going to go check check, and the Hungarian man will take it down. Oisin though just knew where he was at there. Didn't yeah. have any real equity, just two overcards, and that's going to get the job done for him. So impressive stuff to find the uh, continue there. Another queen for off, Ballas. And thank you, premium user, for the kind words. It's very much appreciated on these long commentary streams. Thank you, Jacob, my man. Hope you're doing well back home. So kind of raggy action here, the queen for facing the jack three. Oystein not electing to defend the 6-4 off, but happy to defend the jack-3 off. Yeah, so you can definitely question that. Weird hand selection there. Definitely do appreciate the compliment. We've had a long week, but uh, yeah. it's been fun, yeah, as it's always. It's been, a, it's been a fairly successful one, so uh, we're always happy to uh, get some wins under the belt. and be able to commentate on uh, some, some great uh, great events and great cash games. If we get the call up, we'll join the squad again. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> we'll see how things develop between now and November for the next one. It's a long time. <laughs> on to the next tier. That 
definitely not hold him back. I don't think we're gonna see like a marathon heads up. Like we played already like three or four putts. So it's yeah, these guys are definitely more aggressive than most players you see at the in the heads up stages of these tournaments. There sometimes you arrive with when it's tournament players, two guys that's just yeah. pretty bad and very just passive heads up. Yeah, I just never play enough heads up themselves and. Uh, have us sit here at 4 a.m. and hate our lives. <laughs> <laughs> it's absolutely. It's not going to be like that today. I don't think so either. Opening up the 10 6 off, uh, 10 6 suited, and Alash going to elect to fold the 8 4. Norwegian rail clap. <laughs> that one. <laughs> Come on to golf. Nine here. Ursina, of course, gonna defend. Is this a hand that maybe sometimes you can. Uh, yeah, well, if you're looking for some kind of three bet bluffing range, yeah. yeah, that would seem like a reasonable candidate, right? It's nice not to get some of those like king lock yourself into doing with the uh, with these ace x hands. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, often you can get quite quite predictable uh, in post club spots. Exactly right. So, like, having this allows you to have bluffs on ace high boards, yeah. for example, and just uh, try and get hands like king five, king six, king seven, king eight out of there. Ooh, very good turn here for Ocean. Yeah, turns top two now, and uh, wondering if Balaz will decide to go for the second barrel, blocking some of the... it makes sense to slow down here. Yeah, it doesn't have any additional equity with the jack. Apart from Should just a, a value bet here from Ocean. Yeah. 500k mark. And uh, in terms of bluffs, it's like random Queen X, 10X. Yeah. Yeah, a bit of um, Sir Alex Ferguson vibes here. Yeah, yeah. Chewing, chewing that, uh, chewing the chewing gum rather aggressively there. <laughs> <laughs> it is spurgy time for Austin indeed. I think I'd be chewing pretty hard too if I was playing a heads up for 20k. Yeah, <laughs> it's a big spot, right? And Balaz does indeed find the call in the end. Knows his opponent is capable enough to have some uh, have some cheeky bluffs in there. And feeling though his nine side card wasn't bad because the ten x and the queen x could potentially end up bluffing there. Keeping the mood high though, good to see. <laughs> yeah, he's a, he's a fun and friendly guy. In keeping up with that two to one chip lead. <laughs> I'd like to fold the videos off. With these heads up, it is just like kind of you're just waiting for that one fire setup, right? Exactly. Some kind of setup, or one player just makes a like, super outlandish bluff and yeah. wants to uh, put it to the other guy, and the other guy makes a hero call. It doesn't take that good hands and heads up for it to be a setup. Uh, no, not really. Playing 30 blinds effective, Even right? Top pair versus middle pair can yeah. be a tricky one to navigate. If that went in. <laughs> Let's see. the king three suited. So I've seen dominated pre flop here. <coughs> yeah, a little bit for both players here with Ballas flopping the gut shot, Oystein with middle pair. So definitely going to be seeing uh, a turn card, that's for sure.
I see we're uh, turning card here. He does turn a flush shot though, Austin. Maybe we should low one though. He leads out for 500k. Wow. Wow. What's he trying to do here? I saw him do Six. these kind of plays a couple of times, but yeah, I mean it gets trying to stay unpredictable and yeah, doesn't make a lot of sense. Mm. Maybe he uh, yeah, he doesn't really just he doesn't really get any better hands to fold there. And no, uh, no, that's the thing. Like worse the, hands. Uh, the the time before was also like with a middling pair where you had yeah. pretty good showdown value. You kind of want to have he just kind of instead of check calling decided just to lead and and try and decide the prize. Or yeah, or yeah, or, or, or we'll see what his opponent was up to there. Kind of setting his uh, yeah. Kind of just taking a stand and, and kind of being like, look, if you got a better hand, you, you're going to do something about it. But if not, I'll just take down the pot and we'll move along, shall we? Definitely see fireworks in this hand. Uh, Raggy aces. Here all comes Mr. Hungary. I think he's all in, yeah. Yeah, jamming for just under 30 big blinds. Pretty big jam. Yeah. I don't think Austin will be able to find a call. That's a huge jam. Huge jam indeed with, the, with no anti out there, for example. Unfold with a mystery hand. hands for both of the players here. Yeah, definitely playable. Yeah. Always team going to open it up. Nine flop, so a uh, top pair for Balash, middle pair for Oystein. Both players having the same backdoor straight draw. It might be a flop that 10 8 so they can check back sometimes here. Front door flush comes in with that ace of hearts on the turn. Just check, check. Yeah, don't feel the need to uh, start turning a hand like 10 8 into the bluff. On you want to regardless just like use 15 seconds in Austin's button instead of yeah, snap not checks. Just, uh, yeah, <laughs> I feel yeah. like you are giving a little bit away with that. Yeah, it does make you look rather weak unless you uh, Let's check, like check. Queen Jack of Hearts or something. I have 10 big blind pot here for Balash. And uh, they're getting closer to even with that one. 11 million versus 7.1 million. Christine in the lead. Yeah, a rather commanding lead as well, that's for sure. But seeing the yeah. Hungarian have a little bit of a fight back here. They play a 20 big blind putt and uh, Balazs wins it, it's completely dead even. Yeah. The 
decent to defend here. Standard stuff. Alish just flopped the gut shot with the queen six. With players the having a uh, back to high. spades, yeah. Oh, it's in leads. Yeah, extremely aggressive uh, flop strategies from Oystein. Lots of leading, lots of random random good. bets. That they're showing this guy is not mm. good. We're gonna need a birdie for Maga Reed here to win. Oystein does take it down. Huh? It's too clear. Oh shit! I was sweating so hard, dude. <laughs> because I thought it was two no, and three. No, no. Oystein does take it down with the aggression. Fires another bullet on the turn and gets it done. This guy is relentless. Yeah, he really is. Picking up a lot of pots that I would never, I would never win. No, exactly. No. It's, it's not because he's like hitting, like uh, uh, yeah, out hitting, uh, like just, getting. He just, just loves to bet when he's when he's got any kind of equity and yeah. and try and force his opponent out of there and you know deny it. Yeah, yeah when they don't thinking. get like when they get like five six hands in a row of just not having a piece, it's hard for them to to yeah. do anything yeah, about it, right? He's always just firing in bets all the time. But then if you do know that he's so out of line in a lot of these spots, you can adjust quite quickly to that and uh, but find again, aggression how yourself. How many heads up hands now? 20? Like yeah, maybe 25. It yeah. does feel like he's uh, king on the lines. The yeah. It's a pretty good hand, mate. Defense, of course. Ooh, this is a dicey flop. Wow, this could be it. Yeah, flush draw for Balash and the overpair backdoor flush draw for Austin. Or at least an extremely big pot because yeah. these are two monster hands and heads up. Overcard and a flush draw versus. Snap better 400k from Austin. <laughs> On brand. Yeah. And I think we want to check race here with Balash. Yeah, I can do. Um, the three isn't ideal, but definitely an overcard is is handy, and it's a decent board for the big blind here. Also, like he might Oystein. feel like he's getting uh, bullied a bit, right? Yeah, and Oystein seems like the kind of overseas betting type, so. Oh, he's counting out 1.3 here, yeah. I think. I think we read the situation quite well yeah. that he was kind of expecting that. How are we going to respond to Oystein here? Surely you're just going to jam it in there on a pretty wet flop. Yeah, I'm not scared here with uh, with the pocket kings. If we run into it, we run into it. There are two pairs, there are straights, but... Uh, he doesn't seem like the scared guy either, right? No, he doesn't. I, I think he's going to have hands like uh, ace-8 and, and king-8 and, and queen-8 sometimes, 8-6. Yeah. Uh, sorry, 8-7, seven, 7-5 seven, maybe. I like that he is just taking a moment now. And he's all in. Oisin is all in. And I don't think Ballas is going to fold here. This might be it, guys. Let's see. He makes it now. F oh, it wasn't a jam, sorry. Just, uh, oh. We bet to 2.4 million. He's accidentally. He said raised and only put in one stack. Ah, wow. So this it looks is like the, the dealers uh, um, put that as 2.4. So now it's only 1 million to call, which is a, a, a great price. He's and he does call yeah. and. Wow. Now he may be able to get away from the hand if he bricks the turn, you know? This is quite wild uh, development here. SPR of a bit more than a half. This turn card is going to be very, very detrimental to how this heads up duel is going to fare out. Absolutely. It is the deuce. Balas picks up some additional equity with the gut shot. He checks it over to OC and I think he's going to be all in here. Yeah, I think so as well. It's have to call off now with just That's queen two million. High. Yeah, what's that all about? Not quite sure. 
really milky. I don't think you get to fold this balance here. No. You have too much money invested and too many outs. Yeah, if you deem your queen to be good most of the time, the gut shot, the flush draw, it's uh, it would be a lot to have to uh, fold. Must be a bit confusing for him, these uh, kind of weird sizings being used. Like, which kind of hands are he, is he doing this with? Definitely not fault him for taking his time here, it's a huge decision. Nope, absolutely not. Counting up the two million and sliding him over the betting line. Yeah, and he's got a hit here. Yeah. He's gonna need to hit four or a diamond to uh, have really not be completely crippled down to 1.5 million. It's that's a three, it. one pair. He should know that that's not gonna be the best hand. Let's see check. how he uh, how he Check, responds. check, and the uh, Oystein picks up. What could be, if it's not the winning hand, of course, but uh, yeah. this is uh, more than one nail in the coffin of Balash. Yeah. Losing a massive pot here. Huge pot going the way of the Norwegian, and we play 17 versus 1.5. Balash is going to need quite the run to uh, recover from this one. Yeah. Mm. So seven big blinds for Balash. He's gonna need a uh, he's gonna need a very good string of cards here to get back into this heads up duel. <laughs> Look at Oystein, he has so many chips he doesn't know where to put them. Exactly, it's ridiculous. Getting yourself into this situation, you you just got an absolutely commanding chip lead. It's music to your ears. You know that you're only a little bit of luck or, or a good spot and good bit of fortune away from ironing out your opponent and, uh, and He's loving life right moving now, on sure. to that uh, festival main event. As his friends Title. on the rail. Yeah. Ready for a good night if, uh, if he does manage to carry this one over the line. Yeah, I'm sure the Norwegians will be uh, partying long into the night. Alice is all in, and I think we're going to see them all in for it with Oystein as a yeah. big favorite here. King 7 against Ace 7 for the seven. victory. Good solid call. Yeah. Seven big blinds. This can, be, this can be it, George. Could well be, especially in that dominating situation that he's got himself in. He just needs to fade an 8 or some straights. Potentially the hearts as well could come into play, but seven let's there. see. There's a seven for Not both players. Yeah, he's got some kind of backdoor straight draws going on. Let's see, uh, see what develops there. Does have a straight draw with the six. He needs a six or an eight or this tournament is over. Can he do it? No. no. Two pairs for wow. Oystein. Congratulations to the Norwegian Ice Team with winning the festival main event and 60,000 euros. Yeah. These guys played a great game throughout the day. They were both very aggressive and uh, I think it's a, it's a well-deserved heads-up couple and a well-deserved winner. Just a really impressive performance all round from both guys. They were the guys that showed a lot of heart on the final table, managed to find some decent aggression at times, which held them in and allowed them to be the guys that were fighting out for the title. But this time it's going to be going... Well, that's basically home to Scandinavia yeah. from the amount of sheer, the amount of Scandinavians that we do have here at the Festival Series. Guys, it's been an absolute pleasure to commentate you throughout the week, and uh, we really appreciate you joining in. Big congratulations from myself. I'm Jacob, George alongside me. Yep. It's been an amazing week here at the Festival, and uh, we see you in Bratislava. We will be seeing you in Bratislava on the 27th of November to the 3rd of December. Guys, do remember to keep an eye out on thefestival.com for all of the updates on when the satellites are going to be running. Jacob's going to be doing some streams as well, and he's going to be looking forward to sharing some of his uh, runs as he looks to get some uh, packages or or clean up on some of the value himself, I'm sure. <laughs> so thank you, Julie. Thank you, Tommy, for uh, your uh, comments there at the end. Thank you and to everyone uh, tuning in all the week, and thank you to 
the awesome production crew who's uh, been alongside yeah. us here in the here in the booth all week. Not possible without you guys. So thanks very much, and we will see you in Bratislava. Ciao.